Oh, hello. So, my name is Awesome Waves, and this is Bodka. I'm Bodka, yeah. And I'm Awesome. We're here to do a mostly full run of Final Fantasy VIII. We're going to pull back some small bits that are uh, a bit heavy on text and cutscenes, um, but we should be able to manage this in a shorter bit of time. So we'll, we'll, we've got plenty of time to talk, so the opening cutscene takes about three minutes. So I'll just start that off and we can start the timer. Here we go. The great thing about speedrunning this game and providing commentary is uh, we have three minutes at the start to just f forget everything about the game and uh, yeah, uh, try and think of the most interesting thing to like introduce the game. But uh, yeah. So this is the PC version from it's a port that was released in 2013. It's of the 1999 PC version. Um, there's been HD releases since, but this is the most popular way to run the game on PC at the moment. Um, typically, an 80% run takes about seven and a half hours, um, but we're cutting it down, like I said, a small bit. So we'll see. We're actually not fully sure what the final time will be after we potentially have a blindfolded Esther menu, which is going to be done by Alton here if we meet the incentive. Uh, so keep the donations coming in, and we have a Omega weapon fight, which I think is myth, or is very close to. It's very close, I think. Yeah, I so think we've got about $30 to go, so someone get that done. <laughs> Bodcap will be doing that. And I'm stuck with the early game of this run, <laughs> which is uh, by far probably the most difficult and RNG heavy part of the whole run. We've given all the stress to Awesome Waves. Yeah. And you wanted to do it, so. No pressure. Like, uh, no, that's fine. Uh, we reset so often in this game normally in, uh, in the grind first that we are quite comfortable with the start. Uh, so all the way to the start of the game, we're going to be... There's a couple of things we're going to be doing. Uh, one is obviously mining our step. There's a step count active in all hostile scenes in Final Fantasy VIII. It's probably something you've heard of if you're into Final Fantasy running or JRPGs in general. Uh, so there's a step count active, which will determine which encounters we get, when we get the encounters. Um, and we'll use that to get AP in the right places. Um, and while we're doing all of that, we're also going to be counting the, almost every action that occurs, every camera that occurs at the end of battle fanfares. And by using this tracking to count the RNG value, we'll actually be able to manipulate when we get certain cards. So we're going to be getting the Quistus card very early on in the run, which we'll refine later. We can talk about that when we actually do that. And then about an hour into the run, which will be the end of my first segment, uh, as we're going to be co-oping the run, we'll be getting the Zell card, which will be, uh, hopefully if we count correctly for an entire hour, while performing all the boss battles, all the step counts, uh, we should manage to uh, Find that? Yeah, I think it's quite useful. But uh, well, it's, it's quite handy that one of the things that when people play this game casually, Triple Triad is like one of their favourite parts of the game. People love Triple Triad, and it's objectively the best card game in any Final Fantasy. Uh, but Come it's, 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 yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, but it turns out that actually some of the cards are genuinely useful in the speed run, and without them, it wouldn't be possible to get anywhere near the sorts of times that we can get. So uh, yeah, we actually get to play a couple of card games, which I know some people will be. Pretty happy about. Mm -hmm. uh, one thing we will be doing during this run, um, as Awesome Wave said, we're going to be cutting down on the time a little bit. And the way we're going to be doing that is by utilizing um, a cutscene remover mod. Um, so I guess shout outs to uh, Cypher TV, who is the creator of that mod, who um, painstakingly went through and yeah. sort of yeah. removed code for <laughs> like every cutscene and every like dialogue heavy. Uh, the opening section. FMV is done, I guess we need yeah, to listen need, uh, here to from them yeah, about the... We need the final name. Oh Squall. yeah, Squall is... <coughs> is. Uh, okay, we're closing that off right now. We do have one final donation towards that. We have M underscore UT3 again. $25, Squab, baby! <laughs> uh, that goes towards Squab, and I'm going to do one final refresh. Give me a second. Uh, let's have a look. Here we go. Okay, Squall's name will be Nero, a capital N-E-R-O. Squall finished in second place, but thank you so much. We raised a total of $765 for that. Thank you very much. That's absolutely... Oh, hang on, hang on. No, I apologise. Have you... It's, it. it's done. It's done. Too it's late. It's done. Yep. Okay, no worries. <laughs> it's over. There's no going back now. Yep. Nero is eternal. No worries. Uh, yeah, for those of you who have noted, <coughs> for those of you who haven't, uh, we are playing in French because French is faster. That's the shortest explanation we can give, I guess. It is about five to six minutes faster than English. Mm -hmm. One of the strange things is that most people assume that when one language is faster than another one, it's because 
there's like fewer characters it has to go through in uh, the actual text itself. You know, it can do things in fewer words. Um, in this case, for some reason, the French version is actually coded differently to the English version, and the text boxes themselves open and close like one frame faster per text box, um, which obviously over the course of several hours is actually significant. But yeah, it's weird that that's actually literally coded into the French version of the game. Yeah, so technically the Japanese language will be the fastest one, but we do not have access to that uh, in this Steam 2013 version of the game. But we do use Japanese uh, for the remaster because it is available there, and again, it is faster by around five to six minutes compared to French. Turn. So as we've seen in the opening cutscene, Squall and his rival Cypher were fighting each other in the training center and he ended up in the infirmary and greeted by his te teacher <coughs> and other party member is Chrysus. And Cypher and the person that created the cutscene <coughs> room are not the same person, I just wanted to put that out there. He is called Cypher, he's, <laughs> not, but he's, not, he's not that Cypher. I guess we should also mention Thomas8989 who made the mod version for the English language because it is a separate mod, I guess, for both French and English. Uh, and since not everyone uses French, most newer runners use English language, we did, did need a mod version for that language too. Yeah, and it's since become an actual uh, category on the leaderboard at speedrun.com, so you can actually competitively run cutscene remover and I think something around 3.55, 3 hours 55 minutes is currently the kind of top time. So just under 4 hours. Yeah. Pretty easy manageable run as far as JRPGs go. Yeah, so if you don't have, you know, seven and a half to eight hours to run the full game, you can just do CSR and it's the exact same run, the exact, exact same strats, just less text, no cutscenes. Which I think intimidates a lot of people. It's just like, I just don't have that time to sit down. You know, people like us do. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. People with better things to do <laughs> might only have four hours, in which case custom room is like the perfect way of actually getting a run finished, but also practicing a run if you wanted to actually run any percent in the future. Mm -hmm. Or if you wanted to go even shorter again, Cypher has recently made a practice percent version, which is like an hour and a half. You can do the whole run in an hour and a half for your practice benefit. Yeah, that's actually, yeah, it's currently in development, but it's looking really, really good right now. It's basically uh, cuts out. So I guess the cutscene remover itself we'll be, we'll be using here. Um, in terms of the actual speed run content, it is completely identical to a standard any percent run that has all the cutscenes there all of the menus all of the battles all of the movement every option that you have to choose everything like that is all still in the game there's no difference whatsoever um so you can practice that and it all is directly applicable to doing an any percent run whereas uh practice percent is basically if you just want to get used to the route make sure your menus and your battles are correct essentially uh make sure that that's all good um and there's versions of that that you can you can uh, practice just step count on its own if that's something you're struggling with so yeah it's a really really useful tool um, and I think it's helped a lot of sort of new runners try and, try and get into the game. Um, so just to mention there also we just picked up these seven cards much like Final Fantasy 9 does also you get free cards at the start just so you have enough to, to play a game effectively. So we got seven cards from that guy in the hallway he said he's having he's had enough of the RNG and he's done playing Triple Trial. <laughs> he wasn't very good at tracking the RNG. Here we don't exit the garden normally we use the guide box which is like a shortcut around the garden i mean the difference between ff8 and ff9 is that you can just walk past him and not pick up any cards and uh yeah it just means if you if you forget to do that then good luck uh playing any games yeah we are getting our first gfs here so shiva and quesa will and we will be equipping them and uh this is our first menu of the run actually no pressure i always mess this one I up like, <laughs> the first one is just impossible <laughs> And people might uh, be astute enough to notice that something slightly different about what we did there at the menu, but we'll explain that as we go. So we set uh, first to learn card, second to learn ice, magic, or fine, which we will use. It was short. quite clean, actually. Wasn't the worst for a marathon. I uh, was expecting the shaky hands to carry me away, but perfect. And I, think, zero encounters. I think that's always my worst menu in PB attempts. Yeah. Without fail. And the best part is you like reset that over and over again on my <laughs> <laughs> anyway, It's probably just... the one I've done the most times. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's pretty short. And I still mess it up. So we're going to the fire cavern as part of our uh, training, our part of our seed exam to get a GF, wild GF. And we're going to fight Ifrit as the first boss. And then we'll be able to use him also as a GF, who is one of the 
heavyweights or carries of the run because he has a strength junction off the bat so we can use him to get a slightly OP relatively quickly. For some reason there it just happens to be a convenient cavern full of lava and fire and stuff right next to a school it's Two minutes um, that they use as an entrance exam before the real exam like uh, where you have to fight a terrifying monster but I think I mean presumably if it just keeps coming back every time yeah. and getting beaten by <laughs> small children <laughs> over and over again the fun life he has yeah and the fire cavern is the first location where the hostile screens exist so we can get encounters here and this is where the movement actually starts to matter okay on the next fight i'll draw more just for marathon safety but in the moment we're all good to go yep so we're drawing thunders from those but so we each of these uh, encounters that we're getting, we know exactly what we're going to get. Um, so we've got two bats there, we can draw thunders from those. Uh, the first thing we're going to be using that for is um, uh, in this upcoming uh, boss battle uh, against Ifrit. Uh, we're going to be using them to reduce uh, the HP of both Squall and Quistis. Well, I think we'll be using the thunders against Quistis to get her HP down um, for a later fight. Um, and then we'll be drawing even more of the thunders in a, another fight that we'll have against two bats after the boss uh, for some slightly more stressful fights coming up. Uh, so we also uh, only killed one of the bats, we didn't kill the second one, so as to avoid the victory from Affair because it just, it just wastes time. We can kill the other bat the next fight we'll get after Ifrit, basically, to get the AP that we need. Yeah. I wasn't planning on using the Thunders to damage Crystals here. Oh, you're not? No. <laughs> 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 we'll, uh... Oh, I f I f oh yeah. yeah, because it's all Squall, isn't it? Yeah. Can't do that. Oops. Sorry, I opened the see you. You opened the magic menu. That's it. Because I told you to. It's a complete accident. Yeah. I'm also uh, not completely priest off using a DS2, but we're good to go. <laughs> so I'm running from the fights, if anyone wants to explain why I'm running. <laughs> yeah, so as you can see, Fweet is indeed impossible. Um, so yeah, we're, we're running from the fights because um, there's a couple of things that it nice. kind of skips. Um, if, if, if your characters are in critical HP, uh, then what they normally do is like crouch on the ground or they, they appear hurt. Um, and it takes time for them to actually uh, go into that animation and also if you queue an attack oh they then have to like get up and... Um, Maritime uh, luck, here we go. Yeah, I know this isn't the most fun I've seen someone yeah, have on the Chris has missed twice and then all the fires went on Squall. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, here oh we my. go, another we one. Go. Yeah. I hope we're not going to be short oh, on uh, Phoenix, Phoenix Downs. Phoenix Downs, yeah. Uh, yeah, there's nothing... I don't see a problem with that. <laughs> What could go wrong in Dollet? Yeah, yeah, like yeah. Any yeah, RNG yeah. involved there? Oh, that is one. also school, I think. Yeah. yeah. There oh. we go. Easy. Oh, perfect. Ah, uh, because he's on two HP. These, of course, yeah. Only four hits. Yes. That's, of course. Uh, and no rough divide. That's okay. There we go. Going, Chris is... So yeah, technically the lo the lower HP of the characters is the higher crisis level should be, which means we have a higher chance of getting a better limit break, basically, which for school means. Uh, he should get more hits in, but somehow he still only get got four on the first when the break. That's, That's better, I think, yeah. I think I can just hold attack. Was it five on the first one, four on the second one? Uh, yes. I think yeah, I, I think, think so. I hold X to win here and we should be okay. Hopefully. Yeah, we'll find out. Uh, he's talking now, so it's fine. Kind of yeah. skips his turn it's when he uh, does that talking. This should definitely count. Perfect. That's nice. Point. So as we were saying before, we are tracking RNG throughout all of these fights. So one of the things we're saying is that we're tracking there is that uh, Squall did three limit breaks. We need to take note of that. And he did, I believe, three, three attacks, yeah. physical attacks yeah, yeah. on himself. Um, so we're all, all of those things like add a certain amount of uh, a value to a particular RNG value in, in, in the menu. Uh, portion Squall now. I think that's wise. I we don't want to use any more Phoenix, Phoenix Downs. Phoenix down. <laughs> um, you start the game with four Phoenix Downs and uh, they are, if you use them early, they can be quite tight um, in the first hour of the game. So yeah, potioning and bringing his HP down again is definitely the better call. Okay, so I'm gonna draw twice here with Squall just to get a few extra, um, a few extras, even though we got quite a lot there. I think one more and you'll be golden. Yeah, yeah. I think. The, We're gonna have like 20 now, like it's... Yeah, it's plenty. Yeah. Could do like three rounds with those. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, there's something else we're going to do here. I don't know uh, if anyone is familiar with Final Fantasy VIII runs and their RNG factor, is that for the longest of times, uh, in all runs up until recently, people had to go to the beach because we want to get fish fins from the fish on the beach. And we would have to get, ideally, f five of them, minimum, in three encounters fish. Since then, 
uh, thanks to the work of Pingvel, a Japanese runner. He uh, mapped out the RNGs and the initial attack patterns for all 256 versions of the fight that occurs on the beach. And using that data, with the Vodcap and T89 Keto and uh, Brofar, we managed to make a manip that you can use to um, to get f five, four, five, or six in one encounter. Yeah. Do the menu, or am I blind? I did not do the menu, no, because I'm used to doing uh, a... <laughs> 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 uh, because of the fish fin minip route, I've been learning a yeah. different route. But, so I'm going to potion squall again. Uh, yep. Yeah, it's safer. And Chris is too. Um, I'll split the magics. So this is kind of like a marathon version of what we should yeah. be doing, but... Like good. So let's split these. I think four more on Squall, I said, or something. That's fine. So we got uh, Ifrit from the fight. We will start uh, teaching him the strength plus 20% junction. And I guess as we make our way to the beach, that is a perfect time for some donations before we start the uh, fishing money. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much indeed. We have some donations for you. We have $10 from T89. Two things <laughs> no jig, and don't forget the letter. I'm certain, <laughs> Bob, I'm certain Bodcap got the first one covered. Can't guarantee the second, though. Good luck, gentlemen. History in the making. I, well, can't, I can't promise anything, Thomas. Okay, we're gonna, I got to interject again because yep, right. we didn't expect to get zero encounters on the way to the beach. <laughs> so what we're going to do here is uh, we're going to count the... So I pause ATB at the moment. While you're in the menu, sub-menu like this, nothing is moving. ATB is pausing. I'm going to let ATB move and see what the first fish does. So here, it's Christus's fish attacks Christus for 24 damage. Was it 24 or 26? Yeah, it was 24. We go again. See what the, so we're going to do this three times. So then it's Christus's fish attacks Squall for 26. <clears throat> and we already have the pattern. So the next fish is going to be Christus attacks Squall for 26. Yep. Perfect. So what this now means is we know exactly what index. Uh, there's 256 possible like ways to start this fight. There's 256 possible ways that the fish could have attacked there. So we know exactly like what's going to happen from in this fight from now on. And um, because we were able to track those, those damage values. Uh, what we're going to do now is uh, summon Quetzalcoatl. So now that the fish have been popped out of the ground by that thunder spell, uh, Quetzalcoatl, uh, or Golgotha in, uh, in French, is uh, you need to do 12. Perfect. So yeah, so while this summon animation happens, uh, you can refresh the ATB a number of times, and every time you refresh the ATB, it moves an RNG <laughs> value for, for the battle along by one. Uh, and we've sort of mapped out what, in, what that value starts at, uh, uh, for each individual index, and then how many we need to move it along by to get a high drop number of yeah, fish. Should we be getting six here? Six fins. Yeah, there should be six fins. Yeah. So two character camera, two character camera. and camera. all going well. <coughs> six there fins. we go. Easy, easy every time. Easy, easy minute. So for the sake of the thanks very much. For the sake of the because uh, we're all running different routes. So I'm running a route currently that uses this minip and just goes straight to the garden. But for the moment, we are going to get the AP as planned uh, by doing three encounters. So it's kind of uh, counterproductive, but it should work out. I did a squall attack there. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, you actually use Thunders for next one. Should we save that? Yeah, so I mean, this ends up. So it's, it's quite good to demonstrate that that fish fin minute actually works, but it's, um, uh, I think, for safety, we can do the fish fin minute and then do these to make sure we. Get a load of AP that will make things, you know, a lot easier during Dullet. Uh, and then we can uh, continue. You remove that one, uh, one limit break from... I've removed it from the okay. Ifrit fight, cool. yep. Okay. So we have a piece of software that kind of... You, you can put all of these things and it kind of works out what the RNG changes actually need to be. But we're using... Because we're using sort of a... A bit of a Frankenstein route to demonstrate that fish for a minute. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, we have to make sure we've input things incorrectly and remove things from other other places that would <laughs> normally be there. It is something we really wanted to demonstrate for the run because it is fairly groundbreaking in the early game of FF8. Um, and there is also a new version of that manip made by Kyvel, another French runner, um, but it's a bit more uh, comfortable to perform on console because of the 30 FPS battles. Yeah, it is great because like very often you will spend like two to three hours just resetting on the beach trying to get five fish fins in three fights and like sometimes just do not get it for two hours and like you just have to call it a day basically. There you go. So we can actually try and figure out how many we might have gotten if we, yeah. <laughs> we didn't do them. Anymore. Yeah. I think the worst I've ever seen was um, 
because uh, because if you don't get enough wins in three fights, you can do a fourth and try and get it there. And you, it's too much AP. You don't need that much AP, but you know if you need if you just want to finish a run, then then you can just do an extra fight. I think the worst I've ever seen is someone getting zero followed by one followed by one followed by zero. Nice. Yeah, so the reason we are even tracking the RNG like uh, I mentioned before is that we need that for the card game because we do want to get, well, a Quist's card in the first place. Uh, and the way it works is that when we are uh, on the screen where you can choose if you want to play or quit, uh, on that screen the enemy hand will change every frame. Uh, and by tracking the RNG we can know uh, what will be the, I guess, the hand on the, on the frame zero basically and the, on the subsequent frames. Uh, because not all of the hands and not all of the frames contain Quist's card, so we just need to hit the correct frame. Uh, in order to get the Quistus card first try, basically, because otherwise it is, what, 16% chance or something? Uh, I'm not even sure, I think it's... Yeah, it's low. Yeah. It's low, that's enough to know, I guess. Yep, yeah. and that's all of our AP gathers. Oh Zero encounters, like, that's Zero. insane. This is... <laughs> this doesn't this, happen. It doesn't <laughs> happen. Like, yeah, it just doesn't happen. Like, average is two, one is super good, and zero just doesn't happen ever. Marathon. Except today, I guess. Yeah, there you go. Marathon, look. Do we have a second? Yeah. Uh, sorry, we've tried Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, thank you very much. We're receiving quite a bit of uh, love here. We've received uh, $50 from CC Gambit. High waves, Olsen and Bobcat. Hi. Best of luck with this run. It's Very great so. to see all of you up on the big stage showcasing this fun little run. Also, people need to see this S the many blindfolded and how insane it is. Get those donations in. Well, an update on that. I believe we are still just over $100 away from the blindfolded Esther. But we have met defeating Omega Weapon. Woo. So Woo. we will be seeing that later on uh, in the run. We've also received another $50 from 50 Keys, who just says, good luck on the run. Thank you very much indeed. Perfect. So Thank I'm you very much. Just for a moment, we're back to the outcome of this RNG counting minute for the first time. Uh, thanks to the work at Kyval also. This is, uh, we're able to do this now after effort. Previously, we would have done it very, very start of the game, but now we're going to do it here. So using the timing of the minute, Hopefully, this goes well. Yeah. Boom. Easy. We have that? Uh, uh, maybe not. Anaconda? Not quite. No, there's no Anaconda. Okay. You want to type in the values and see yep. if you can do it? So, Argos. they went first, right? Yeah. Okay. So, there is a backup strat to uh, when you don't get the correct RNG. It could be a few different things. It could be normally we calibrate our computers to the timing of the manip. So it could be that we were out a few frames, or that we had... Plus one. Plus one. Okay, then. Okay. We were just one out of the RNG, so one limit break. Incorrect. Okay, that's fine. So I'm going to soft reset the game, but unfortunately you can't soft reset during the game. So I'm going to... Uh, doesn't matter what I do here, really. Yeah, I mean, we, must, we must have miscounted something. I'm not sure what, but it happens. Yeah. It's fine, we can just do it second try. So soft reset. Go from the... That's why Wave set, uh, saved before the, before the game. Now that we know the correct, we added, we inputted the values of the cards that were actually played in the game, and it told us what the correct uh, RNG value was, and now we just do it again. Yep, you've now got 30 frames. Better or worse? Oh, it's quite early again. That's fine. And we Perfect. Now for a bit there to we wait. go. One. Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we will be doing this once more. Uh, so once more. So yeah, uh, the... well, basically our cards <laughs> suck. Our cards are very bad, and it is difficult to win the game. So we have like very specific patterns of what we need to do in order to win the game, like fig figured out based on the enemy AI, basically. And Waves just played their own cards. So yeah. Botcap didn't change the image quickly. Oh, okay, I'm gonna okay. blame Botcap here. <laughs> I'm working as fast as I can, man. Doing what I can. No, okay. I'll, I'll, be, I'll be lightning speed this time. It's the same. Uh, same timing. Same timing, yeah. This means to get to hear even more of the triple triad. Exactly. Is it sh shuffle or boogie, I think it's called? It's, I think it's boogie. It's something something about boogieing. Okay. Yeah, there we go. While you're doing that, do we have time for a couple quick more? Absolutely. Thank you very much indeed. We've received $20 from a Jibben. Awesome to see great people running this game with the most banger OST of all Final Fantasy games. Let's see some hopefully non-scuffed Esther menuing. Yes, Jig. Thank you very much indeed. Uh, Andrew192, $20. Had to donate during the Final Fantasy VIII run, my favourite Final Fantasy, and it has the best soundtrack. 
Good luck to the runner and have a great run. And very quickly, Logic Gaming, $15. Long time watcher, first time donator. Long time no see, let's go boys, make us proud. Thank you very much indeed. And they all go towards the uh, blindfolded Esther incentive. Correct. And it's now less than seventy dollars away. Awesome! Nice. Thank very you very much, good. everyone. Thank Thanks you guys so for the donations. It's nice to hear some familiar names donating. Yeah. So as you can see, the money worked first try. Easy every first time. First try. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> keep it up. Uh, but this is not the end of RNG tracking. We still need to keep track of what happens in dollars, basically, until we uh, can play. Lil's mom for his card, because mm -hmm. of course she does have his card. Who doesn't have a picture of their child in their wallet? But they play people for keeps. Oh yeah, yeah. No, she doesn't get to keep the card. No, no. <laughs> she... We're gonna we steal... steal it from her. Yeah. Oh, we won it fair and square. Oh, hopefully we will win it with fair and square. Mm -hmm. So like I was mentioning at the start, it is definitely the more stressful hour of the game to, for me to run the start. But uh, a lot of stuff can go wrong. Hopefully we have enough Phoenix Downs and nothing else does go wrong. But you guys think it's worth going buying Phoenix Downs or anything? How many do we have? We have two. Two. <sighs> we don't need more. Usually, like... Oh, the... if everything goes well, it's... <laughs> like, but, score, uh, score. Just don't die. Yeah, just, just don't die. Just don't die. Just get good. Just don't, just don't limit break anything. Just... Attack. Only attack. Only attack. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. Maybe we could just nip up from the port to the shop, can't we? Yeah, I think that's possible. Oh, no, oh I'm not sure it is, actually, because you... Will we have enough, then, for, like, the next shop? We sell, uh, we sell elemental tech. Yeah, and there's a lot, I guess. Yeah, there's a lot of, lot of spare. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think it might be... It's not far. It's not far. Let's try it's it. It's marathon safety. I Let's think it sure, might be worth it, sure. just in case Elver kills once and... Um, it messes with item arrangement actually as well then. Yeah, so one of the things in um, uh, the next portion of the game in Dollet is there's kind of two quite annoying bosses back to back from one another. Um, uh, there's, yeah, both have quite a high chance of killing Squall if, you know, you just get bad luck. So um, with only two Phoenix Downs, it's usually fine, but usually is a bit less than what we want, I think. Normally a run, I think if you're on a PB attempt, you would probably reset if, if, it, if the squall dies to if it. Yeah, for um, sure. So we would always be entering Dollet with four. Just back up Phoenix Downs. Obviously, ideal situation, squall never dies, but... Yeah, like like with Waves mentioned, the first hour or so is definitely the most stressful because we are just not simply super strong yet. We will only get super strong later on. Uh, mainly due to getting, the uh, I guess, strong magic from uh, Zalkar, right? Mm -hmm. And then they also have strength plus 60% from quizzes or the other way around, whatever. And not only are the battles sort of longer and harder, but you've got to keep tracking the RNG. Yeah. If you're doing Zelkar manipulation and uh, late quizzes, you've got to keep tracking the RNG all the way through um, the hardest battles of the game. There is just a lot of things you need to pay attention to at the same time, basically. While also doing the difficult fights, because fights get much easier later on as we get stronger, basically. Anyone might have noticed there that Robin Williams is the headmaster of the... Well, I'm Garden as well. <laughs> he just happens to send us off on our mission. Yeah, rest in peace. Yeah, sorry worries. Uh, we are going to take an exam, I guess, to become seed. So part of the mercenary forces that go around the world and yeah. kill people, I guess. Oh, an important question for, for Waves, I guess, is are you going to spin the wheel? Always spin the wheel. Always spin the wheel. We won't tell you what exactly <laughs> what that means until it happens, but it, it should become quite obvious, but there is a one in eight chance that this is going to be incredibly <laughs> anticlimactic. <laughs> so if anyone in chat wants to guess which direction the car might <laughs> happen to uh, drive into Dallas. Completely, yeah. Yeah. For no so reason at all. Type it now in chat. I, I have a feeling it's going to be down. I don't know. I'm going to say up left. Um, do I, I'm going to YOLO it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to yeah, spin yeah. the analog stick and just see what happens. Whatever happens, happens. Yeah. And if it's straight down, we know we should just reset the run. Go home. <laughs> we, just, we just know that we're not going to get any good RNG for the rest of the run, right? So, yeah, I think... Uh, no, I won't be a pessimist. I'll say left. Okay, okay, okay. I'm going to say downright. Downright is the one that looks like it's possible. In, in a real life sense. Like, it's, it looks like a, a normal drift. Mm -hmm. 
Personally, I, I always do upright because I like okay, it. Here we go. Yeah, let's go. Spin the wheel. Oh, oh no. no. Well, you just reset now. Yeah, reset. Can we run it back? Dust. No. Dust. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. So that was a one day chance that it was just going to be directly down. Yeah, it's it's run is cursed. It it just it it moves in exactly the same way. It just like it will just be pointing in whatever direction is on, on, the screen, yeah. during the screen transition. So, so I'm gonna go get some Phoenix Downs. Just on that bad moment. Can you do that? I think you can do it now. Oh, yeah. We'll find out. <laughs> Everyone, hurry school, go to the boat. Hurry uh, on. There's I've, got some, I've got some shopping to do actually. Yeah, like I'll be back there in two minutes. Need to get some Kit Kats. Come on. Come on. So yeah, okay, just, for, just for marathon safety, we're just going to grab these. I don't think no, it's going to... Um, He's going to sell your Phoenix sounds. Yeah, this is fine. Yeah. That's fine. Okay, so or should be enough, yeah. Or should be back to, Hopefully. Back to what would happen in a normal situation. How many times can you die in Dollar? Oh, enough. <laughs> I guess like Biggs could kill you, then L for it. Then yeah. XATM. Three is probably... Ah, yeah, we'd be fine. Anaconda, maybe. Yeah, it's, it's one We will off. be making uh, safety saves also for the two bosses on the comms tower. So. Oh, yeah. In entering and leaving the comms tower. <coughs> oh, don't forget that you are, you didn't menu in the cave, so you might be a bit... Yeah, oh, yeah. they behind. Uh, yes, I will do something to rectify that, I'm sure. Yeah, but I guess we can't do the manifest anymore, can we? I can. Yeah, as long as you get the um, oh, yeah. red soldier at the end. Yeah, sure. and, but, like, the important part is the, yeah, sure, we can try. the walking. Oh yeah, I guess it's fine, okay, okay. Yeah. Then we can just buffer to get the red soldier, yeah. or yeah, just yeah, yeah. force it there. Yeah. Like, as long as you don't get the one in tower, I guess. Oh, actually, yeah. You need to buffer to not get the one in tower. Mm. I mean, we are, going, we, are going to <laughs> <laughs> we are going to buffer for tower anyway, because we need to save. Absolutely, yeah. It's fine, yeah. yeah. Um, Hopefully. Oh, yeah, it should be fine, so. We I mean, if the money fails, it will take, be on um, me, because I'm doing the money, so, uh, the income tax. Oh, I, I can mean. just blame you, yeah. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'll yeah, just perfect. take um, a walking step as normal. I won't do the thing, the little tiny setup, and it should still be fine, because I've been doing it with my route. It seems to work out. Uh, for those completely confused about what we're talking about at the moment. <laughs> there are also two encounter skips that are only possible on PC or HD, whereby if you screen transition on the exact frame, uh, movement frame, not exactly frame, but frame, movement frame, that uh, you would have gotten an encounter. It, the game thinks you got the encounter, so it doesn't mess up any previous routing, uh, but you actually just skip the entire encounter. So there's two points where we want to do that. One is much later, and it's uh, a little more RNG heavy. The first one that happens is in about an hour and 20. We can actually maintain step count perfectly until that happens so that it's completely consistent every one. However, However you <laughs> I, <up> today. <laughs> I already messed it up. <laughs> <laughs> and while we watched uh, one of the best FMVs, FMVs in the game, I guess we can listen to some donations again. Perfect, yep. yeah. Oh, thank you very much, because they're coming in. We've received $50 from Faust. One of the best events, one of my favorite games. Just take my money. Thanks to everyone involved, and good luck on your run. That goes towards blindfolded Esther menu. And we have $100 from ESA's Rasmus, which goes towards, yes, thank you. That goes towards naming Angelo Cat. <laughs> uh, now, remember, you do still have the Angelo and uh, Renoa naming incentives. So please get your donations in for them. And finally, very quickly, $20, Dr. Leandre, best of luck, Bodcat, Olsen, and Waves. Can't wait to sing along in space. Thank you very much indeed. <laughs> should we tell him? We should um, probably, yeah. The, the reason there's no incentive, actually, uh, thanks so much, everyone, for the donations yeah. again. Uh, the reason there's no incentive for space is that we might not be going to space. So, uh, well, we'll be going to space, but briefly, very, very briefly. Very briefly. Yeah. Yeah. Just, just a quick detour to space. Um, so yeah, we will be, like we said, showcasing after disc one. We want to do the entirety of disc one as normal, and uh, we'll explain the jankiness and uh, cutscene remover that might happen afterwards. C can I also quickly sneak in? We've just passed forty-seven thousand dollars raised for Save the Children. Thank you very much indeed. Keep those donations coming in. Uh, we have about an hour, I guess, left until uh, Renoa and Angelo naming takes place. So. Keep them coming for sure. Just have a look at the cards there, just make sure they're still there. You can't be too careful. So, uh, what Wave is doing here, he just refined the um, fish fins that we got against the, uh, the uh, battles on the beach uh, into waters. So we now have 100 water um, uh, uh, magics. Yeah, yeah, good. I was about to remind yeah. you of that. 
so we so we now have four uh, uh sorry 100 water magics um on squall's strength junction uh the reason why this is like uh, in the early game is such a powerful uh magic to, to have is because there's it, in traditional final fantasy sort of uh standard is you know there's there's fire fire and firago are the three sort of tiers of spell um for for, for water elemental um damage in this game there is only one spell called water there's no water or Waterga. uh but it functions as a mid-level spell so it's on the same level as fire uh blizzara that kind of thing so and there's no other way of getting mid-level spells this early in the game this quickly so that's why they're particularly um potent in the very early game when all of the enemies we're fighting against are not quite as strong there was a g soldier attack g soldier yep <coughs> everyone attack once yeah, this no. Sorry, go, on, go on, go on, go on. I was going to say, this fight is uh, scripted when they jump off the bridge. So we can do this uh, with predefined inputs every single time. And the way you get super strong uh, and break the game completely is by getting uh, high level magic or high tier magic way sooner than we should be able to, thanks to, I guess, item refinement, basically. And one of the reasons why that is so powerful for the entire game is um, the way that basically leveling works in this game. For some reason, all bosses and enemies. As you go through the game scale with your level i think it was probably intended to be a mechanic to stop you from needing to grind or you know or anything like that but what it means but the, the fact that that exists but there's also a separate way completely uh, separate from leveling itself to actually make yourself stronger means that you can manipulate by having your levels be incredibly low it means your enemies are incredibly low level but you can then buff yourself in a different way so you're just doing insane damage against very very low level uh enemies that was the cypher cool so yeah we're continuing the rng tracking a every attack uh that I either of our three party members or a g soldier does um counts towards the rng if the soldier casts fire on us however that doesn't do anything for some reason that doesn't contribute towards R&D tracking so we just kind of have to be aware in every single fight of what does and doesn't affect the RNG. It comes after uh, after doing it a few times it gets a pretty second nature of what, what you need to count what you don't need to count. Yeah. Oops. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, and the reason waves damage Squall there with Cypher in the previous fight was because uh, we need Squall to be a bit lower HP. I guess this is fine, actually. One, he one should be okay. I think uh, because we will be using his limit break again to like destroy all of the bosses here. Because for now Squall is the strongest party member. And here, I'll explain after, but uh, it's a very important thing to do here is just to hide being... To, to okay. Yeah. Then that, the, it looks like Cypher's just talking to himself. Yeah. <laughs> He's monologuing Shakespearean stuff. I've never seen that before. <laughs> <laughs> it's very important. I used to always say, it's very important. I'll tell you in a minute why, and then I'll talk about something else completely. And someone an hour later will be just like, why are you hiding behind the phone? <laughs> <laughs> why did you do that? Always keep chat guessing. And only the highest level runners. Uh, it's a very difficult trick to perform. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we are also using Turbo today to measure the dialogues, and Turbo is actually allowed, uh, at least on the PC leaderboards for this game, so we know if you are not a fond of mashing, that's not a problem either. There's a because separate turbo, yeah. console Turbo board as well, so... And there is a lot of uh, things to Turbo 3 in this game. Yep. And so I guess we can listen to some donations again before we move on to yep. the Anaconda fight. Yeah. Fantastic, thank you. We have received fifty-five dollars anonymous donation that just says, "I love trains." <laughs> well, I can definitely get behind that. I love trains as well. Don't not we sure. All? Not sure the runners like them though. <laughs> What's the opinion on trains? I, well, I was, what, what, how could you not love trains? <laughs> and we've got one more for you. We've got ten dollars from Mutsky, Ooh. who says, "Hi, friends. Glad to see Final Fantasy VIII is being run by Yuru Camp Stan Olsen." Baguette Hero Bodcap and the WCW NWO Revenge <laughs> Legend of Ireland Waves. Best of luck on the run, lads. You're all going to be great. At least it can't be worse than Waves' failed car spin. So it's all downhill, <laughs> through, downhill from here, really. I think Keep. Uh, sorry, go on. Sorry, not finished. Keep it real. Your favourite speed mutt, Kev. Thank you very much indeed, Mutsky. <laughs> I Thank think you if, so much, Mutsky. If, if anyone's going to be the most disappointed in the fact we didn't get the car spin, it's going to be him. Probably Mutsky, oh. yeah. You, you should have brought a baguette with you as well. I should have done. Very obsessed about that. I haven't even eaten one since I've been here. Not one. 
Uh, I couldn't find Kit Kats in the shop either. I was actually very disappointed. Yeah. Um, so I will buffer after this encounter as well, just to push the next encounter back. Uh, I don't. Yeah, we just need the Red Soldier. Yeah. That's right, so we're okay. So I did create this route myself, but just the fact that I haven't ran it in months, uh, I kind of forget slight details about it. I mean, when are you ever not creating new routes? Yeah, so like just endlessly routing. He, 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 he finishes one, moves on to another one, leaves the rest of us in the dust. That's it. So the Anaconda fight's coming up. This is notoriously troll also. Um, normally, like uh, Botcap had mentioned earlier, I try to get Squall's HP ready to use Limit Break instantly. Uh, it's, I've found that the more you do that, the more chance you're, he's going to hit Squall straight away. Oh, yeah. Kill him outright. So yeah. <laughs> I like to aim to leave Squall with a higher HP. You also have less, uh, Alton mentioned earlier as well, to keep the crisis levels. Uh, the lower HP you have, the more crisis level you get, which means the more hits or longer it takes for Squall's Limit Break. To, uh, to complete, so the higher HP Squall is. That's it. Yeah. There we go. There we go. The just like the other, should be enough. It yeah. just before it's uh, just like the other fight. Um, this is also scripted um, as a, a struck first for Anacondor. So you start with zero ATB, which just gives Anacondor more time to, you know, hit Squall, and he hits hard. So. Nice. Level. See, that's why you want a better limit break than four hits. And there you go. Yeah. So there was a so squeeze. There two was cipher, one cipher scroll, one, one yeah. squeeze, and, and, and a Zell. Zell yeah. And a one character camera. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, seems correct. I think. Hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> two cipher, one scroll, we'll one find scroll, out one squeeze, another, one character. I think it's fine. Okay. All. Very hard not to hum along with the, with the OST of this game. It's just a. Uh, That's usually my entire stream. Just yeah. humming. It's just me sitting either in silence or just, uh, <laughs> humming, just or humming along to. Because, I mean, too good a soundtrack, not Yeah, too, really. the soundtrack in 8 is absolutely astounding. Yeah, some people mentioned in the donations that this is the best soundtrack in all of the games. Mm -hmm. Like, it's hard to disagree, honestly. Our boy, no boo. Because while other, ga other games have some. Like absolute bangers, FF8 is like full of bangers, and like it's just consist consistently, consistently very good. Mm -hmm. Non stop. I was about to say without exception, but I'm not sure that's quite true. There's one really good song halfway through, it's an optional one, you can only hear it once. But we're going to hear it today, though. I think well, you're in charge of it, yeah. <laughs> I think I'm doing it. Are you doing it? Yeah, yeah I, I, think, think so. I think so. That's that's, that's worked out quite nicely for you, isn't it? <laughs> just convenience, yeah. That, yeah. What was the chances? That <laughs> I wrote down what parts we're doing and just happened to be doing that part as well. You were the one writing, writing it down. Who the fuck? <laughs> Scammed. Here we get introduced to the next uh, long lasting party member. Or best girl selfie. Best girl, yeah. yeah. Definitely. Her initial clumsiness is, you know, this is as far as it goes, she actually is. Very useful. Very useful, <laughs> yeah. Well, for the end game, she just, like, dead for all of it, but, you know, that's okay. That, that's useful in a way. It's useful, it's yeah. Useful like, it's yeah. still useful than other party members, so, I mean, yeah. more useful than Renoa, at least. So, I mean, it would be difficult, I guess, to be less useful than Renoa. So. <laughs> <laughs> this whole game would have just been very easy or very straightforward plot if Renoa just didn't mess it all up. I don't know, I think personally that Quistis is the most useful in terms of like the speed run because you have you, you're forced to have her at the start of the game and all she does is miss. Mm -hmm. she doesn't do anything else. She dabs while she misses though. Yeah. I mean, Reno has one job in the run and she always messes it up for me at least. Actually, <laughs> <laughs> like one fight where you use her and she just cannot do it. Well, it's know? not even her though; it's her dog. So yeah. I mean, she's the owner, so like she'll take yeah, the yeah, yeah. I guess. She doesn't train properly. That's gonna take. We'll find out. Um, I think my plan was to run to the save point here and then, because like we mentioned about um, yeah. step count, we step count is active in the next screen, but we also want to save for marathon safety, but we want to maintain step count as best as we can. So I believe that the strategy is to run directly to it and then we'll buffer up the elevator. The other, I think doing it either way is fine. Mm -hmm. So one of, the, one of the reasons why actually, do you already go over menu buffers? Nope. And what they're useful for? Go ahead. So. Um, one of the reasons why we might want to, uh, well, we'll see, you'll, see, you'll see what we mean in terms of buffering here. So he's just going to, as he's walking towards the elevator, he's just going to keep opening and closing the menu uh, until we get there. The reason for that is because uh, 
the the step count itself, the actual back end values where the uh, the RNG, uh, not the RNG, the actual step, uh, the fractions between steps and the step IDs are progressing. Um, they don't increase while the screen transition is happening. So the fade from a black screen to the screen itself takes, I think it's about two like physical steps worth of uh, worth of time. Um, those values are not increasing at all during those. So that's either from transitioning from one screen to another if you go between screens, or if you are closing the menu and going from the menu into the back into the field screen. Um, so yeah, while while that's happening, um, uh, you can you can kind of get free steps in that way. And um, so if you're uh, if you're behind steps, so if, yeah, if you sort of walk too much, that's one way of getting yourself back on it if needs be. Uh, and because we purposely walked too far in order to go to the save point more than we normally would, then we'd do a few buffers there just to get us back to where we would uh, expect to be. While this uh, cutscene is happening, you can read one or two donations. Fantastic. This was always one of my favourite cutscenes. Anyway, we have $50 from Chris. I love disc one of Final Fantasy VIII. It might be because when I was a kid, I lost disc two. So the story for me ended with Squall dying to the sorceress. T89 donates $10.89. Any ABBA fans in this building, please raise your hands. And that goes towards the cat name for Angelo. <laughs> and it to Carl, $25. Did you know that you're the best looking guys at the ESA Marathon? Thank you very much indeed for those generous donations. Remember, all your donations do go towards Save the Children. Please, please get those donations in. Remember, $60 gets a goat. So uh, please get those donations in. You're doing a fantastic work for charity. Thank you. I think you must have read that last donation for the wrong game. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Bodcamp is famously in the FF8 community an ABBA super fan. Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> he burst into Super Trooper just out of the blue. Go on, give us a blast. No. <laughs> we should have been that an incentive. <laughs> I mean, you can make it an unofficial incentive if you want there you to. Go. Yeah, but I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the fight. Um, it's just kind of a two-phase fight. First we fight, well, it's actually three, I suppose, technically. Yeah. We fight Biggs first, and then Biggs and Wedge, and then Elbert at the end. Um, this might be hard to get, actually. I might just... Speed buffer onto the score. Oh, what the Put the crit. There we go. Dead. You might add a Zell attack there. Yep. Something. So the important uh, thing in this fight is to make sure you actually target uh, Wedge in the second phase, I guess. Because you can actually just damage Biggs again and it will end the fight, but you will not get AP from Wedge. And oh. we do need that AP to learn the abilities that we need. And the items that he drops as well. And the items, yeah. Yeah, he drops specific items as well. If you don't deplete all of his HP, then he doesn't drop them. Two machine guns. Was it a machine gun he did in the first phase? In the, the first, first one was a thunder, but I'm not sure if it was Oh, yeah, no, it was a thunder. It was a thunder. Yeah. yeah, it's only one machine gun. Yeah. So I just got one Zell, one machine gun. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And this is the flying Jay Leno with wings. Yeah. I guess flying with wings is kind of... <laughs> <laughs> Sneaky. Oh, that's its cool. Oh, okay. No, it's it's fine. So. Oh, oh, that's so <laughs> close. <laughs> yeah, ideally you want to draw a Siren of Zell as Squall gets full ATB so that you can search for, for the limit break while the draw animation happens. To get some free time and don't allow uh, Elvoret to parse his ATB, I guess. Quite a common strategy in a lot of boss yeah. fights is to use um, attacks uh, with players, with, with characters that you actually don't need to use an attack for, mm -hmm. just to have enough time for you to search for a limit break with another character when they've got full ATB. Uh, so that's the second spell, that's on score. Yeah, especially that usually the enemy uh, animations are much longer what than our own attacks, so we can just use our own attacks. One's out. Yeah, and the limit break. Right. Okay. That's fine. Mm -hmm. Decent fight, honestly. Yeah. Too bad. Nine HP marathon. though, we'll be okay. Yeah, that's perfect for XATM. As long as he doesn't die. I got all of those rough divides now. <laughs> I've done, done XATM on one HP once. Oh yeah. But yeah, Whatever that's, that's no problem. And that is Elverth. Um, the next boss is the... So the route we're currently running uh, is a route I made based on what previous people had done before. But it's called ECM, which means Early Card Mod. So what we're going to do uh, in the next fight, which is not the normal uh, casual strat, is that we're going to actually defeat the XADM uh, that we'll be facing next. And we're going to try to get the 50 AP off it 
and do another little glitch that allows us to run away when we're not supposed to run away. So that is the plan in the next fight. To do that, we need to deplete almost 4,500 worth of uh, HP, which at this level of the game, uh, at this stage with our junctions and our stats, is not an easy feat. So I worked out a strategy by using Rinse Kukens with Squall, which is Limit Break, um, and doing them in a specific way and trying to make up damage uh, using these rough divides. So we need to hope that we get at least two rough divides, which is completely RNG. Uh, but obviously, as also mentioned, at a lower um, HP, you have more crisis level, so this, there should be more chance that we do get it. But you can also get too many rough divides, and then it's becoming, yeah. becoming a problem, because we need to deal very specific damage. So, because like we need to make sure we don't over damage, basically, because we don't want to run uh, we don't want to run away from the fight at a specific moment. So I guess we can give Waves a bit of quiet time so that he can focus yeah, the fight. Yeah, it should be a little... Get the save before I'm going to save for yeah. so, uh, And to buffer. He will need to like be counting the damage and the attacks and stuff like that, so... I'll do the menu here now as well. Yep. Uh, so for this marathon safety, I'm actually going to give selfie uh, items. Well, I'll give magic item. Has that, and then for Jeff, we're going to set them what we want them to learn. So set if return HP J, which will learn instantly, and it's there. I've already set. Uh, sorry. Yep. Or uh, Shiva. I need to remember that selfie has founders. I was going to remind you. Yeah. yeah. It's easy. I'm going to forget that anyway. But. <coughs> so here we go. This is the. Other heavy reset point of the run in a you don't setting. It's also a, a fun fight to watch someone do a PB attempt with because you basically usually you're just saying random numbers. Random numbers to, 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 to yourself <laughs> just to just to keep track of everything while it's you're happening. You're gonna hear that probably like one to one, one zero zero. Yeah. Two one one. So it's, this is currently one oh one. So one the first value is for squall's limit break, the second one for rough divides, and the third one is for Zell attacks. So as we're going to try and not over damage and under damage, we're, we left off two triggers there, so that this, unless it crits, which would be terribly unlikely, um, does not knock down Exadium. Because we need to do as much damage That's as possible. Fine. So we're on 111. One, one. Yeah. That's oh, the selfie, okay. Yeah, yeah. Perfect. And this is actually the fight where we make heavy use of buffering or attacks, or our limited breaks with other party members' attacks. Because we are racing against time, uh, XA teams, ATP is very fast, and we need to make sure we squeeze in uh, six limit breaks before, I, or I guess now four limit breaks before X ATM gets up again. Yeah, so two on one. Two on two. And three on two. Four one two. If I don't get a rough divide here, I'll yeah. use the thunders. Yeah. <coughs> yeah, also the damage rolls were quite kind of low, so we see the thunder here. I'll do two. So that counts as one more rough divide, so I'm going to say two, two, or oh, how many rough divides? Four to two. Five to two. This is five, to two now, this is yeah. five yeah. Like I said, random numbers being said out loud. <laughs> <laughs> Only other F of 8 runners will know what's going on. Okay, we should be fine now. Be That's fine. five, three, two. So, I'll uh, just do uh, an attack. Maybe attack yourself just in case, not to over damage or something. Sure, fine. Yeah. Good. Okay, now I start fleeing. So, if we did this correctly, we should have depleted XADM's HP just now while this final limit break is happening. And as we're doing that, as I'm holding flee, the, the check that the game decides that you are allowed to flee or not allowed to flee is still held from when he was knocked down. So he gets up because he's over damaged, and we still get to flee. So we should, all going well, get 50 AP. There it is. Perfect. That is actually one of the most difficult fights in this round, for sure. Surprised that went so well. Oh, no. <laughs> Especially on 9 HP. Yeah. So yeah, my heart was actually pounding. That's actually a very difficult fight to perform. It's probably one of the... Because of the route differences now, we don't have the very difficult fight versus Diablos with Zell, which was famous in the route as well previously. So this is our most difficult fight. That's a, I'm just going to walk alone. Yeah, do it, do it. <laughs> I was practicing lately, and I accidentally ran past it trying to be swag. Yeah. So. So, so on that screen, there's a specific line, uh, and if you run past it, then you'll enter into another fight with XATM. He sort of he catches up to you, and you have to do another fight. But if you just walk over the trigger line, then he doesn't bother. So you can 
on this screen he'll chase you but he'll try and jump over you but you can kind of duke him by this lamppost here you can just go back and uh, re recross the line he'll jump back over the in the other direction leaving you free to leave the leave the screen are we saving the doggo oh, doing a 360, 360 dog 360 Easy. dog <laughs> Swag strats. You need to try the 720 though. Oh, yeah. 720 <laughs> is very difficult on analog movement. <laughs> so, you might need to force the encounter yeah, yeah. at yeah, the end sure. here. Yeah, fine. It's fine. Um, so, so what, just, you want me to kill Squall? Oh, it's on 9. Yeah, it's up to you guys. Um, Probably better to. <coughs> for or you, or, versus or, Grinaldo. or potion him. I mean, I can just for you. Him. But does no one counter to damage your down again? Yeah, but you, in Grinaldi, you can oh, just do, hold okay. that strats. But I can just kill him here and you can be 66. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. I mean, okay, just let that then. Let's we'll see what sure. the ADB is. Yeah. So I'm going to force a counter here. Um, oh, that was actually quite a lot. Nice, nice. yeah. All right. And this is where we get our final... Oh, it's a back attack and all. Perfect. So I'm going to attack with Squall, and hopefully that shouldn't kill. That will kill him. I mean, if you don't trigger... If he's low level, he can. Kills a back attack. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Kills a back attack. Of course he dies. Just, just potion him now. Yeah. Yeah, whatever. Oh, I can do it in the menu. It's not a big deal, though. Okay, so we left the screen on the same... Like, like I mentioned about screen fades. We left on the exact same uh, step count that we got the encounter. So uh, and put the squall attack. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, so we know exactly what the step ID uh, and encounters will be for the next section. And that's how we perform the skip. I'll just wait. Yeah, wait. Hang on, wait. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the last available frame. So you've 10 frame window to get uh, to get the Zelda card. Well, no, on, on Zelda, it's a lot. It's a lot larger than 10. Oh, is it? It's like 19, I think. Okay. It's Quistis is 10, but, but for Zelda, it's, it's we, larger than that. We currently are on the very last possible frame, so we we'll have, <laughs> we'll have to wait a cycle. Yeah, that's it. So we've, we, what we've got in front of us is essentially like a a, a command line window that has a you can press enter and sort of a, a line of asterisks will scroll across the screen and when it hits a certain target that's when you know that Zelkar will appear if you were to uh, accept the game at that moment and um, what it's basically telling us is that if uh, Waves hits it on the exact first frame he will get the Zelkar but any other frame after that he won't but eventually a new uh, set of asterisks will slide along after a certain period of time so that's probably the easier way of going about this that's it yeah Assuming that we counted the, all the RNG correctly, but I think... Oh, I, I'm, not, I'm not confident at all. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, back when the money did not exist, you actually had to go through dollars, so like spend an hour or so of the run, and then you had like 10% chance to get Zelkar first, right? So yeah. Like you would and it was even later. It was actually, they used to do it after Diablos. So. Oh yeah, so like <laughs> oh, yeah. an hour and a half, I guess. So like it was an hour and a half into the run, you just yes, YOLO, uh, YOLO get Zelkar, the one in 10. One in 10. Yeah, so running FF8 back then definitely was not fun. And that's why also there was a route that simply did, did not use Zell card at all, because it was just so random to get it. If you want to do the 2F menu normally, I can delete the Thunders now. I mean, normally they would be on Quistis, though. So. They're still on Quistis. They both have them. I don't know. I'll just delete them from... Um, I mean, they're on Selfie. Yep. Even, yeah, whatever. Yep. Yeah, so your menu will be the same. You yeah. could have potion too, but... <laughs> Fine. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. So we enter the room because so we're not allowed to play cards off the bath. So now we go talk to her again and go, can I have your son's card, please? And here we go. Cross your fingers. Okay, that's pretty center. Okay. There we go. Okay, so... Uh, I'm uh, what is it? let you type them in and then I'll draw this game. Yep. have it uh well yeah we got the counting right what? timing wrong the timing was wrong it looked right in the middle of the it did look right in the middle it did look very right yeah okay let's we'll do it again so we go for a second try ready to go square I'm going to do with that. Can I give a quick donation? Yep. Okay, we've received $10 from Archie with a question. There we go. Ooh. Did you remember to draw a siren? <laughs> Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. We did, right? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep, so second try we managed to uh, get the Zelda card. Now, th this is a little bit less uh, stressful than Quistis once you actually have Zelda on the screen. With the Quistis card, you have to make sure you use the exact um, uh, uh, card 
order of cards in the, in the right places um, to uh, to win the game and actually ah. keep the RNG correct. Um, whereas with Zell, it doesn't matter what card she plays at all, the same strategy will work every time. There's th only three possible options, and uh, depending on who goes first. Ah. That's Sorry. it. That's all the card RNG manip done. We've finally got all of the cards we need for the game. So unfortunately, that is the end of Triple Triad in the road. Yep. Thankfully. <laughs> As but we much as I love it, <laughs> but, it is the hardest part. But we managed to play five games, so we actually got our got, values worth. Yeah, more than more than double bargains. This is the part in a uh, in a in any percent run of this game where a lot of weight is lifted off the shoulders. Mm -hmm. I think because you have the Zell card, which is not guaranteed. You've managed to actually get the AP from X ATM. You've gone through all the stressful fights. You don't have to. You know that from now onwards, you don't have to do any uh, Zell tracking, any card tracking. You can just play the game. And uh, I'm not going to say it's easy from now on, but no, it's... but it's definitely like for all of us. I feel the stress is lifted. Now, so <laughs> it, like, we've got your dollars. It's yeah. been done. Like this is definitely the moment where I can say I have the run going, basically. Yeah. Finally. Mm -hmm. I don't know why I continue to mash, even though we have turbo. Yeah. <laughs> just, like uh, when I use turbo, then I just mash during FMVs because I'm just so used to mashing. <laughs> like. I think it's holding the DS2, because yeah. when I was grinding and mashing, uh, I was using a DS2. Now I use a Koami uh, turbo controller, and it just feels different, and I'm don't, I don't mash on that. Yeah. Oh yeah, forgot to move. And this is the point where I'm going to pass the controller over to Olsen for the next segment of the run. Yeah. So, here we go. Give it up for Awesome Waves. Woo. Thank you very much. And so the first thing that Olsen will have to do now that he's taking control of the game is um, one of the trickier menus, I think. Um, mm -hmm. there's, it's one of the... Uh, he gets all the menus. He's got all the tricky menus. Oh, he does there. have all the... Yeah. Do you yeah. want to try this one blindfolded? <laughs> <laughs> so um, there's, there's a few menus in the game uh, and Olsen will be doing, I think, all of them, mm -hmm. um, where there's a pretty much a set a period of time in, in which is kind of like free time to do any menu you want to do. Uh, the game won't progress, the story won't progress after X amount of time has passed. So you can use that time to do like a lot of menuing if you're if you're fast enough essentially and you won't lose any time any net time. Uh, in this particular menu that's coming up now, uh, 50 seconds, 51 seconds ish um, is the uh, uh, is the length of time that Austin's got to do quite a lot of, <laughs> of, uh, yeah. of things um, because now that we uh, have card mod we are able to utilize that um, to uh, basically make ourselves super OP way stronger even I mean we felt pretty strong in Dollet, but now we're going to be more than that quite significantly all bar one card we're waiting still to get the Diablos GF and we get his card as soon as we get the GF uh, so we're going to see Olsen refine the items that we got from Pigs and Wedge uh, the tents and the cottages Kiraga Magics, just sign Max in French. Um, straight after that, we're going to see him use the card mod to refine the cards, like we said. Cool. And then gonna set the GFs to learn next abilities that we need. Actually, just nothing she, for Shiva, yeah. Let us stop learning, actually, because we're done with her. Swap some Magics across. Delete Thunders, we don't need them anymore. And then some item arrangements. Um, the item arrangement you're doing right here is actually not important at all until the end of the run. This is how you set up the items for the final boss. <laughs> so we do that now as we have free time, if everything goes quick enough. And right here, we're just going to move things so they're ready for the coming up menus as well. Use the strength plus 60s, which we got from the Zell card, and then equip them. And that is us ready. Pretty good. Yep, I think you're about nice. right on time, I think. Very good. That's one of the... Uh, the menus that feels the nicest if you absolutely nail it and get it done in time. It is quite easy to do in the older route, I guess, but it is super tight in ECM because we do a bit of extra menuing here. I think I finished it in like, you can do like 36, 37 seconds um, without uh, with all the card mod stuff. Because you're, you find yourself waiting. <clears throat> Always. That's it, we have graduated as a seed, almost. Got to be given some life advice first. From uh, Everyone else gets quite useful advice. Uh, the only thing he says to Squall is, Hooray, we now have a Gunblade. <laughs> I guess we could do one quick donation here while yeah, we are this time now for donations. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much. We have $10 from Brofar. Sent you the traditional WhatsApp. 
Good luck to you all. <laughs> Thank you very much indeed for your generous donation. Remember, folks, <laughs> that all your donations are going towards Save the Children. Please keep those donations coming in. $47,426. Can we hit $48,000? Uh, before I come off in about, <laughs> what, a couple of hours? Let's see if we can. It's an ongoing meme that Brofire just WhatsApps me a picture of himself on, uh, during, he sees during runs. Yeah. During runs are just to distract us. <laughs> Never fails. So Brofire uh, helped us out quite a lot with uh, the fish manipulation actually creating a uh, useful website that you can actually search for the index and stuff like that. You'll, he has a website where like, there's actually loads of really useful um, FF8 tools mm -hmm. that we can use. Galbadia.garden is the name of the site. Yeah, there's loads of useful tools and one chaotic tool, which is a randomizer <laughs> for the controls. Control <laughs> randomizer, yeah. Thank you. For the slow claps. Yeah, because we became Sid and then we passed the exam. Cypher didn't because he made some questionable decisions, I guess. <laughs> there we go. Got extra points for 360 running around the dog, <laughs> saving him. I wish that were true. No, you, you do get points for saving the dog. I think it goes into judgment or conduct. Yeah. Unfortunately, not, treat, not swagging. There is, there is a leaderboard category um, for uh, finishing the, the Dollar Escape sequence that we've now finished with the perfect seed score. So you have to... Do everything. I, I don't even know what's involved in there's that. A lot. There's a lot of stuff you've got to do. You've got to like kill XATM like five times. You've got you to, to do like a, a, I can't remember how many enemies you have to kill in dollars. Like um, it's a lot of grinding. Yeah. And I hope you're enjoying the the visage uh, of Squall's face right now because, as we all know, he is the best looking guy in the room. Doesn't look that bad on PC. Yeah, on PC compared to console, it's, really it's fine. It's, yeah. Yeah. He's got a disappointingly large amount of pixels. <laughs> I, I, I prefer it when he's just a blob. Yeah, uh, it's just like eight pixels. Yeah, a square on the just a three by three, like vaguely beige. It's one of the more famous memes. I'm sure, if you just Google "best looking guy squall," you'll, you'll find us. <laughs> An enlarged picture of uh, joining the festival committee. Oh, oh, not today. Not I, today. I tend to do it quite often, actually, but <laughs> not today. <Yeah. laughs> That's one of my most frequently incorrectly put. Uh, yeah. For the non-fluent French people here, the uh, question there was, will you join the Garden Festival Committee? And Alton lets, let her down. Disappointed her, dashed her dreams. I mean, thankfully, selecting the wrong option here isn't that big, big of a deal. Yeah. It doesn't lose you much time lost. at all. Yeah. There's quite a lot of things that, you know, they only affect the run by a few text boxes here and there, but like the length of the game and the amount of times we have to actually make those sorts of options. If you get all of them wrong, then it's probably you're adding a minute, two minutes. Absolutely. To your, well, to the run. certain ones are way more than others. Yes, ones. absolutely. Yeah, this particular dialogue choice will actually matter in like three hours or something. So now it's time for a dance. Yep. Yeah, we're, I mean, we're being introduced to another character here, but we're just going to gloss over that, I think. We've got plenty of time for donations if there's anything going. Yes, indeed. Before we do that, however, a quick question for you. Uh, how long do we have before we need to close the Renoa and Angelo naming incentives? I think we have about 30 mi 20 minutes. 20, 30, I'm not sure. Yeah, Maybe 20 around. minutes, yeah. Okay, fantastic. Well, I'll give you a quick update on those first, just so we can have a little look at that. We currently have the name for naming Angelo is Cat at $115.89. <laughs> with Scallion in second place on $90. And we have Renoa is currently called Squall <laughs> at $120, with Ico in second at $55. And we have received $15 from Zimplicy. Love the run, love the game, love the reason. Thanks to all for the event. Thank you very much indeed for your generous donation. Having Renoa be named Squall is definitely not going to confuse any of us <laughs> during our menus later on. We actually mentioned this earlier, and it's actually yeah. better that Alton is doing the menu blindfolded so it won't confuse him. <laughs> <laughs> he won't see the incorrect names. So this is the first time we actually hear the uh, the melody of Eyes on Me, which yeah. is the title track of the... Not title track, but it's the main theme of the game. The ongoing theme, yeah. yeah it comes up a few times in different formats. Uh, but this is the waltz version of it. We'll hear it again very shortly. Played in the piano bar. I mean, there's probably six or seven different arrangements of the same melody throughout the game. 
not particularly uh, well disguised. The Christus is now coming to uh, tell us to... He's giving us uh, her cryptic final order to uh, go and meet her in some secret location somewhere in the garden. Doesn't sound suspicious at all. Just on the uh, if base, the motif of that song, I think, because I was listening to, there's an every FNF, FF podcast that goes to all the Final Fantasy games, uh, well, they're in progress, um, does a uh, kind of a book club analysis of them. I think they mentioned that the Tifa theme from Final Fantasy VII is actually like used as the baseline for Eyes on Me. There's some similar melodies in it. There you go. Facts for you. Yeah. Mainly they did that because they spent ages trying to make popular songs on the Tifa piano in the Vinny game. <laughs> <laughs> they just started playing everything they could. Oh, Olsen's going to have to... Uh, <coughs> we're, we're going through uh, the, the training center in the garden to uh, actually go and talk to Quistis. So for what is essentially a... Just a, a, a piece of story within the game. There is actually step count active for for a few screens, and there, there are actually some of the more difficult screens in turn to get the movement right while step count is active. And it's where a lot of newer runners will actually like lose their steps um, when they're when they're doing runs for the first time. Um, the so hallway it, is difficult too. Yeah, <laughs> it is. Um, so yeah, well, Alton's going to perform the actual the encounter skip that we mentioned earlier. I'm going to try to at least. Yeah. Yeah. If it's, I'm going to blame you, but it's probably my fault. <laughs> <laughs> All the botching and buffering I was doing. Um, when I was testing this and did the, the safety saves, and uh, it seemed to work. But we'll see. I have faith. Fingers crossed. Here we go. So he's going to do a buffer while holding left, a buffer while holding up left, a buffer while holding left, and then run all the way left. So here's one buffer, two buffers, another one. Then he's going to run all the way left to bunk, then hold up left. He bonks, hold up, and then hold upright to leave the screen. And if that works, we will get no encounter here. Perfect. We'll be fine. And what that means, so basically we, we've, we've worked out that that very, very specific movement and that very, very specific amount of, of steps, you know, to within f fractions of steps be uh, between each actual footstep you can hear, um, has been pretty much exactly precise from the start of the game until now, so that as soon as that screen transition hit, the exact <laughs> moment that the that he left the screen was the moment where he would have got an encounter. Uh, now that's happened, the game thinks he has got the encounter, but it didn't actually happen. Yeah. It's very important that we get the correct amount of encounters, and that'll occur again in, uh, in a later section of the run where we try to skip another encounter by taking walking steps. Uh, so we need them because we will be doing encounters that we want to do later on in the SR menu when we've got some free time to learn some abilities. And so... It was actually important in that skip that the game still believes we got the encounter, so it actually didn't change any routing or made it any way more difficult. Here, Christus is uh, unleashing her thoughts onto us. Squall is completely disinterested. Uh, he could not care less. I actually always found this, this scene quite interesting, even casually. Even if you're just mashing through the scene, there's so many awkward pauses in the text boxes. They just don't appear very often that it actually really feels awkward when you're like mashing through it. It's a really well done scene. I mean, so, like, th like this, for example, nothing yeah. is happening. You just have to wait. It just <laughs> feels, you can feel the awkwardness and the tension. So he's, uh, she's actually like uh, saying that she's finished with being an instructor. She's just back to being a member of Seed, much like Squall. And she doesn't say anything about fancying him here, does she? But later. About what, sorry? Fancying him. No, no, it's much no. later. Yeah. It's heavily implied. Spoilers. Sorry. It's heavily implied. It is heavily implied. She just says it later on in Trabia, but we won't get there. Whenever we might. Yeah. Uh, this is the moment I think where Squall has told her to go and tell to wall. speak to a wall instead yeah. of him. <laughs> might get a better response out of it, to be fair. He's pretty monosyllabic. She looks pretty unresponsive there herself. Yeah. Now let's see if I remember how to do the movement here. Because it is actually tricky yeah, to get it correctly done. You can actually, Afonso, like, just hold down left for the first screen here. All the way. Is it just left? Down and left. Down and left, yeah, yeah. All the way. Right. Yeah, you yeah. don't even need to go. Oh, okay. I thought you did before. It's just there. 
So as I mentioned, this is actually a really awkward screen. It's just it's so many directions, and right. the perspective is kind of skewed. And there's, uh, there's random log branches that are ju jutting yeah, out that you can't even really see. And then it... But yeah, uh, because we had to potion Skull, since he was too low on HP, we will be doing the easy strat, which is a bit slower. How much slower depends on RNG, but at least it's much, much easier. Because I would just be holding three buttons throughout the entire fight, basically. I actually completely forgot that this was a strat. <laughs> <laughs> I completely <laughs> forgot what you were saying about the potioning earlier. Yeah. I was like, oh yeah. Actually, great ADBs for the starters. Yeah. So, um... Yeah, there's two different strats for this. Like, if, if we did have Thorp Skull in uh, Critical HP, he'd be doing Orenza Kuken on the actual main the main boss, which is Grinaldo, and then we'd be doing uh, standard attacks on uh, the Rowlers below. But it's actually not that much slower to just yeah. just do four attacks on the main Grinaldo and then and then kill the rest. So, uh, yeah, that's yeah. it's... Shout out to uh, the Japanese runner, Pingval, as well, who actually did this by accident, and he tweeted about it, and I was like... That wasn't that slow. <laughs> I'll go and investigate this. And uh, I've actually since used the route, that's, that strat in the new route actually to... Uh... Uh, in one of the runs, I've had Quist's crit on Granaldo, and actually it was faster than doing the intended strat, so... <laughs> that's cool. In the new route, I found this quicker to kill the Raldos first, but it's a bit RNG heavy if they, uh, if you can actually kill them in two attacks. I think Quistus doesn't necessarily one-shot them, does no, she? I think school does. No, it's definitely two attacks each on my route, but it's... Um... They, when you start that fight, all the Rallos on the bottom, the three smaller enemies, they're in like a defensive mode. And they like take half damage and stuff. And as soon as Granaldo, the main boss, dies, they come out of that and you can actually easier beat them. But they don't necessarily immediately... I think if they then attack you, then they leave their defensive mode and then yeah, they, they become uh, easy, it's all easier on their to kill. Checks, yeah. yeah. One more text box after this. I always forget about this one. But I mean, if turbo is whatever, because I can <laughs> turbo there. The problem I have with turbo is then I just forget to turn it off and then I walk past that side. Yeah. It's a training center. It's like, and it's just training center, training center, training center, training center. Training center, training center, training center, training center. <laughs> Our infirmary is the one yeah. that happens to me most, actually. Infirmary, infirmary. I think I do that for the library all the time. <laughs> so Zell is here to greet us. Tells us that we've got a new room because we are now seeds. We're a bit of an upgrade. We're, a, actually, we're a real boy. Yeah. Got our own bedrooms. Yeah, and uh, as we are going to sleep, I guess it is a great time for some donations again. Thank you very much indeed. We have received $10 from Kagar. Good luck on the run. Great to see the Easy Card mod run on the big screen. Thank you for the music. And that goes towards naming Renoa Waves. <laughs> <laughs> and we also have $5 from Poker Fagote. When you said Eyes on Me, I actually heard All Eyes on Me, the two-pack song. <laughs> Imagine my confused Googling. <laughs> Thank you very much. That goes towards Griever's name, Lil Dive. <laughs> And I'll give you a quick update on those, if you don't mind. Absolutely. Uh, Angelo is currently still cat at 115.89. I love it. Uh, Griever is now going to be a Lil Dive at 52. <laughs> and Renoa is still Squall at 120. Please get your donations in if you want to name any of those characters. Remember, everything goes towards Save the Children. Thank you so much. Yeah, I think we've got maybe 10 or 15 minutes left before we get a rename. We just have one more sequence and more of us. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Then, We'll be arriving at the train station yet. Perfect. Well, you heard that. You heard it, chat. Get your donations in if you want Renoa's name and Angelo's name. Thank you. So here we're on our first mission. Yep. They kind of knocked at the door, said, get up. We're going to Timber. We're going doing a mission straight away after qualifying and having your ball. Uh, they don't really give you any rest. No. Zell makes an entrance in style there on his T-board, which is... Looks like such a sort of fun item that they could have incorporated into the game, but that will never be seen again. That is all you'll see of that T-board. And it's 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 always saddening to see it. It is here. Missed opportunity. We will be doing some missions later on in the game where it genuinely would have been quite useful. We even have a train mission coming up. We yeah. could have done the back to the, the back, Exactly. We could have literally <laughs> done it, the entirety of it. We have the hoverboard, we have the train. Let's do it. Uh, do we want to start our Extra don uh, donation incentive now? Oh, yeah. We could do it, I guess. We could mention that. So I mentioned that we were going to, um, previously before dividing up the run, we were thinking about like every hundred euro, every hundred dollars that's donated, that we might just like swap controller on the fly. Yeah. So it's at 47,450 now. So I guess when it's 550. 
Yeah. So any donations that come in overall, we'll uh, we'll run it off the main. I think I see if we can get up to 50k. Yeah, we want to get waves through the Dalit section because swapping the controller uh, in the yeah. middle of that might have been a bit. A bit hit and miss, yeah. There's, <laughs> yeah. there's, one, there's one awkward member of this, uh, not to point at anyone, um, but there's one awkward person here that uses a different control scheme to us. Be a better so, control scheme. A better control scheme. So we would have had to... Um, it would it makes it a bit more difficult, but it doesn't matter. It's all for charity. We're going to do it. So yeah, get those donations in, and we'll just uh, hot swap the controllers as we go. You heard, you heard them chat. If we can get $100, we will uh, see an impromptu controller swap. I hope that is correct. Yeah, that is. Yeah, fine. it looks yep. good. I cannot do it on the screen, though. Like, I cannot board a train. We definitely Just... should have used Ward for this. Uh, no, we shouldn't. Uh, I, I still can't believe you. I forgot to crit. It would have been <sighs> Omega meme. <laughs> <laughs> I still cannot believe you are like teaching new runners to do war strats. Oh, because but it's so cool. Make them lose time on purpose. Like, it all, it's slower. <laughs> like, slower 90% of the time. It's safer. 95, I think. Yeah. No, no. It is cool, though. You just don't, you don't, believe, cool. it's, it's don't it's believe enough. Come on. It's a brilliant strat. So, it's back in the new road, I tell you. Yeah. So people would have noticed that we did pick up the magical lamp from Sid when we talked to him just now. Um, I did pick it up, right? You did, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> back to garden, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Back, back, back I to saw garden. it in the item menu just now. It's back fine. to okay. garden. Um, so we picked up the magical. It's called Alador in uh, in French. Mm -hmm. um, and in previous uh, routes of this game, we would have already in Balam Town. We would have started that fight. And uh, if you've seen any PSX runs, you'd see um, usually the Arblos gets dispatched with uh, Zell's dual limit break, um, which you know it's it takes a long time. Uh, you know, to actually input the things, it's quite difficult to actually get things in time. Does it? Uh, about two minutes. I actually only looked at the timing of it. Yeah. I just went asked. Uh, uh, so it's over two minutes. Yeah. But uh, but then because we're using the ECM route, we're actually much much stronger right now than we would be in the usual route without having done that uh, version of the XATM fight. Uh, and what that means is that we can rely on much shorter limit breaks that usually won't do as much damage as Jill uh, would have done. Um, and uh, yeah, when thinking about. Who is the best character to actually do this with? Um, none of these, you know, <laughs> none of these characters are, are actually that useful. And if only the game had to give us an opportunity to use three different characters. Yeah, to, to just simply just different. randomly introduce three other characters into the game where we can actually uh, so use their limit breaks. Instead. Without giving any crazy spoilers, the party just falls asleep and for some reason wakes up in what they refer to as the dream world. Yeah. And the characters are given names immediately. Uh, it's in the menu if you look at them. So this is Laguna Dream One. Uh, just prefacing that it might happen more than once. <laughs> You'd never know. You can do a, you do a, a step here. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Do two steps. That's it's upright, right? Yeah. yeah. And here we go. We're going to use the magic lamp. Get ready. Get all your cat jams, scratch jams, yeah. fungar, please. And this is man with the machine this gun. Is this is the, the jam banger. of the game. Yeah. But yeah, so a lot of people don't know that you can actually fight the Ablos in the Laguna Dreams, but you can. You can use these characters. And uh, an immediate slow gravager, <laughs> which is <laughs> slowest move you can. This do. would be great if we were using Zell. Yeah. Mm. But, it's, but it turns out, yeah, we can just use either. I mean, depending on how you how you route it, you okay, can yeah, use either Ward. I'm going to go for it. it Ward or Kiros. Um, there, let me break. And oh my God! Please. It always happens. Okay. Yeah. You just, just click the button. <laughs> Dravija is actually spooky because he can do triple claw afterwards and like wipe with Marty instantly. And I didn't save, so I mean. Oh yeah. Ah, that's okay. Yeah, th th this is. So this used to be a, a really difficult. A, a really like, not necessarily reset heavy, but like you could wipe. You could easily wipe if if uh, if you were unlucky in this fight in the old ECM, uh, old non ECM routes. Mm. Uh, but now we are. Um, it, it's much safer than it used to be. So um, what we mentioned there about previously. I got people to use Ward to do it, and I was grinding it using Ward. Ward has a, a limit break called Titanic, or Big Anchor. Uh, massive Anchor. Massive Anchor in English. It's it? massive. massive. Not just anchor. big, it's massive. And he just throws like his weapon up into the air and then like, catches it and jumps down and smashes Diablos. It's glory. It is uh, glorious. It's a fantastic limit break. And there's a potential chance, 5% or, or so, you know, that it could crit and do double damage and just one-shot Diablos outright. And it has happened quite a few times. Yeah, one of my old PBs, I had the crit. Mm -hmm. It, I think that's the only time it's ever happened in, in, <laughs> in like significant numbers of attempts. A lot of new runners have seen it. Yeah, beginner look, I think. So we do have a bit of time here now to talk about. We haven't um, 
meant to be like if anyone is interested in running this game it's actually it's in a really good place right now especially with the P especially for the pc road where there's uh, like the cutscene removal mod which we'll be demonstrating shortly uh the piece there's a practice the practice percent that's almost finished so you can practice the entire game in an hour and a half it's brilliant um and then in terms of guides i obviously have made the ecm route the one we're running right now and in terms of that with help from windows one of the speedo moderators I've made an easy CM route, which means that as long as you play this game casually and you kind of know what to do, you could literally just play this game and speedrun it and probably get like, uh, I won't say sub, you get sub nine, yeah. I think, would, yeah, yeah, which yeah. would be very good. Um, so like with being within an hour, an hour and a half of world records, just blindly running. You're literally reading the notes yeah. on the fly while you're doing the And run. people have ran that route down to 745. So 15 minutes away from world record. So like it's a really solid route with just lots of slightly safer strats. So you're like, giving up like uh, optimizing routes to just like potion squall or you know, yeah. some of that basically just to make sure that you don't die on places where there's a chance you know there might be a 10 percent chance to die on yeah. certain fights just making sure that doesn't happen yeah. for know. example they would have fought diablos there in the lobby because there's a safe point yeah <laughs> <That kind of laughs> yeah small things like that um so that it's a really good place so obviously go to speedo.com uh, i think there's a link to the discord final fantasy 8 has its own discord hub at the moment um as most of the final fantasies do um, i think some of the or Yarder ones like one, two, three, four, five, six are probably are four and five are linked together because they're quite similar. Yep. Um, but it's in a really good place, a really good, uh, really good run. Yeah, and there's yeah. a lot of new runners nowadays. Like the game is the most active it's been in years for sure. Mm -hmm. So like it's a great moment to start running it if you want to. I think the PC version of this game is is particularly a lot more active than uh, you know, the the PSX. I think used to be a relatively um, sort of competitive run and active run, but. Um, I think the, the problem is that obviously you need to get the hardware for it, you need to uh, uh, get the games for it, and uh, you, need to, you, need, you need the NTSC sort of US versions of those, um, which, you know, it kind of does add up in terms of cost, um, whereas you can buy this for, what is it, 12 quid on, yeah. on Steam? Like, it's, <clears throat> um, it's a much more accessible uh, game to run as well. Sure. Yeah, speaking of consoles, I also run the console version, so it's Bodcap, but... Um, Tried to do a run, was it last week or the week before? That the, yeah, not to, yeah. The it's FMVs longer. just stopped loading, so no. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Rest in Hardware peace. issues is a bane Rest of any console runner's life. Rest in peace, my laser of my uh, NTSC PS2, I think. Yeah, the console run is uh, just about the world record is 816. It's a small bit slower, obviously, just because load times are slightly different strategies implied as well. Yeah. Um, but 90% of the run is the same. A couple of things to mention. Um, after Diablos, uh, the end of the Diablos fight we just did, um, some of you may have noticed that during uh, the rest of the sequence in the forest where we were running through to get to Delling City, there was a moment when the screen just sort of went black and then came back again for no reason. Uh, this is a PC only sort of glitch that we call the Diablos menu glitch, which essentially just for some reason after you fought Diablos, the first time you try and open the menu after that happens, it won't open the menu. It'll fade to black, and then it will just go straight back in. We can use that as a menu buffer. That screen transition does count as a menu buffer to gain us a little bit of steps, but for whatever reason, that, that's that's the best use of it, essentially. We use it to gain some free steps, but uh, a lot of people will forget that happens. Try and do the menu that they also did just now, and then it won't open the menu, and then they have to open it again. It's kind of a, a weird glitch that happens. Um, and then in that, to talk about that menu as well, um, it's what I kind of think of as the Diablos menu because we've just got Diablos and then we can do all the things we off, the, off the back of that. So, you know, we make him start learning something. We junction him to Laguna. We, yeah, refine his card. Um, so Let's do a small bit of item rearrangement, yeah. And did you mention that the 18 seconds are free? And I didn't. So, so this, this is the, the second of the three. Uh, timed menus. Or menu. timed, not timed. It's like, imagine they're like auto-scrollers in yeah. a platforming game. It's like, you're going to have to wait that amount of time anyway for the game to progress. So the game actually is tied to the background music that Julia was playing on the piano. So you just have to wait for that song to end. So you've got like 18 seconds of free time, if you're good with your menu, to just do 18 seconds of free menuing. That's what we do here. I didn't know you could go up around the table. I didn't go down. I mean, I'm not sure. I, just, I always do that. It might be slower, but like, that's what I do. No, it looks faster. I, I just see. hold left. I just it hold left. it like yeah. weaves through the tables. It's probably... Optimizing on the fly. It's probably worse, oh yeah. God. So I'm going to give a maybe a, five minutes is a good estimate, but maybe five minutes until the cutoff for Renoa's name and for Angela's name. Okay, thank you very much. Five minutes left then on those. Currently, we still have uh, in the lead, we have uh, Cat for uh, Angelo and Squall for Renoa. 
there's any donation yet, there's a bit of time now as well. Yeah, no problem at all. Would like to remind you that ESA Summer 2022 is raising money for Save the Children in Ukraine and in conflict zones around the world. Save the Children works to provide mental health support to terrified children and their families. Support mothers with baby feeding and pregnant mothers with baby arrival kits. Set up child-friendly spaces where children can play and recover from the traumatic experiences they have been through. They also help to establish safe passages to get food and other supplies to the most affected areas. And they also provide child protection services to ensure children and their families remain together and that separated children are reunited safely with their caregivers. So all of the money that you're donating, 47,000, sorry, 516 currently. Remember, if we hit 47556, I think, believe we're going to get That's a it. little just swap over of a yeah. controller. So we do have one little donation here. We have uh, Doff donating $60. Oh, wow. I love video games for sure. Final Fantasy VIII is definitely a game. Good luck, runners. <laughs> Thank you very much indeed for that generous donation. I think it is. You it is, is a game. I yeah, think it, it is. is a game. It is. Thank it you very much. Most certainly. Some people might argue that it's just a mashing simulator. Yeah. But, you know, it's, it's mostly it's, a game. I, it's, there's elements of game. <laughs> there is definitely <laughs> gaming bits in it. Uh, it became more apparent when the cutscene remove the mod was released. And like, as it was being released and modified and created by Cypher TV, uh, it was getting shorter and shorter, and it was becoming more apparent that there's less game here. <laughs> so it started, you know, coming down to six hours, five hours, and then finished just four hours. So it's like, where's the other three and a half hours gone? And it is just uh, mostly FMVs and some mashing. And... I mean, it is still better than FF10. Because I believe FF10 is like around three hours with the custom remover mm -hmm. nowadays. Oh, yeah. And like, what, eight so. hours, I think, with the any person or something? Nine, I think. Yeah. Nine, yeah, nearly. Yeah. yeah, so they've cut out. Quite a considerable amount. I mean, at least FF8 has more gameplay than plot, so that's fine. There you go. Yeah, as long as it's over 50%, yeah. that, that's, that's, then it, we qualify. They wake up for the dream. This will be a, a recurring theme also. You know, I don't know how much we're actually going to see of all the story, but um, every time they wake up in a jarring situation, they just kind of go, you know what we'll do? We'll talk about that later. <laughs> <laughs> and it's the only plot device they have to like, not worry about <laughs> the reason that they randomly collapse and, uh, and find they, out random things. And they never really get to it, No, they, they just kind of leave it off. Yeah. It just kind of keeps getting pushed down the road. It's like, we'll kick that can. It's fine. And they never address it. Yeah, I mean, the plot of this game is like full of holes like that, I guess. It, no, it's it, perfect. It's yeah, not. it is. I mean, no, I love it. I love it. But like... <laughs> It really shows, like, is that the game was, was like stitched together from different parts, mm -hmm. like in a hurry, basically, because well, they were developing a few games yeah. at the same time. <coughs> mm -hmm. I mean, if you, those times, so. if you just don't think about it too much, it still doesn't make any sense. I think uh, <laughs> a lot of the Xenogears team were pulled off Xenogears because that's notoriously famous for having like a second disc that's very strange yeah. and kind of very empty. Um, a lot of the team were pulled over to FF8, and then the FF8 team were already after working on Parasite Eve, I right, believe, yeah. the same engine as well. So yeah, I can... It was actually, at the original time, they had planned to make the game 50-50 Squall and Laguna. But it never happened. They didn't quite get around to finish fleshing out the Laguna sections of the game. Because there was, even in the code, I think a world map figure of Laguna somewhere. For Laguna, yeah. Can I quickly chip in? Yeah, absolutely. We have $121 oh. from Gavbar, <laughs> who just says, pass that controller. And that goes towards Renoa's name being Tifa which I believe, if I quickly check, puts that now in front. Uh, <coughs> hang on, my system's being a bit slow. Let's try that again. Uh, Renoa's name is... Right, it's not showing up, but I'm sure it's uh, that will put it ahead by one, if my maths it's is correct. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we've got about we've one, got one, one minute, minute left, yeah. One minute left, okay. Any last minute snipes, go for it. The controller has been passed, by the way. Yeah. The controller is well over here. It is in my hands. But I guess uh, we need to mention that there will be some limitations to when we can switch mm -hmm. because of the incentives, so Omega Weapon and like the Menu, of course. And also, uh, because what Cap uses a different controller scheme, I, I don't think we can switch mid-battle, honestly. No. Because that'll be we we probably big. can. We can, but yeah. yeah. But yeah, I can. Yeah. Someone just has to be awkward. <laughs> Not anyone. <laughs> I mean, technically, I mean, both Cap is the we've default control scheme. So We've only got... Uh, how much? $18? Like... Yeah, we're actually close to like $14 a game. Okay, for swapping. Yeah. Yeah. So another eight 
dollars oh, in her back. I'm barely going to be have to pay play this game. It's brilliant. <laughs> Yeah, uh, this, this track has a great cowbell solo. Try and point it out. I keep forgetting what it is, but... I think we're soon going to have to close that... Uh, yeah, I think now we have to close the menu, so is there any last minute snipe? Are we good to go? Just I mean, checking just now. Like seconds more or something, maybe. Yep, give us a couple of seconds. We'll just check it for mm -hmm. you. Which one do you need first? Renoa first. Renoa first. Renoa first. Okay, I'll give it one final refresh. Okay. Okay, and we have, with $121, Tifa. Tifa. Capital T. And you've got like 30 seconds for the Angelo. It's just straight after the Renault and Renault. Because there's more text. I don't think anyone wants to snipe Cat out of there, though. No, I think. It's flawless. And it's quick to type. This is a speed <laughs> run, after all. T5 is. Yeah. Let me know when you need the Angelo name. I think, yeah, you can cut it off now. Yeah, I think now is okay, the right time. Okay, we have it. Yeah, we have it. It's going to be $115.89 towards CAT, nice. capital C. And can I just say that between the pair of those, we've raised over $550 for Save Fantastic. the Children. So thank you so much indeed for all your generous donations. Thank you very much, everyone. The power of memes. That is fantastic. All right. Cat it is. Very appropriate. And we'll get to see a cat cannon. <laughs> we will get to see a cat get cannon. To see one cat cannon. No cats will be harmed in the making of the cannon, but you know, it will still be called cat cannon. I am just going to uh, change the controls. Yeah. Oh, that's. I don't even know what cancel is. Uh, right, here we go. Uh, Down and then that one. That's. That's uh, a, yeah, that's yeah, the one. And then we'll start. Oh, we'll get better at it as uh, people keep donating. That is much. Oh, hopefully. <laughs> we'll get really this good at so control over and back. Oh, I feel so much more comfortable. So, yeah, we haven't really thought about what those, uh, <laughs> those configurations are. So, the, subjectively, the, the more sensible uh, configuration which Waves and uh, Olsen uses is. Uh, X to confirm. We all use X to confirm, but they use circle to cancel, which is you know a fairly standard thing in most modern games, and triangle to open the menu. Uh, I use triangle to cancel and circle to open the menu because I played this game when I was a wee lad, and uh, that's what it was. That was the default thing, so I just learned how to do that. And then for any game since then, I just feel weird if I don't open the menu with a uh, circle. Yeah, no, strange. Strange one for sure. Answers in the chat. What button do you use to open the menu? Circle. <laughs> so this is a nice explanation of uh, the, the mission that we're about to undertake. Um, they've built a very lovely detailed uh, simulation here. Um, beautifully painted train set um, where we're going to essentially steal uh, uh, one particular train carriage from a from uh, that contains the president of Deling um, so that we can interrogate him uh, and try and get them to meet Renault's t uh, faction's demands. We'll see whether that works. I was just thinking it would actually be a very meme time for someone to donate to swap controllers right in the middle of the train minigame. About that. <laughs> About that. There you go, Waves. Well, like, uh, okay, I don't even know if we got time to... I actually... Do you know what? I don't think I need to fix the button config here because your button config should be the correct ones on screen. Uh, yeah, it usually is. I mean, it'd be hilarious if it's not. We'll find out. <laughs> what happened? We just might fail the mini game. So for another 100 euros, <laughs> you, can, uh, you can botch it even more for us. But yeah, as far as the story goes, uh, I believe Tim Burr is under Galbadian occupation, occu uh, occupation and uh, Reno's group wants to liberate it, basically. Mm -hmm. And we are helping them because that's what the contract uh, that Sid signed is. 
But I guess we learn about the contract a bit later, after the train uh, part. So someone did say earlier that they love trains, and this is going to be their highlight of the day. Lot. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> I love my trains. Choo choo. <laughs> Also, we'll have to pay very close attention during this sequence. Yep. The only chocob chocobos that we're actually going to see in the whole of the run will be during this train sequence, mm -hmm. and we'll point them out to you when that happens, but it's very a brief. very, very <laughs> brief moment of time. So any chocobo fans out there, you'll have to keep your eyes very peeled. For anyone who played this game casually and was worried about that last screen that I just went through, where one guy has got the sonar detector, one guy is like looking out the window, it's a scam. Just, just run over them. <laughs> it doesn't work. Full I left. I think if you hang around that screen long enough, they actually do mention that, oh, it's not working. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that. I, uh, I think someone told me that. Uh, so yeah, it's a scam. It's just a little thing to worry people to make the area, the section seem more fleshed out, I guess. But here, so we're going to be entering some series of codes. The first time around, we just got into three codes. Um, there's not much stress. Uh, the second time around can be a bit more risky. Not that anyone would have lost a PB attempt to putting in the wrong code. I don't think no. I don't think that's ever happened actually. Hang my head in shame. <laughs> that PB I had with the wrong train code stood for the longest of times. Two one two one. Okay. Oh, yeah. guy actually panicked Use there. Use that guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That guy actually worked. I'm thinking in my head. Uh, three one three two. Okay. I think we should still have enough time, do we? Kind of yeah. Like, you're, um, you're fine. You're fine. You're fine. Three four four. Okay. Okay, oh, yeah, very good, very good. As soon as the codes are entered, the last one's entered, they just stop walking towards they run the door. Away. Yeah. It's like, that's enough of that. So, pay attention. Squall is looking this way. Yeah, look at just the same between way, the squall. train carriages, you'll be able to see just as the they left. open up. On the left. Two. Here we go. One. There. There they are. Let them go. Let them Let go. That's it. Should keep a light. But here you can do a bit of break dancing with Squall. Yeah. So as you do. Yeah, it's honestly super cool that you can move like during those mm -hmm. FMVs. If you keep doing that, you might get an extra C payment as well. There you go, yeah. yeah. Ba -ba 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 -ba. So yeah, now, now we're actually fully functioning members of C, we'll randomly just be given money throughout the run in the most incredible of places, you know, even if... No matter where we are, we might not even be on the planet anymore, and we're still... The, 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 the Balam Garden. They're uh, incredibly treasury. good with their direct debits. Oh my, oh my god. Yeah, I mean, having a stable job is very important. So yeah. Cool. <laughs> and I guess we have time for some donations still yeah. for the second set of codes. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much indeed. We have received $5 from One Eyed Deacon, who just says, Good luck, Final Fantasy VIII runners. Yeah. Thank you very much Thank indeed. You. And I've hacked David, $15, uh, without a comment, but has put that towards Griever's name of Little Dive. I believe we've got quite a long way to go before that comes up. Am mm -hmm. I correct? Yep. yep. So you've got a little bit more uh, time on that one. Let me just reset that quickly and let you know how that's getting on, because there's a few names in there at the moment. Uh, now, also, I don't know if I mentioned it, but we have met the blindfolded Esther Woo! Uh, menu incentive. And of course, much earlier on, we met the defeat Omega weapon incentive. So that's $1,200 for Save the Children between those two incentives. Lil Dive is sitting on 67 for Griever's name. So you've got a bit of time for that. So thank you again for your generous donations. Well, we're probably about two hours away from... Yeah, uh, more or less. It should be around Grievous four hour mark. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. kind of hard to guess because we will be mixing out any percent and uh, consumer mover. So our guess is basically like 350 yeah. to four hours. Yeah. It's around there. We'll be able to give people notice of yeah. 10 minutes or so. Somewhere between zero and five hours, I think. Almost done with our train section. We generally always get the same uh, the same pattern with that section there. You can do input two of the codes. You always have to go back up after the second one, uh, and then you can just sort of wait and see what the uh, what the guards do. But pretty much, you can always go back down and do the final three afterwards. And now we're ready to. Conf oh, you're going to have to switch the... Uh, I was just thinking... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I've you, got a menu anyway. You have a menu to do now. So, yeah, and don't, yeah. also, don't forget, we were, we do were, we were Kiros. In, oh. the, in, we Anyone used Kiros. want to call out what the menu is? So, <laughs> so, this is the joys of swapping for yeah. memes, so here we go. Apply, uh, do, do the junction to Zell. Oh, yeah. And then swap Zell I and Selfie. Yes, yeah, yeah. 
And then swap Zelda and selfie, selfie school. Zelda and selfie, selfie school. Okay. Configuration, maybe. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, I see what's going on here. I uh, think it's wrong. Do this on the way. Uh, uh, top no, one. this one. Yeah. This one. That's fine. Yeah, yeah. It's very easy for us. Uh, no, it's not. Oh, you have to actually change it back. Yeah, yeah. you got to do this. So just go down. Yeah, and press it. Yep, there you go. Aha. Uh -huh. uh, Did you unjunction Kiragas from Zell? No. Selfie you thing. Is it? And then selfie score. No. Nope. I'll fix it. Uh, if we're on this, and then. Who needs the junction? Is that was it? Uh, no, it's not. Selfie, that's uh, uh, selfie, oh, yeah. it. I think we're good to go. Yep. I'll just and see. unjunction. So, uh, it's going to be. Selfie. Squall. Squall. No? Uh, selfie, I think. Oh, no, it's squall. You're right. Yep. yep. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Okay. Bit of botching minis. This is the, the meme you pay for <laughs> <laughs> by swapping our controllers mid run. I was not planning on doing this section. <laughs> <laughs> no. um, Nor was I. Like I said. And we're the two that. Uh, yeah. That messed it up. So it turns out, shocker, he wasn't the real president. So we gotta fight this uh, counterfeit president. I don't understand quite why, if they were going to, you know, have a fake president, why they just didn't get a normal body double rather than like a weird, <sighs> whatever, a whatever this guy whatever is. Whatever this is. Yeah. I mean, I guess it's like a trap. Yeah. For whoever would like, would like to try and uh, kidnap the president. At least we all use the same uh, crusher targeting. Yeah, we that would have been a <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, if you just elixir Zell yeah. or something. So uh, yeah, th this is a fairly straightforward fight uh, because we are so strong. We can do uh, one one squall attack to uh, transition the phase, uh, the fight from the first to the second phase. Mm. The second phase, he turns into his true form. Uh, he is an undead monster, so in true Final Fantasy form, any healing uh, items will do damage to them. Um, so we just throw an elixir. Mm -hmm. um, there's no tutorial about that. It doesn't tell you it's an undead monster. <laughs> we just we just have that intuition. It does tell you much, much later. There will be another undead boss coming up at some point later in the run, and it will tell you the tutorial at that point. And that's on disc three, when all good tutorials are. Yeah, yeah. That's exactly where you should put all your tutorials. Yeah. Like three quarters of the way to the game. What is I like how both you and Botkab are mashing manually just to make sure you get some gameplay in or behind the controller. <laughs> get some use to the DS2. This one doesn't quite have the divot that mine has. On yeah, the mine, mine's got yeah. a weird mark. It's demolished completely. Well, I got this one not too long ago, so I guess I haven't managed to destroy it yet. Brand it's a grinder, world, grinder world record for a few months. And <laughs> it'll, uh, <laughs> it'll happen. They're just going to plop down on the floor and have a strategy meeting. Mm -hmm. Bill's going to, uh, school's going to immediately uh, interrupt. To be fair, I keep calling him school. He's, he's, this is Nero. 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 This is Nero. He's interrupting Tifa's strategy meeting. Of course, we need to get in the in the zone. With yeah, this. not in the Watts one. I'm kind of glad. To, I'm, I have to say, I'm kind of glad. <laughs> Sorry, that, that, was a, that was a bit of a deep one there. Yeah, characters are called Zone and Watts, so yeah, we need to get in the zone, not the Watts. I'm kind of glad that uh, Bruno isn't named School, because I w I will have messed up a menu. I think. Yeah, you did fine. Ah. Muscle memory carries. Yeah, it's true. So they're just going through what the contract was for the mission. Um. And it is basically help Reno until she's happy. Excuse me, help Tifa, Tifa until she's happy. Yeah, <laughs> basically it. Yeah. Until the independence of Timber and she's happy with the results or whatever. Basically means forever. Mm -hmm. yeah, as Olsen uh, mentioned earlier on, we are, Timber is currently under Galbadine occupation, which means that for the time being, while we're uh, walking around Timber, Step count is active um, because there are uh, soldiers just wandering <coughs> about that uh, we can get in, into encounters with. Um, so we have to make sure that we do a few uh, walking steps here to make sure we stay on step count. Are we doing the running walking or just do five? Control is in your hands. <laughs> Control is in your hands. I think do the five. I've, 
never practiced doing the running and I just did it on the run, it works twice. It's fine, yeah. Yeah, does he just run four, three. Yeah, yeah. As long as you get the encounter uh, yeah, after you clear the stairs. You're gonna get it on the stairs for sure, because... <laughs> 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 Someone's movement wasn't great. Well, it was me also. <laughs> it wasn't great, but... Uh, hey, so yeah, as long as we get the encounter and can hold directly right, yeah. I'll do the run four, walk three. Yep. And if not, I'll just walk five. Make sure you can hear the steps, though. Uh, sure, okay. The first one I always find a bit tricky to actually Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh. It's getting closer to a uh, controller swap. Oh, God. Oh, okay. oh no. Do no. the five. Do the five, yeah. yeah. I would do four free here. <laughs> I don't want to risk it. Sure. Because, uh, no, it's understandable. Yeah, but you're also doing a blindfolded S thumb menu, so yeah. we can't really. Oh, yeah. That's fine. I think that's fine. I think that's fine. Yeah, it's fine to buffer afterwards. Or <laughs> yeah, whatever. we're just fine. way behind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I didn't get any fade after the thing because yeah. I was caught on the wall. Okay. And we're going to lose another fade here because we got the encounter so close to the end of the screen. So I will do one buffer here. Uh, I'll probably do one more, to be honest, after. Because yeah, if you want to, just to be safe. Yeah, sure. I think yeah. it's worth doing it there. Just because I wasn't moving at all after yeah, yeah, yeah. the... Uh, Now, what I like to do in this fight, I guess Waves is also doing that, is hold X and pray that Tifa doesn't get a turn. Oh, yeah, you've like a two and three chance yeah. that uh, one of the junction, two of the junction characters. Oh, no. Oh, of course. <laughs> as soon as you start holding X, she will have the first ATB. The game ATB. knows. The game knows. So the only person there who cannot one shot one of these enemies is Tifa. The game starts to realize, oh, you're doing a speedrun, are you? Yes. Yeah, oh, I'll yeah. see what I can do about that. Game knows. So we got a Schizoid card there with the Buell card. One of the enemies we've seen before. We didn't actually see it in the Far Cavern, did we? Previous roads, you, no, we didn't, you would no. have seen a Buell. Um, it's like a fan. <laughs> <laughs> it's a living fan. It, yeah. Uh, we got a card from one of those. The and, fan with a face. Uh, unless you're fluent in French, obviously you're not sure what's going on here. There's a guy here on the floor, a drunk guy. And he's after losing his card. So we offer him his card back. And he goes, oh, okay, here's a card in exchange of it. But you also get to keep the card. <laughs> yeah. So you end Actually, up your net two cards. And the card he gives you in exchange is way better. Yeah. So it gives you a Tomberry card, which is vital to the run, because we refine that for ammo, which we use on the last boss. There you go. We got the Cat RNG. We got the Meow. That's because we named Angelo Cat. That, so me that Meow wouldn't be there otherwise. Maybe the new Stray was released. <laughs> So, there's a bit of uh, text happening for the next minute or two, so if there's any donations. Indeed, we have some donations here. We have $58 from our own Robo Sparkle, who was host previous. Did you know that they're only called baguettes if they come from the baguette region of France? Otherwise, they're just fizzy bread rolls. <laughs> Good luck to the Final Fantasy VIII <laughs> runners in the fight against GOAT. And that goes towards <laughs> Griever's name being Lil, Dra Lil Dive. And we have another $10 with a question from Zeladin. Can we buy Pet Pals Volume 3? <laughs> Can we? Um, I guess we could. Leaving. Thank you very much indeed for those generous <laughs> donations. Uh, so there is a completely YOLO strat you can do for, uh, for the last section of the game. Well, actually, it would save you time if you get lucky enough. Um, by using one of Renoa's Limit Breaks, Invincible Moon, which makes the party invincible, so you don't need to unlock something else. Yeah. Item, was it? I don't know. I, yeah. Um, but it's very RNG heavy, and we need to buy that book to, to get yeah. the Limit Break. So that's what that's uh, hinting towards. We are just a few dollars off uh, a controller swap, so if anyone wants to... Uh, I would say that if the controller is in my hands at the point when uh, we need to go past that shop, then we can't buy it because I don't know where it is. Yeah, me neither. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hold off on the donation. <laughs> <laughs> One of us knows where the I shop mean, it is. It is at the train station, right? To the left or whatever. Yeah, the I know where it is. Station. Okay, okay fine. Shop's there. Uh, if it's not in any percent, it's not in the game. Uh, I guess I should mention that I will be doing the blindfolded menu from a loaded save that's specially prepared so that I know where the items are because while well, the drops are random, we can also get pet pals apparently. Uh, and that'll oh, mess yeah. up the menus. <laughs> that'll mess up the menu, so that's why I cannot just like do the menu on the fly. 
and I will be loading a save for that. Or you could just read Pet Pals for you during this. Like. That's it. <laughs> you, can you can play it again in Esther. <laughs> with, the, with the blindfold on. And then set it down. I don't think we get to walk enough with it. No. We can edit the pre-save and uh, <laughs> make sure that we have we have it learnt. So this is uh, Cypher TV, I mean Cypher, um, gate crashing this presidential announcement to... Uh, I don't really know what his plan is at this point. I'm not sure either. He's, he's just being, he, being a rebel. He, I think he wants to help Renema, Tifa. Tifa. Big, um, so he decided to go and just kind of do the mission himself and attack the president or something. I think that was the gist of it. And then Quizzes is kind of there? She went to stop him. <laughs> How does she know that he's there? I, I guess she wasn't even sent to Timber on the mission. Uh, he's time compression. Time co <laughs> <laughs> That's it. It's time compression. I started early with the plot holes. Yep. We should have called this time compression percent. Because by the time we actually... We're, we're actually... Making, that's we're actually kind, pressing that's time, kind yeah. of what this is, yeah. Uh, can we switch the category name right now to time compression percent? I think that'd be great, yeah, if, if, the, yeah. if tech could do that. Instead of partial cutscenes, gives us time compression percent. If we do it in a marathon, then that means it's got to be... Then it's, it, like, it's an it, official category. Like, then. like the, the, mod, the mods of the leaderboard have to take that ah, to, to be a real category. And no pre-minute below. Just throwing that in there. Like <laughs> <laughs> and compression is spelled with a K, obviously. Oh, yeah. So you know. Do you know why that is? Why she doesn't use... Um, I thought it's because she's like speaking kind of like German English or something like that. I'm not sure. No, it's because um, in the future she's banned the letter C because it sounds too much like seed. <laughs> not, it's not allowed in the future. If you donate 200, we can get rid of Vodka. <laughs> <laughs> we can just remove him. It's okay. <laughs> you can just bring him back for uh, the Omega Weapon Incentive. That's all. Then you wouldn't be able to hear any more of my facts. Ah, it's facts or dad jokes. They're mixed together at the moment. Yep. <laughs> so story-wise, I believe during the previous scene, uh, Zell kind of lets it sleep that we are from the garden, mm -hmm. that we are seed, and the president is like, ooh, that's good to know. Uh, and now we are in danger, I guess. And yes. That's the, garden, the whole garden is in danger, I guess, as well. Now the Galbadia knows uh, that we are uh, trying to do something here. It's impossible to play this game and not home alone. That, yeah, it's I, actually impossible. I'm really struggling. To like, <laughs> it's only because you're doing it that I'm like, okay, I don't have to. <laughs> Yeah, like the run being super long isn't that nice, but on the other hand, at least you get to listen to this soundtrack for mm -hmm. such, such a long time. That's really, really nice. And with the uh, turbo now sort of being allowed in the run as well, it kind of means that I think one of the one of the g general issues with a lot of long runs is there's no like you can't you go, can't go for a bathroom break. Yeah, that's you know. Definitely makes and, more and, and, and fun. If you get your way, I'm going to be leaving for most of the run oh, anyway, yeah. so, yeah. yeah. Perfect. That's why Alton needs the blindfold. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine you're not here. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's why. <laughs> Nothing to do with the menu. Why am I using analog? Bum, bum. So they decided to go and take refuge in the timber, the fact the uh, Renault's faction's headquarters. Tifa's, sorry. I don't think I'm going to get There's going to be none, that's, no, not, that's no, not going to no. stick. Trying so hard not to just like boom, boom, boom. boom. This the, the bass lines are also good as well. That's the thing. Too good. Wait till we get to uh, sub bass. Yeah. But one minute. 
thought it was on this screen for some reason. So we're just kind of hiding out in this person's, this friendly, uh... Lady's kitchen? Yeah, person's house. I was going to get angry at us for some reason. We're going to fob it off in the traditional Nero way. Whatever. Whatever. I think the timber track itself is one of the more sort of underrated tracks of the game. That's very good. Like, the instrumentation and the, the bass lines and stuff. It's very, very groovy. We do get, like, was it, I think it's two and a half minutes of uninterrupted Man with the Machine Gun coming up very shortly. Yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah. So get your jam emotes ready. Uh, so according to the guidelines, if I remember correctly, when, like, seed members are in danger, they are supposed to, like, find the nearest garden, basically, so we are trying to go uh, to the Galbadia Garden right now. And find help there, basically. I think they're currently. I mean, it's, it's it's hard to know what exactly what they're saying because it is in French. And I, have, I I don't think I, it's been quite a long time since I've actually read this text in English. But uh, I think they're discussing what the fate of Cipher might be after he tried to kidnap the president and then got taken away by the sorceress. Yeah. He's probably uh, trouble in trouble. <laughs> yeah, yeah. In in some serious trouble. Yeah, traveling to the nearest garden, as Olsen said, and uh, will be it'll be suggested that you know we can. There's a, there's a train station in Timber. There's you know we can then take the train to a nearby uh, forest near by the garden, and we can, we can walk through to get there. Yeah, we even got the train tickets from Ward, I guess, or the other guy. I don't, I don't remember. Zone, yeah, it's from Zone. Zone, Zone. Zone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ward. Yeah. It wasn't Ward. It was Ward? No, not Ward. No, it's I what? Mean, uh, what? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm yeah, we'll get the train tickets from Laguna. <laughs> and then, um, yeah, so this, this is his own sort of in disguise uh, as an old man. Mm -hmm. He'll, he's bought a load of train tickets. He's going to give them to us so we can board the train. He's a regular James Bond, this fella. Yeah, and he's uh, you know, very, very selflessly given that one train ticket that he meant for himself. Um, and he's going to give that to Quistis instead. Mm -hmm. What we're then going to do with that is completely throw it in his face by not taking the train <laughs> um, because it takes ages. Yeah, it turns it's, out it's just faster just to run. Just walk all the way to the garden is so much, so much quicker. Yeah, so you can just kind of turn around in this screen and actually leave Timber. Mm -hmm. the, the guards at the gate will be quite uh, insistent. Are you sure you don't want to go and get the train? Like, you really should go and get the train. Yeah, um, the yeah. Make sure. Okay, and off we go. Time yeah. to leave Timber. Bye, Zane. That guard right there that's just standing around in there. That's, that's the Watts. Other, the other guy, yeah. Yeah, that he's pretending to be a G soldier. Um, we don't actually have to talk to him. We're going to try to do the safe movement safe okay it's like we've got no warm up again at all <laughs> yeah it's very very, it's very bad if we if we can maintain that for the whole run that would be insane so this so yeah you're spawned on a oh, I can't do on a road Sketchy. i can't do the safe movement at all so like it's it actually really it's, yeah, it's <laughs> actually it looks like i just kind of oh i just walked in a yeah, circle it's, yeah it's actually really difficult to get that accurately yeah um, so you kind of spawned on a road um and obviously the roads in this game don't have a you, you can't can't get encounters on them so you can just sort of cut across the grass to get onto there, which is definitely quicker, or you can just walk around the road to ensure you don't get an encounter. I think uh, is it worth making a save here just because we're on the wrong way? Uh, we haven't made one for a while as well, so... Not that we plan on doing anything with the save file right before the Laguna Dream 2 forest, you know, but... No. Um, <laughs> 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 it was a valiant. That's step. a meme for uh, the community. There is actually... Uh, the only sequence break that's been found in the entire run is actually that forest. You can actually... Perfectly frame menu buffer straight to the forest, and you can skip the entire the Goon Dream two seconds. So you have to do sort of what seventy or something? It's forty, forty, um, some, forty. Uh, oh, that's nowhere near as bad as I thought. Oh, it's actually very manageable. Yeah. Yeah. Now with turbo load, it's actually it's yeah. reasonably manageable. 
Uh, no one just has done it yet. I think, is there time for a donation? Yeah, sure. Okay, thank you very much. We've received another $5 from one eyed deacon who just says, forgot to select the bid. <laughs> uh, and they put that towards Grand Theft Auto 5, ending choice of killing Michael. And that is a good reminder for everybody. Please, if you do wish to donate, remember all your donations go towards Save the Children. Please remember to choose the bid war or incentive that you wish to put your donation towards on the right hand side of the donation page. Thank you very much indeed. I think we had this down as one of our points to where we're actually going to swap. So we have our own swaps as well as the um, the ones that we're going to do on the fly as well. So here's one of the particular moments that we'd penciled in to swap. So we walked into the forest trying to go to go by the garden. This is now our second instance of uh, the Laguna Dream. Um, yeah, they're kind of used to it by now. They, they kind of were, you know, they kind of like, oh, oh, this, this, this again. This again. Yeah. We'll talk about it later. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They wake up again and go, ah. I don't know. Don't worry about that. <sighs> well, whatever. So quick menu here to put the both characters into critical HP and just swap the magic junctions around so that they are guaranteed both to kill the enemies in one hit and by both I mean one of these characters will not survive the next <laughs> the next <laughs> fight. Uh, the ward much like uh, Renoa or Tifa whatever you want to say in the run has a really slow attack animation and it's just better off to just remove him entirely from the thing it actually also helps with um, because the characters now are actually just like their stats and levels and stuff are just given to them from the main characters party levels Nice. So by killing good. Ward here, that character will get no experience. I think it's Zell right now. Or is it Christus? It's Christus or Zell, I can't remember. Uh, Zell isn't in the dream. It's oh, no. Okay, so it's Christus. So. The selfie is yep. Heroes. Humans. So that, that first fight is, a, is another guaranteed uh, back attack, uh, which can uh, be a bit interesting because when you're, when you're in back attack, uh, any the first the first bit of damage that gets done against you um, is double uh, the, the actual damage um, so it's quite annoying if you uh, start that fight um, and the soldier attacks ward because you can only actually one shot ward to kill him in that first fight if he is in back attack as soon as he's attacked by the soldier he turns around so uh, yeah if he gets attacked by the soldier which is just like a one in three chance but if he gets his ATB then um, yeah you're gonna, you're gonna have to do a, uh, an extra an extra attack on ward to make sure he's dead there's a lot of foreshadowing here that they're entering this building, this section, this area. Um, you can see it's like a crystal building. It's on a weird, yeah, crystal thing. Um, it's actually one of the places where like you can do some stuff here that will actually be relevant in disc three if you wanted to. No, it's going to be the optional just to get like extra items and stuff. So we take a few walking steps here. We didn't quite mention the walking steps to avoid encounters, but it's very similar to what FF7 does. Basically, there's a danger value that increases as you move. Every running step increases by five, every walking step increases by two. And the encounters are actually like tied to a step ID. So basically what we're doing is we're just trying to duck the danger value under that particular ID. And if we skip that ID, then the next values could be higher. And we basically just skip an encounter that would, would have occurred otherwise. You can kind of think of it as like, imagine, you know, you're sort of running through a scary corridor with lots of monsters and your footsteps are loud when you're running and you're alerting, increasing your danger by alerting the monsters around you to to, to your presence. And if there's an area with a high concentration, then, you know, if you're alerting them too much and you're being too loud, then they're going to attack you. If you walk a few steps, quiet them down, they might not notice you're there. A new analogy for it? Quite good. I thought of that the other day. Bravo. I preferred Soph's one about the bucket. Yes, a bucket filling <laughs> with water. Yeah, it's slowly filling with water. So, like, it is always increasing. It's just that you're not letting it. It's going to increase less at, until fixed encounters. Yeah. So and here we go. Get yeah. your cat or cat jam emotes or your, rat, any, rat your jam. anything jams. Any, any, any sort jams. of jam or preserve that you have. Get it in chat now. Two and a half minutes of banger. 
Yeah, and this part of the run is actually full RNG because I just hold three buttons, press down, and pray that I get good ATMs, <laughs> basically. And you can lose so much time here if the enemies get a lot of turns, but there's like nothing you can do about it. So we do a little bit of prioritization here of uh, some of these uh, soldiers are elite soldiers, and they can cast Blazaro, which is a horrendously long animation. Um, so you want to kill them first. Uh, but then you have to pay attention because if one of them actually does their turn first before you get any ATP anyway, then you want to switch back to do it, to prioritizing the other soldier to because uh, um, they're the most likely to actually get their turn off first before you do your attack. And during these fights, we've just learned the uh, time magic we find from Diablos as well. So uh, there will be a menu. Not too long after uh, the end of the sequence, where we'll be uh, utilizing that, and that's where that's where our strength gets really ridiculous. Yeah, it's, it's tripled almost. Almost, uh, you could say it's been tripled. <laughs> I'm disappointed with myself. <laughs> <laughs> Just after you were operating me earlier on. Oh, uh, God. done. There's also some uh, FFA community fan lyrics for this song as well. Uh, when, do we get this song again? Not for quite some time, do we? Uh, I just missed the point where we could have done it. This song is over. Later. Much like the party's consideration for what just happened to them, I'll just kick the can down the road. We'll worry about that later. It started this too, I guess. Oh, yeah. Briefly. Uh, probably not enough. Oh, uh, yeah. We'll see how we go. So exhausted from all the fights, uh, the Guga and Co. have found a cliff and some boats and some water and they think they're saved. So naturally, they, I mean, that is a high cliff. Yeah. This is one of the better comical moments, casually. It's actually really funny. Um, so Laguna surviving it and Ward actually got so injured here, he loses his voice. He's actually unable to speak for the rest of the game. And then as soon as he throws the boat guys off, it, in English, he goes, my guy, you guys are brave. That's very yeah. hard. <laughs> so, so, despite the fact he literally just pushed just them off. off the they had, yeah, that, that was not of their own volition. Yeah, so he tries to just crawl down gently himself and falls off. and It's, it's very good. Right. Yeah. If we don't get an encounter here, something is going <laughs> <laughs> like, no, I'm all, I, I mean, almost... I am can't. behind the wheel, so we are definitely getting an encounter or two. <laughs> right, guaranteed. It'll be the first step. Yeah. And then another one after the garden. I mean, that would be fair. Like, be, yeah. like yeah. that would that would be like average, maybe even better than average still if we get two more encounters at this point. It's about the only randomness factor outside of battles that we really can't control whatsoever yet. Uh, there's no rhyme or reason to why we get encounters on the world map or when. What, what is this? What, what the hell is that? <laughs> We're literally, the only world map encounters we've got have been our three fish fin fights, which yeah. we have to get. Yeah. If we don't get one on the way to the... There's genuinely something fishy going I on. I usually have like four by now, so I mean... Absolutely. It's insane. <laughs> wow. And I wasn't even that clean doing the movement yeah. outside timber. Like, I went on the grass a tiny bit as well. I mean, there's one more, I guess, world map. There's one more so let's wait for that. Yeah. Uh, so this is the Galvadian Garden. They're just another faction. Um, they're a little more upmarket. It's a better looking garden. At least. I also noticed it appears we're one dollar away from a controller switch. Oh yeah, it's on the 56. We got. And we can definitely go for another donation here. Oh yeah, we've yeah. got some time here now. Okay, we have uh, an interesting one here on, and th it is it is going to be voluntary. So hopefully, if you fancy it, uh, Jamie TF, twenty five dollars towards save the children. Sing eyes on me or we riot. <laughs> So or, I'm not quite or, sure what your singing voice is like. Maybe we'll do that at the end. I don't know. Or who riots? Yeah, yeah I want well, to know who exactly. the riots are. Well, the exactly. kid is there, of course. <laughs> but uh, thank you very much indeed, anyway, for your incredibly generous donation. Yeah, thank you, Hemi. Thank you. I mean, I'm, are we supposed to sing now or like... <laughs> just, <laughs> when it's not even playing. <laughs> just yes. sing it over whatever they're doing. It's entirely up to you. <laughs> we'll give it a while. I'm sure there'll be some downtime soon. Yeah. I mean, I'm not saying if you want to do it, then go for it. So here the party is talking about what has happened to Cypher again, because they're actually hearing that 
Cypher has potentially been executed. And now they're all upset. It turned out that Tifa had, like, summer romance with Cypher. That is why he came along to try and help him with Timber. Um, but she's also upset, even though she wasn't part of the seed team. Yeah, and here we need to talk to the uh, our team members in a specific order, basically. To trigger the plot, I guess, to move forward. And then school has sort of a minor meltdown at this point. He's, talk he's thinking about how everyone's thinking of Cypher um, after his death. And he doesn't want people to think about him that way after, after he dies. And so he just shouts at everyone. Yeah, he gets pretty upset. There we go, his internal monologue. Here we just gotta move. There's actually like a triangle that is like an area you need to interact with. An invisible one. And it's enough walking and Squall leaves him by himself. I hate to interrupt. Um, we were on 755. Oh. We're on 905. <laughs> we're way over it. So, uh, oh, how many times did that swap? That, that's that's two swaps, I think. Okay. So, okay. Please. Let me hang on. Hang on a sec. Oh, yeah. Let me uh, change the config. Oh, yeah. Change the config. Uh, to uh, that. Uh, that's that's the one. Okay. Um, then how do we cancel that? There we go. And uh, there, there you go. It's my that's your it's your turn now. Yep. Oh yeah. I better uh, change the button. Yeah, you, you should change the config actually, because <laughs> uh, because I do a different one to you. So make sure that's. Here we go. Okay, and then is it, is it how many times are we stopping? We go again. No, that's that's it. That's it. Oh it's, it's you now. Yeah. Let okay. me know when you've got a second for two big, a couple yeah. big donations just yeah, came in. Yeah, go for it. Go for it. Yeah. Okay. We have, and I, oh, this this name, <laughs> uh, fifty dollars from time compressed laughing Tidus. <laughs> uh, can we get to put me put some more money in to name Griever after the man, the myth, the legend? And yes, I really appreciate this one. It's fifty dollars to make him towards Griever's name, Mataco. <laughs> Unfortunately, Mataco wasn't able to manage, so it would be absolutely fantastic to to honour Mataco. But I don't know how he feels about being Griever, but hey. And uh, Michael T, a hundred dollars. Here for the Fun Fancy Eight Speed Run. Let's go! Thank you very much indeed for your very generous donations there. Thank you very much, everyone. Thank you. I'm loving these donations so far because uh, so far I haven't had to do anything. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, to be fair, it wouldn't have been your turn anyway, so like, you got to play more than you should have. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, you're not, you're not wrong there. So, oh. <laughs> yeah, <that's laughs> I don't like Christus. I was just going to <laughs> yeah, just ignore her there. Yeah, apparently it didn't work out. So on that screen, she doesn't actually turn up uh, in that screen there to talk to her to progress the story until um, the... Uh, until there's a text box on the previous screen to sort of say there's an announcement to say you need to go out the front of the garden to to find out what your next order is um and if you just take the optimal path toward towards the exit you'll actually exit exit the screen too early you can do like Added two three or three like steps. very quick like taps of the walking button just to delay yourself enough but barely to actually um uh make sure the quiz is there mm -hmm. And we're finally going to be introduced to our sixth and final party member right now. This fella is going to have a sore back from carrying the whole party. The whole the run. Of yeah. <laughs> he will be the MVP. I should pay close attention to this FMV. It's kind of scuffed. He turns around twice to face us. I <laughs> yeah. never noticed yeah. that. It's a bit of a weird one. As we'll see soon with the uh, parade float. They weren't very good with the directions of things in this game. No, yeah. It's the same as when we were in the, when we were in the garden talking to Quistis about her feelings. Oh, yeah. um, you're, you're always running away from the garden when you're going to that secret area. And then you get to the secret area and the garden is directly in front of you. Mm -hmm. So yeah, he's lying on the ground. There he is. He gets up. Back to you. See, now he's like, he's facing towards the footpath. Yeah, 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 yeah. And now, turns back towards the look at the grass, and then walks in. <laughs> Slightly scuffed. Yeah, this is Evan. 
He shoots guns. I'm almost tempted to menu buffer to the train so that we get zero encounters. Can the do the, the menu buff is even work on the mobile map. It does, I thought it doesn't. It does, yeah. And oh. you can actually skip encounters with it. Uh, using the same tactic as like yeah, the yeah. two skip. That I know, yeah. yeah. Okay. That makes so sense, it actually like it progresses the step or map danger value. And you can actually just skip an encounter. Um, let's see, I might do one just for luck and like assume that we're going to skip the encounter. Yeah, I'm waiting for... We go, surely we can't. It's, not, it's never going to happen. It's, unless you... I'll donate 50 bucks myself if I get no one. <laughs> it's, it's impossible. Evan suggests a party here. He puts the girls on his team. Uh, oh, we okay. tell him not to do that. <laughs> this menu is a save in my road. Why am I doing this? <laughs> That's my own fault. Okay, we're going to yell what is it with the run. Just, yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. Do it. Here we go. Ah, okay. never mind. So the one is what I mean that, that is one yeah. gunner is not like I mean we only get one more I guess. Oh. I'm not sure I've ever seen a one encounter. Yeah, I definitely total haven't. Run. Yeah. Oh, like, we're actually gonna save time on uh three. Should we save here? Yeah, yes. save again because Good. this menu is. Yeah, if you yeah. if you don't do this menu right. Um, and yeah. I have not done this menu in quite some time. Oh, I believe in you. Do you? I believe in you firmly. I wrote it many months ago. Um, let's see. I'm first? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, these three? Yep. Those three. And... Uh, no. That's uh, it? That's oh, that's it. all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this. So we're making... What's it called? Doesn't need yeah. to learn anything else. That's so it. we're making it stop. And we're this is the same. teaching uh, Diablos to um, uh, start the encounter half. Uh, what we did earlier on is we refined uh, the Samantha Souls that we had previously refined from the Quistus card. We have three of them. Each of them gives us 60 triples. So we refine them onto three individual characters. We, that one, one way you can kind of mess up the, the route a little bit is if you accidentally refine more than one of those onto one character, because there's a limit of 100 magic that you can have on any one character, so you can only have 100 of the triples that it refines into, and because it gives 60 per item, if you do two of them, it actually only gives you 100 and you've wasted 20 of those triples. So you have to do three on three individual people and yeah. then... You split, them, you split them up. So so we've now given um, Squall 100 triples and Urban's got 80 of them. Yeah, and you could see like uh, Squall's strength go up there from like 68 to 158. It's just insane damage. Right? Yeah. Better speak briefly. Someone, do you want someone to explain it and I'll focus and count. Okay, yeah. <laughs> so so we'll be entering a little corridor here with uh, Selfie and Urban. They'll be talking and flying by the right-hand side, you'll be able to see some sort of telephone poles um, as, as the train goes past them. So we'll be counting these here. Three eleven. Yep. Yeah. Three two one. Three eleven. Three two one. I guarantee. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's uh, a zero. I. Oh. That's a zero. I think that's a three eleven three zero, incomplete. Yeah. Ninety something maybe. I don't know. Actually, no, we're way off. Uh, yeah, this is. Uh, I I don't think I recognize this one. Uh, but yeah, basically, instead of going all the way uh, to the tomb of the unknown king, is it? Yeah. Okay. Uh, to Let's find the code to the Karai mansion, you can simply uh, guess the code uh, by tracking the RNG here in the train, because the RNG will not change from here until when we arrive at the mansion. It's um, something some French speedrunners found years ago. They were just watching the NPCs in, uh, on their way to, to, the, to the mansion to see if there was anything consistent that was changing. And they managed to find out like that certain other things, so they, I guess they went back further until yeah. they could see that there was these poles outside the window. And every time the poles go by, the RNG actually changes. So they were to find out whereabouts in the RNG they were, and then reverse engineer what the caraway code would be. Yeah, so we saw like sequences of poles go through. So there was like one, two, three, and then there was a gap. And then there was one, two, three, all the way to 11. And then there was a gap. And so we sort of count the numbers in each of those sequences. And that's what tells us exactly what the code is actually going to be. So we put it into a program. It basically looks it up in sure. a spreadsheet. And uh, yeah, we can we can tell from that. What's tricky about it is one of the one of the sequences we got there. You can have a sequence that consists of zero poles. So there's a little gap in between uh, each sequence. But if you basically get a gap that's two gaps worth of time, then uh, that that means there's a zero there, and it's pretty hard to spot. But basically, if you are looking at it and you go, there definitely should have been a, a pole by that. Hmm? 
Ah, oh, we've got the we've got the controller switch. Ah. Yeah. So Olsen. What's the code? Why do I make zero eight zero zero eight zero? What? I've never seen that one. I've never seen that either. We are on subscript four ten. That's, That's quite high. Quite, high. <laughs> <laughs> quite a bit uh, beyond where we know here. So yeah, generally, um, sort of the the sort of a general RNG value throughout the whole run that kind of in, increased by various things like being on screens with save points increases it and the, the length of time that you're on and there's, there's loads of different things that affects yeah, yeah. that and um but you know the, the the sort of the top level runners are consistent enough in the way that they uh they play the game and the movement through screens that generally we recognize the patterns that we see because we're always in in a pretty short r range or short, short window yeah, as like as your movement is consistent um yeah that covers a lot of it you know? exactly yeah so but we're barely uh above that so this isn't one we recognize so we have some time here as well. If there's a donation to read, we um, just talk about what we're planning to do here in uh, Delling for maybe five minutes. <laughs> so yep. it goes on for time. Oh, perfect. Thank you very much indeed. Well, I just wanted to point out we have just raised 48,000 for Ooh. Saved Children. And a couple of donations have taken us over that mark there. We have Kiosk with $50. Let's give Griever the honour to be named after Mataco. So that goes towards Griever's name, and I do want to go into that. It's hotting up nicely here. We've got Lil Dive at $125, Doff at $120, and Mataco on $100. You still have a little bit of time on that one. So that would be absolutely fantastic. Get your donations in. And we have received $75 from Microflare. Last Final Fantasy run of the event means it's time to donate. I have no idea what this incentive is, but it sounds funny. And that's going towards the Crash Mind Over Mutant Any% percent Two Players Per Controller incentive, which does indeed sound absolutely fantastic. So thank you very much indeed for all your generous donations. Please keep them coming in. Uh, are we still doing controller swapping? Yeah, yeah. Oh, we, we just yeah. swapped. Yeah. Just Perfect, swapped okay. We're so, about $11 away from another one. Brilliant, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Keep those donations in, get those runners swapping the controller. Thank you very much indeed. I would, I would quite like if there was another donation so I can actually play the game at some point. <laughs> <laughs> I hope someone donates 100 and 11. <laughs> 111 to skip bot cap. So here all we're doing is uh, the Caraway... What's his name? General Caraway. Gen General, General Caraway. General, yeah. Yeah. Major Caraway. He's major uh, in for some reason, but... <laughs> Mr. Yeah. Mr. Caraway. Uh, who is, turns out to be, have been Renoa's father. Tifa's father. And they are planning now to do an assassination attempt on the sorceress. And he decides to explain this entire plan while walking around in front of the sorceress's building. <laughs> yeah. You know, just outside in the front lawn, just going around. We're going to go here, we're going to go there, and, then and then here, and then here. And you see that window where the sorceress is right now. We're going to go there. It's a bit, uh, a bit of a giveaway, but she doesn't seem to notice. Well, we believe that. Um, you never know, Irvine might make the shot today. Yeah. Could happen. I believe in him. No, I don't. Actually, I don't believe I don't. in him. I don't believe in him. Uh, so that's it, he's running around exactly, look like, just running around outside to show us where the float is going to go. This is quite a fun place, uh, if, if we do have the um, cutscene remover skip on, then he's yeah. absolutely yeah. Like zipping around the place. Yeah. Zips through, yeah. <laughs> We're definitely going to talk about some of the more comedic bits within the uh, cutscene remover yeah, as it comes up. Once we actually start applying it, then you'll, you'll notice what, <laughs> what an interesting, we'll where the, where uh, in, interesting place it becomes. <laughs> Bang. Zero. Bang. And the dirt is gone. <laughs> oh, I get to do selfie skip. Nice. Oh, oh very good. I mean, unless some of the dollars right now. It's another gem. Yeah. So I guess while we're walking back into the uh into Caraway's mansion there'll be a little bit more dialogue but we can there's, there's a couple of pieces of uh, movement tech here that kind of happen pretty quickly one after the other so after they finish this conversation here um you'll be sort of walking out uh towards where you're going to be stationed uh you know the character's going to be stationed for, for to prepare for the mission it's actually but you know squall and Irvin are sort of in a little party together and they're they're walking away from uh Caraway's mansion you actually go back into the mansion straight away and then walk back out again they start running, um, and so that's what we do. We kind of walk in, and then walk out again, and then you, and it's faster than just walking all the way to the end. It's 
screen that immediately follows that, um, you can see the rest of the characters, Selfie and Christus and Zell, they're walking across the road trying to get through a little archway. And then you as Skull, or as Nero, uh, you know, also want to go through the same way. Um, if you don't quite get there in time and you're there behind Selfie, you've got to wait for her to, to exit the screen before you can exit the screen. So you're Very constantly sort of bumping Very against... Very embarrassing. No exactly. Very embarrassing. Constantly <laughs> trying to like push her, <laughs> push her away past her. If you can get... Sort of slip in, it's just in front of her, then it's, you know, saves a couple of seconds. So what we call the selfie skip. There aren't a huge amount of skips in this game, so we'll take anything we can get <laughs> take and call it a skip. All of them. Yeah. It's literally an optimization of a screen that saves a second or two. But anyway, it's a selfie skip. And just before that, there's another small optimization. So when you leave this room, um, Squall and Irvine. So, I just thought I just did that. What? I just did that. Did you? Oh, yeah, I just thought about that. We can do it again. Maybe your one will be better. Uh, maybe so. <laughs> I said the smell of popcorn is... is, is oh, it's, it's pervading the air, yeah. Sorry, I thought you were just talking about selfie skip. I, I did the both. I'm very efficient. Also, look, if I fail it, it's because I cannot see the screen clearly from here. Oh, yeah. We can, do you want to sit here? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I need that excuse. <laughs> I need something. We can turn the monitor towards you. Yeah, so here goes this optimization in and out of the room. As Budkep didn't mention. <laughs> Maybe I did that. Did I, I don't know if I did. you did at the start, like oh, okay. for explaining the skip, yeah. Oh, okay. I think so. Maybe I just. I did. In and then out. And then on this screen here, they're running. Previously, they would have been walking all the way to the end. It takes a while. And then this is the selfie skip. Here we go. Nailed it. Yeah, Easy. perfect. So, yeah, it saves like two seconds uh, <laughs> <laughs> across across a seven and a half hour run. But. When you see it oh before, my. oh, yeah. That's a draw point. Yeah. And that's what you get for using turbo. So, I don't need to mash here, but yeah. Normally you can't, I don't think. Just hold up, it should be okay. Um, I was going to say there, yeah, it actually looks easier. Like when you see someone perform it, you're like, okay, oh, just ran across the road. Yeah. But actually, if you try to do it yourself, it's and it's real. It's even though it's only two seconds. If you don't get it, it's really frustrating because you you're just constantly reminded of it by the fact that school is just com like trying to get past and bonking on the back of selfie. It's kind of annoying. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Talking of uh, skips, I mean that's that's the self the it's a huge skip, the selfie skip. But um, people that are familiar with the Final Fantasy VIII run uh, and seen it in previous marathons or whatever, they might have. Expected to see another skip earlier on, which was the Renoa skip. Oh yes. yes. Um, so when when we at the point that we renamed Renoa and Angelo, that's not normally in a PSX run at all because you're actually able to skip that entire dialogue. Um, we're not able to do that on PC, and for the reason for that is because uh, on PSX you, the analog stick actually. Oh, uh, it's my turn. Uh, so I'll have to finish explaining this while I'm actually doing something. Um, <laughs> so the reason for that is because the analog stick actually does move in a three. It actually has 360 movement. Mm -hmm. On PC, we literally have eight directions. Yeah, the, so it works as a D-pad. Yeah. Just you need to move the analog. So there you go. PC is better for raising money for charity. Yeah, it oh, is. Does. Especially if you swap controllers every hundred dollars. <laughs> Do we have time to get those in quickly before Absolutely. the next bit? Yeah, go for it. Okay. Uh, $8.89 from T89. Here's $8.89 for the Bodcat skip. Unfortunately, that, <laughs> skip, that skip appears to have been uh, unsuccessful at the moment. That's not what I wanted. <laughs> and then $75 from Mardoch. First time watcher, first time donator. Got to move that controller around now. And we have indeed. The $8.89 went towards Griever's name, Mataco. $75 towards Griever's name, Goat. Thank you very much indeed. You know how I feel sorry for the people that are having to change who's, uh, who's actually currently running it. Yeah, yeah. we must give it a round of applause to tech because <laughs> <laughs> it's really hard for them and they're doing a great job of swapping out who's running and what's going on. Well done, dudes. So the, the best security system I've ever seen has just been implemented where you lock the door, but you leave it open for several seconds before you lock it so that someone else can run out and someone else can run in accidentally uh, or actually finishes locking. So I have no idea how to, if, I, if I didn't run into them like on the corridor. Oh, yeah. Lately. Like maybe there was a time skip between their left. I don't know. So this takes like 30 seconds, I think, and just hold X. Mm -hmm. And this is one of the places where I very, very much appreciate the CSR mode because it just speeds up all of the animations here. So we don't need to watch Tifa slowly climb the boxes for 30 seconds. 
and she basically has like a magic item, I guess, that is supposed to suppress magic from the sorceress or something, and she has a great plan of like going to talk with sorceress and like giving her the necklace as a gift or something. That doesn't sound like a great plan, but I mean... Not really. And in the first of many times, we're going to have to try and rescue Rinoa or Tifa. I think Tifa would have done better here. Yeah. Fall yeah, if all sure. fail, just punch her, you know. But yeah. Unfortunately, this does not work out so well for Renoa. I'm also a little bit scared by how long that screen transition is as well. <laughs> That's always really long when I think I've like soft locked or something. There's her bracelet in her hand. Yeah, she's planning to give this bracelet to Adair to suppress her powers. Uh, no such luck. Oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you enjoyed your uh, your time. <laughs> I, I had a, I had a grand time climbing those boxes. So much so that you didn't even get time to change the button config. So no, yeah, you got oh. to go. Give it back. <laughs> <laughs> And if there is a donation to read because of that, we have time. We've got a little FMV. Oh, I need to close that box, yeah. Yes, indeed. Give me a second. I think we've got something here. Uh, we've got $25 from Janny Bean, Ooh. who says, FF8 hype! <laughs> hopefully, hype! Hopefully we can leave Renoa in space today. <laughs> Please? <laughs> and that goes towards $25 towards Grieva's name being Mataco. Thank you so much indeed. Thank you. Thanks, Jen. It wholly depends on whether we want to finish the run or not, really. Yeah. Well, we could slot in practice percent and just ignore just completely the completely get rid of it, yeah. And, like, we never have to see Renoa again. But no. We'll think about it. I think it's the mm, official answer. So, yeah. so for those not really sure about what we mean by partial cutscene skips as well, is that we are planning on two of the... three of the slow sections of the run. Um, one being prison, one being Trabia, and the third being space. They're the three times we're planning on just slotting in um, the cutscene remover mod. And you can do it on the fly. It's just luckily, you just drag and drop the uh, oils in and out. And it should just remove all the real text heavy downtime on the run. Because, as they mentioned, uh, Metaco was supposed to be, have this slot for Final Fantasy VII. And Final Fantasy VII is about an hour or so shorter than the estimate we had for eight. So we had to, like, squeeze it a little bit. So it, uh, Luckily, we compress have this. Time, yeah. yeah, just time compressive. Yeah, we've we've compressed the time. Yeah, we're quite lucky. We have this available, this tool to, mm -hmm. to be able to have the versatility. Yeah, I'm not sure what we really would have done otherwise. No, make it fit. And shout out to Zwanzig and Kyron who ran FF5 and FF13 yesterday on the second stream, where we should have been for Final Fantasy VIII. Everyone chipping in to get the ball rolling and keep things moving. Yeah, it's almost there. Oh my! Is there another thing? No. No. But we we need another seven dollars. Seven more, yeah. Yeah. Don't worry, I'm, I'm keeping a very eagle eye on. <laughs> <laughs> keep the donations coming. The bot cap skip. At least we know you have to do the Omega weapon because it's met. Yeah. None of us, none of the other ones practiced it, so you have to do it. I think that'd be funnier though, wouldn't it? If you just go just through it. <laughs> oh yeah, the president is dead now. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, yeah. Plus, we'll Happen. worry about that later. <laughs> yeah, I think it's, 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 this is the point in the game when I just don't think about plot at all. I'm just like, no, this just, is, just get to the next objective. This is normally where I make a cup of coffee. Yeah. Like <laughs> yeah. yeah. I guess we need this. So the second time that we're going to do the encounter skips that we found um, is the sewer section coming up in, uh, I guess it's not for another quite some time, but it gets there. Um, so, yeah. so unlike the first one we did in the training center, um, this one is not 100% guaranteed. It's like a two-thirds chance that it'll work. I'm gotta... pretty sure we are too far behind to even like attempt it, honestly. <laughs> it, no, you, no, no, you, can do, you can do it from the... You, you can do it from the screen before. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's actually... I mean, I know we can, but like, it never works for me, but I guess it's my fault for being bad at the game. <laughs> <laughs> I 
No, I think it's your fault for just having bad luck. Yeah. yeah. Like you might you're, probably just, the, you're, you're hitting that one in three every time. Every time, yeah. Sure. Yeah, it's a screen that annoys me more often than not. I bonk yeah, up. Yeah, like, I hate doing 180 turns in this game. is yeah. terrible. Yeah. Smooth. Clean. But it's screens like this that will advance the uh, the general RNG that like, might have affected the codes before, because it's just like a movement screen that has a save point on it. For some reason, that's where... Yeah, whenever there's a save point on the screen, the RNG is increasing like every half second. But yeah, the reason it's um, like there's like a one in three chance that this future skip, even if we do everything perfectly, this future skip might not necessarily work, is because. Oh. Yeah. Oh. I told you. Oh. Well, we, we are we behind. We can still do it. We can still do it. Buffer. No, it's just there. Number one. Oh, is that where that's from? Yep. Oh, cool. We got the. Uh, so the only way with this party to freeze ATB is to use Chris's limit break, and we just got it straight away. Which is nice. Yeah. Normally we have to open the. Uh, Magic or the item menu, and um, okay. So there is actually a setup for this, even though it's like way behind what we normally would be at. But there is actually a setup. We sure that one. definitely works. Yeah. From one. Is that what I thought that was from? Like, if you got it on the screen before, like at the start of suits. Yeah. Two. Mm, I'm pretty sure we had one for. I think one works. I don't think step count is active on that screen there. You can't get an encounter at that screen. Oh, is it? The whole of that screen is not. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. It's been quite some time since I made this. Yeah. Nip, but, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah I remember. But, uh, and I it's normally not so early we get the encounter, but I think I have faith in my it, routing be, that it works. So we'll it'll be out. fine. But, but yeah, so basically the idea is that um, but for this this uh, only works if there's. The I think it would um, about like 100 something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Twice, basically, yeah. Twice. Oh, so, so that's gone to you. Yeah, and then. Back now, to is it me? Second. Yeah, it is ah. you. Yeah, okay. Wow, I, well, I need my one input. Yeah. <laughs> we need one input. One input. There, there you go. go. That's the one. Nice. And all right. Oh, that was on turbo. That doesn't count. <laughs> <laughs> <There you go. laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Um, so, yeah, uh, th there's, a, there's a back end um, uh, value called uh, step fraction. So, it's like every, you know, yeah, each step ID is tiny, tiny into movement into of squall it counts for step fraction. Um, and if it is, I believe it is, uh, if it's either two or four at the, at uh, the point that we start the sewers, or yeah, um, then this will work. And if it's six, then it won't. So there's nothing really we can do to control whether it's those, either of those two things. Yeah, there's too much. You would have to be able to control all the movement exactly from the training center until now, and it's just too hard. Squall can take part in the dancing here. Just have a little. Mm -hmm. Are we going for the box skip? Uh, of course. Let's go. Swag. Nice. Didn't work out quite so well. He still ran to the right. So. I'm going to blame this controller on my <laughs> So here is another old up and X to climb all these boxes just for content. And while we are climbing, we can definitely go for a few donations here. Yeah. Oh, yes, we've got plenty coming in just now. $50 from us username Niels. I barely know anything about Final Fantasy VIII. There's a guy named Squall with a scar, and he has a sword gun. And maybe there's an evil clown. Thank you very much indeed <laughs> for that one. Uh, Blood Dive donates $25. Go, Squaw Squab! Nero! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, Nick Levesque, $20, says, Leave a deer alone! <laughs> and $110 from Anonymous. You're welcome, Bodcap. Smiley face. <laughs> Thank you very much indeed for all those amazing generous donations. Please keep them coming. I'll give you a reluctant thank you for that one. Do you want a menu? What menu? You need to change your config. Oh, the, you are <laughs> very correct. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been, been an interesting fight. Uh, it's this one. Yeah, yeah this is like one of, one of the fights where it actually matters a lot. Yeah. Not to mess it up. Yeah. Uh, so this is, there's only three points in the game where we have uh, a GF that we need to draw um, from an enemy, from a boss. This is the second one that can happen. So the first one was Elvis back in Dallas, so you drew Siren. Uh, here is the there's second a, one. There's a third one later. And then third, I said the three. Oh, you did, then, okay. Uh, I just can't. The third one is, is Pandemonium later. And if you miss it, you are, you just reset. That's pretty much it. Although I have looked into removing this GF from the route. It's worth getting. Yeah, I don't think there's any situation in which it, you're actually saving time by not drawing. Mm -hmm. mm. 
but Renault is pretty grateful here. Um, but we're more interested in getting into our position so that Irvin can uh, take the shot, the vital shot that will end the game. That's it. If, he's, if all he has to do is hit this shot, That's and it. we've won. Succeed. And we'll be, what, four and a bit hours on the rest of it? Yeah. If he just makes this shot. Okay, so I'm gonna... So you're doing number one, right? Yes. So do all the first screens as normal, like hold up left to the first gate, up left to the second gate, and then continue as normal. Yep, okay. So, and then once you get to the screen that goes right, just for the end, you oh. buffer four times, holding right. At the end? No, like the, the holding right screen. You know the straight screens? Yeah, yeah, yeah. but count. any of them count. Yeah, there are two of them, right? Yeah, there's you two can of them. Do any so of them. Just, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, just do the second one. Okay. Uh, the one, it's the one just before, just before the, actual, the, end, yeah. the actual wheel, yeah. I don't mind you. But that's the stuff. So basically what we had to do is like, I figured out where you could get this encounter and how close you'd be to the end of a screen. So leaving a screen after the encounter, you would always have a fixed value for your encounter step ID. And then I went through the sewers using this same set of movement every time and just got to the end and see how far away we needed or what we needed to add or remove to get a skip the encounter. So this was one of the real backup ones. I'm glad it actually it works as a backup because it's nice to show it in the marathon. Wait, did you say up left? First two? Yeah. For the first screen. First screen's up. Yeah, then second screen, hold up left and bonk. Wait. At both gates? Yes. Yeah, okay. Always wait at the gate or do you... Okay. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. I wasn't sure about that. But the first one, basically. So here, wait. Don't press X. Yeah. Now, and then... Okay, proceed as normal then, like... So how to make this movement consistent was to like bonk into everything you can and then open the gates. So like you'll see this quizzes will always stop moving before we open a gate or anything. So even here, we wait for the screen to stop fading, then we go. And just this was the only way to make this entire sequence consistent on the steps. It's consistent two and three times. Yes. Sixty six percent of the time it works every time. Don't forget to press and hold. Yeah, I know this is my least favourite part. Yeah. Yeah, it is very important to uh, make sure you wait for the screen to fully fade in because, like I was mentioned before, during the fade in, the step count is not active, basically. This is a lot of people's like least favorite part of the casual run, just like getting lost in sewers. So the next screen, four, four buffers, four buffers, all right, and buffer. One, two, four, and no more buffers. And, and six turns up to the top, and six turns. <clears throat> so this is where it becomes really easy to create a minip here. Every time you move here at the top, it just increases the step fraction by one uh, increment. So six. And hopefully, there we go. Oh, oh perfect. Awesome. That is that's actually really surprising. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> that's actually so that's the two-third chance to skip an encounter. It looks like it's a really convoluted setup. It's actually not so bad if you do it a few times. And it's just 10 seconds time saved straight up by not getting that encounter. Shouldn't have doubted myself. I made these. Back in the day, we have a little image that I made back in the day, and it has like different spots where you can get the encounter to skip it. So, despite accidentally getting locked in a room, they've made it literally with two seconds to spare mm. to have the correct position when Irvin inevitably hits a dare and ends, you know, ends the mission. Wins the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There's some FMVs here before he takes the shot, so if you have anything you'd like to read, by all means, any donations. Okay, thank you very much. We have Alton here, $25. Good luck, Final Fantasy VIII crew, on the stage, on your own. Shout out to everyone <laughs> behind the scenes making this great event happen. Thank you very much. That goes towards Griever's name, Mataco. And Blood Dive donates another $10, all for my son, Little Dive. And that goes towards Griever's name, Little Dive, at $10 as well. So thank you so much again for all your generous donations. Mm. I'm going to be quiet now. We've got a shot to take. You know he means business when he says his second name there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's being serious. You know, your mom is really mad at you, like. <laughs> <laughs> I 
There's no way, there's no way he can miss though. No, man. like it's, it's he's trained for this like his whole life. What would ever deter him from missing, or make him miss? Like deter him from hitting. Should we get ready on the button? For yeah, I'll get ready on, yeah, on the, yeah, the timer. Yeah, to be yeah. ready. This is probably like going to be it. Surely. Oh, Not this time. Never lucky. God, we've got to be here for another like four this hours now. Complete marathon, bad RNG. Like. <sighs> well, I suppose. We'll carry on. Oh, that's not what I wanted oh, no. to do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Turb woes. That's 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 manipulation. But he, everyone hit in practice. Like my uncle works for Nintendo, and he told me that he does. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and Yoshi comes out the top of the thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is one of the coolest FMVs. It is. Yeah. So we so we sort of intentionally decided that. We'll, we'll leave disc one fully as is because it has all of the best FMVs, basically. Mm -hmm. has... So I guess during the FMV after a DIA, I can swap it. Save. Yeah, I'll, sa I'll save it the thing. We can do it then. Oh, yeah. See. I'm not sure if the idea fight is a trigger, though. You know I mean, I'm not sure what triggers the... It should be fine. Yeah, but there's, there's another transition. As soon as you leave the room, it will, tra it will trigger, won't it? I don't know if that text is cut. Why not? Maybe not. I'm not sure. Yeah, I guess we could do it during the yeah, FMV. I'll just do it during the FMV and just save anyway then. It should be fine. This call gets to face off against the Pretty half high actually. This is actually really difficult. And he's dead. And we got it, yeah. <laughs> and he's dead. Don't even need to use the trigger. Yeah, important thing, uh, when we don't need the trigger, we will not do that because it just wastes some frames. Yeah, they do sort of a long sort of recoil animation if you hit them with because the trigger is essentially a crit. Um yeah. uh, like the fight similar before, uh, we have Irvin and Squall who you do want ATB with and Renault who you don't, so I'm gonna hold X and hope. That's the official uh, that's the strategy in this. Mm -hmm. uh, that's that's Renault. That's Renault, yeah, yeah, for sure. Oh no, it might be. I don't know who's. They are ident. They are like on the line. That's yeah. Very hard to tell. I'm gonna hold. I'm just holding. Oh, uh, oh they, no. yeah. unlucky. So this is what we mean about Renault's attack being really slow. It's very slow, and it does 57. Ah, there we go. Okay, nice. I'm gonna swap this now. I think this is the time. So this is light nice. percent. This is light, yeah. yeah. So you should be able to match X when you're doing this. Oh yeah, yeah, of course. Uh, you have to do control V, I think. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, I think this should be fine. Maybe we, maybe we save first. Just maybe case. save first. <laughs> <laughs> so this is like uh, as we have to like squeeze the run down uh, at short notice. We. Uh, weren't fully sure about how to do this. We know it works to hot drop in the foils like this drag and drop on the fly, but uh, we're hoping that it'll all work out fine. Yeah, but I mean, I've done it. I've done it. Yeah, no, but I haven't done it during an FMV actually. Yeah. So maybe oh, that's right. a bad idea because yeah, the FMV yeah. would be removed from the foils. Yeah. Or actually, they're not. They're separate. Anyway. I'll, I'll save it. Yeah, save first. So, all going well, fingers crossed, that uh, this doesn't jank out. Analog. Why is oh, up not working? Use analog. Oh, yeah. Okay. An unknown exception has occurred. Not nice. Well done. Well done, that's, that's what happens. When we're <laughs> <laughs> Glad we saved. Uh, so, sorry, tech, that should be back roughly where it was. Uh, these are, let me copy these in again. So this is the copy, copy again, paste. Paste. Just make the window bigger, I guess. Yeah. Oh. Boom. Can you copy that? Should be good to go. You're back in control. Why are you pressing the oh. button? <laughs> 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 we have a laptop here for the minutes, and Bodcap was pressing the button on the laptop. <laughs> no, no, it's fine. I've got it now. I've got it now. They're telling this is why they don't want you having the control. <laughs> there you go. Alright, I can, I think, wait, I can move this down. Is it up or down? Down. There we go. 
Are we good? So, welcome to Cutscene Remover Percent. All going well here. This should be a very, very short sequence, and the next few sequences should be really short. Uh, yeah, that's it. So normally, uh, there's a bit of dialogue, and then Kira sort of appears. So everything now should be shortened and cut. Making prison actually bearable. <laughs> Tricky to squeeze past a little. Yeah, the movement there is super janky. A big shout out again to Cypher TV for creating this mod. So if we were running this from the start to the finish, this would just be a four hour run. But everything else is completely. Your step count be hard reset, which would be fine. By accident. Menu. Yeah, okay. it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. Don't need, I shouldn't need to do any buffers now. No, it should be good. Seems correct, yeah. So we are going to do another uh, encounter skip here by running and walking in a very specific manner. Hopefully. This, yeah, this one, was a bit, this one is a bit more triggered before because now, since the end of disc one, we have just learned and just equipped there. It was me combat, which is encounter half. So now, where we used to just take like two steps or five steps on disc one, now the issue is that because the encounter rate is increasing slower, it would be too time consuming to walk at twice as many steps, basically. So what we do to counteract that is we do running steps, then walking steps. So that we're only walking when the, the exact moment that the step ID would be incrementing. Um, so what we do here is force the counter right to this spot. And then after we flee from this fight, Botcat, we're going to be try quite so we can hear what's going on. But he's going to run six, walk two, run four, walk two. And then on his way back up, he's going to do in sequence, in series of two. So two walking, two running, two walking, two running. So six, four, two, four, four, two. Two, perfect. One, two, three. That was correct, yeah. So six, then two walking, four, then two walking. And now he's going to do twos. Be fine. Should be Sounded good. Sounded correct. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. the timing is very, is very specific. It's not as simple as just running two, walking two, running two, walking two, and stuff. Like, you need to do it with you a very specific timing. Yeah. So, if that worked, we will not get an encounter on the screen. And if it didn't work, then I'm passing the controller. Even though <laughs> it's just <laughs> passing the controller. There we go. Perfect. Yeah, this one. Well done. So, that's. Yeah. It's one of the weirder parts of the step count, really. There's there's a little bit more in prison as well that we'll be doing. That's uh, yeah, but it's free. Yeah, it's it's a lot easier than that, but it's still a bit weird. So the only other thing you need to do is, as we're leaving this stream, so the last moment we are in the in the town square, we just force an encounter before we enter the into the door into the house, and uh, then we know exactly what the step count will be when we take control of Zell in prison. Vin is now proudly announcing that he's managed to kill zero monsters on his patrol. Well done. Oh yeah, because after the events, I have a guess, of LD2, Laguna has settled here in the village of... Windhill. Windhill, Windhill, Windhill. yeah. He's working as a guardian, basically, I guess, dealing with the monsters and stuff. I think he had ulterior motives. <laughs> I think he was romantically involved. But yeah. I mean, maybe, but then he just leaves and like never comes back, so like, <laughs> that's questionable. And that is Laguna Dream 3. I guess if you're not fluent in French, it probably doesn't look so jarring that we're after skipping loads of stuff. Yeah. But the conversation, the text boxes are completely done. There's no continuity between them. I think you might be taking the reins now, Wes. We were on oh, uh, three nice something, yeah. Remind, remind me to uh, change the button config. <laughs> I think I can. Oh no! You have, a, you have a menu coming up. Oh yes, okay. So you can do. I that can do it then. Yeah. yeah. Here is one of the bigger time losses. If you uh, save the Mumba, we should have put that as an incentive, really. Yeah. But it's actually much quicker, 
I mean, like even it's, it's, like more than a minute. It's the one that feels the worst because <laughs> you know you're, you're intentionally being cruel to the Moomba, but it really does add a lot of dialogue and a lot of extra scenes if you uh, save it. Mm -hmm. I think for unfortunately for most JRPGs, being mean is quicker. <laughs> yeah, I think there's one that I can think of where Squall is actually nice to Zell and it's the quickest. Oh yes, in the garden. Yeah. yeah. Uh, let's go practice. Oh, but that's but that's it. Very very minimal. Yeah. No, so anything. this button is menu. It is. It is. Yeah. Nailed it. <laughs> <laughs> no, didn't nail it. There we, there uh, we go. Yeah. There we go. Perfect. Uh, okay. A quick swip. A switch. Uh, do I need to do something here? No. no. Oh. Just, just this one and Wrong doubles, rows. Yep. And then this one. This, this. Yep. Yep. Perfect. So for this movement, I hold left. Yep. To monks. Walk all the way right, and then walk all the way down. And this skips another encounter with Zell that we would normally get. I'm going to walk two more steps just to be safe, and we should be fine. Yeah, so this whole setup here means that we will be getting like total uh, one encounter fewer compared to the normal step count, basically. Mm -hmm. Even though the, the, uh, the setup seems to look convoluted and slow, they still save time. Crit. He always crits in this fight. He does. He's like a, an it's alarming like... amount. I'm also convinced that light percent increases your crit rate. I think so too. The, 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 the cutscene, the cutscene remover mod, absolutely. Like, I just get loads of, I get loads of crits and I get loads of back attacks. So just coming up here, oh, some little bit of smashing. Oh no. Uh, we have a boss fight. Familiar faces that we met on the top of the dollar counter. <laughs> <laughs> hey, just zoom in. Yeah, in instead of. Like, you know, recognizing each other and, you know, pointing, they just go zoom, zoom, and yeah. in we go. So, yeah, you'll start noticing some funny animations going on. I'm gonna see if Christus can crit YOLO. I always go for this, and uh, I think it's I a bad idea. It's terrible. <laughs> idea. Uh, I, go it. I don't think I've ever got it, though. So, like once, I think. Yeah, so Zell can one shot both of these guys. Christus can, can one shot Wedge if she crits, which is a pretty low chance. But, yeah, you only live once, right? And now I hope everyone here is a fan of circles. Yep. So you'll be seeing a lot <laughs> of circles right if now. There's any if there's any donations or anytime, anything to talk about, we will just be running up and down this prison for the next few minutes. Okay, thank you very much. Well, I'll take the time to remind you, you are watching ESA Summer 2022. Raising money for Save the Children, $48,474 so far. It's absolutely fantastic. I will be swapping off uh, hosting to a uh, another wonderful gentleman very shortly, about half an hour. So can we make that? Can sort of 600? Can we hit? Well, can we hit 49k, <laughs> 50k, more? Get those donations in, folks. Remember that all of your donations do go towards one of our wonderful prizes. Uh, if you go to the ESA Marathon website and you can see the prizes on there, we have basically hundreds of different prizes at various levels. Starting from a total donation of $100 throughout the event, you can earn one of two PS5s, one for North American residents, one for EU residents. We've also got Steam Decks at $75 for minimum donation, Retro Tinks at $50, and two Nintendo Switches at $50, along with a host of other prizes that you can see on the website. So remember, not only are you supporting Save the Children, but you can get yourself into the draw for these wonderful prizes as well. You okay for me to uh, carry on? Continue, or? yeah. Sure. Yeah, okay. fantastic. Remember that all of the donations do go directly towards Save the Children. So there are every dollar counts. So for example, one dollar can provide a child with treatment against diarrhea, one of the top killers of children under the age of five globally. Or it can help treat four children against pneumonia, which is the single largest cause of death in children worldwide. Five dollars can provide education supplies for a child fleeing conflict zones, giving him or her the tools they need to continue their education. And ten dollars is enough to ensure that four children get access to one of Save the Children's child-friendly places for a month. And we have a big donation here, $110 from Chad Wilson, who says, you are doing so great. Keep it up, Bodcap. <laughs> and that's going towards the Fable Lost Chapters 100% incentive for Whisper's Fate. 
towards sparing whisper. Remember, if you get new donations in, not only can you benefit Save the Children, but you can put those donations towards one of our incentives of Bid Wars by entering it on the right-hand side of the donation page. Back to you. Too much. Uh, it is a Renault Quistus, right? Yeah. Add, add I mean, Quistus uh, and Quistus Quistus yeah, swap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Zelda, yeah. I mean, uh, Tifa, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's actually <laughs> yeah, Tifa. really confusing. It's actually really convenient that uh, you got control back just when we got to the top there, because I would have run the wrong options with them. <laughs> <laughs> I've changed what, I, what options I picked there, so I would have picked the wrong ones just by out oh, instinct at this point. It wouldn't have made a big difference anyway, but it would have just changed which shortcuts we take here and where we would have got the encounters. So we've already done several laps with uh, Zell. Um, but we got, because of the encounter skip that we did, we didn't get any encounters at all uh, while we are running with Zell. Uh, we will just got one there with school. We should get one more by the end of prison, and then that'll be it. So, yeah. The movement here is especially bad on PC because while we don't have analog movement, like we mentioned before several times, like doing it with just eight directions is terrible. Basically, each of these uh, like direction changes, like I have a specific yeah, like visual, uh, cue. visual cue yeah. to, to say like I need to change from this to this at, at that particular time for all of these screens. It's another banger of a song. It's just that we don't like prison enough. Yeah, enjoy. that's the thing. We can enjoy the, the content is a uh, is lacking compared to the. Uh... Now, for someone who doesn't know the game, and if it's your first time watching a Final Fantasy VIII speedrun, um, this section normally takes about thirty minutes, but we are cutting it down to maybe ten max, not even. Uh, Something like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's. The, I think most of. Uh, the, when you enter prison for the first time, there's a long section yeah. there of just of loads and loads of talking, which we just got rid of completely. It's never happened. So we can get right to the important business of running in circles. Mm -hmm. So the way we've kind of set up uh, our junctions at the moment is um, uh, uh, Squall's party here has encounter half on, but Irvin's party doesn't. So that's why we specifically chose the uh, the barriers to unlock on the right floors so that um, Irvin can skip as many of those floors as possible and he only actually has to run around one of them uh, because he is getting the full sort of uh, encounter rate whereas Squall's party is only getting, they should only get this one and then that'll be that'll be it for encounters in prison. Okay, And their junction as well so they can actually freeze ATB. Yeah. We didn't really mention that either, that if you're in a sub menu, I briefly mentioned it when we did the fish fin manip. Yes, yeah. All ATB stops when you're in the when you're in a sub menu, so we just enter item and wait there. And the flea check is actually continuing, so you can actually just pause ATB and hold until you escape battle. The difference between FF8 and some other uh, Final Fantasies is that um, uh, once you actually put the choose the item and try, uh, are choosing the, the target, ATB starts running again. So you got to be careful which menu you're in. So here for everyone who voted, who uh, donated to change Angelo's name to Cat. This is the one and only time you'll get to see Cat. <laughs> Here we go. Cat Cannon. Just a dog looking Cat Cannon. Yeah. Thanks Cat. Thanks Cat. The one and only time we'll see that. Yep. Unless we get a, a cat counter. <laughs> Which can uh, happen too. Oh, I'd love that on the final boss. I would too. It's always a great meme. So yeah, you see there, even like there was supposed to be text there where Zell says, we're coming up after you or something, just run away. And uh, it's all skipped. There's a little FMV there where you just look out over the fact that you're currently in the desert. Mm -hmm. It's all gone too. And you're up high on these, uh, on these, on these bridges. Yep. So the prison starts to descend into the ground and Squall seems to have caught himself in an unfortunate situation. Where he's, um, what's that word again? Oh, um, he needs Brachiate. to Brachiate. Brachiate. Yeah, yeah. Brachiate to the right. Apparently, that's a shout out to uh, Zero Kinos, who, when they made their notes, used the word Brachiate, and everyone in Final Fantasy VIII had to Google what a what what Brachiate, Brachiate meant. Was. And it literally and it's to shimmy across a ledge. Shimmy across. Yeah. Uh, 
There we go. Squall is currently. You always learn something racking. new when running Final Fantasy VIII. Yeah. So when you play the PSX version of this game, you actually don't have to do anything at all here to actually, as long as you uh, don't go left, don't go left, then you can just leave Squall in the position he's in, and that's absolutely fine. In this version, you do have to move right a little bit, otherwise you will game over, just for not escaping the sandstorm, I guess. We skipped all the cutscene after where they talk, and now we're straight up to the part where this, the party's going to divide and conquer here. So Selfie is going to take a team, and they're going to go to the missile base to try and stop the missiles from being fired in the first place. Because sorry, we missed all the all, <laughs> oh, yeah. all the plot <laughs> in prison that uh, they found out that uh, because the gardens were responsible for the assassination attempt on the sorceress, that the sorceress has now targeted both gardens with missiles. So, Selfie's going to try go there and try stop them, even being fired, but obviously some of them have already been fired. And then Squall is going to take a team, and they're going to go to back to the Lamb Garden to try and make sure everyone evacuates. I think that's the gist of it. So we specifically want uh, Zell to be in slot 1 for the party because he then will be closer to the car and he always walks whereas uh, Irvine runs. So we, I guess it is just a very, very it's minor it's optimization. It's yeah. like two seconds as well. So it's, it's not... It's worth doing. I mean, that's, a, that's a selfie skip right there. That's it? We can call that the urban skip. We need more skips. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Call it the Bert skip. Bert found that. Oh, yeah, yeah. We can call it the Bert skip. There is a member of the Final Fantasy community that loves timing things. So there, he has a he has a YouTube channel called, <laughs> called, called Bert, who uh, just has hundreds and hundreds of, of videos side by side of direct comparison of mode. tiny little optimizations here and there. With should you hold right versus upright? Should you do this? Should you do that? And uh, yeah, it, it's quite a useful little resource. Yeah, for sure. So there's a zoomy car. Yeah. It normally does not park so fast. Selfie's a really good driver in this in cutscene remover. Oh hey, I'm oh, on six, seven, four. I think that's sure. There we go. Oh, thanks. Mid mid run. Just when I was about to say I might go run to the bathroom while there was I was two slots away. <laughs> I'll wait to go back to Alton again because then I'm at least two hundred euro or dollars away from uh, having the controller in my head. Well I can go then. Yeah. I guess while we, uh, while we enjoy the, uh, the very funky missile based music, mm -hmm. we sort of pretended that we are uh, Galbadian soldiers so we can sneak in here. Yes. And then they try and sneak by this guard by just bending over a bit. Uh, and he just says, walk properly. Yeah, why, why, why <laughs> don't you on. just walk normally? Walk properly. You, you weirdos. So this is actually, I think casually this is actually quite fun. It's a, I like it's this a bit actually. of an interesting one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You uh, just kind of stick around and find out what you can do to like wreck the base basically uh, so you talk to this dude and he tells you to go talk to this other dude and then they eventually tell you to go to the power room and uh, you end up managing to shut off the whole power to the base and then eventually they, the alarm is raised and you gotta do some more stuff and find a self-destruct mechanism for the base So while we're running around here, you, if there's any donations you want to read, yeah, you have some time. There is indeed, thank you very much. We have $10 from Ceaselessly, Ooh. who says, Look at the lads! <laughs> <laughs> Good luck, my FF8 homies. Make us proud. Thanks, Cease. We'll do thank our you. best. Thank Thanks. you very much indeed. And Yoni Franks donates $75 without any comment, but thank you very much indeed for your generous donation towards Save the Children. 48,674. Can we hit 49,000 in the next 15 minutes or so before I swap over? Let's see if we can do it. Thank you very much. Thanks very much. The selfie's expert spying technique. Hit it. Just hit it <laughs> and then hit it a bit more. And watch it know it turns off. Perfect. And so if you want, there is. Casually, there's another route here where you actually don't have to fight anyone. You can continue to, um, like, stay undercover, but it's much faster just to fight here. I should kill now. Hmm? For now? To you? I'm gonna not. Yeah, yeah it's probably safer not to. 
Take a both take a potion as well, stuff increases. Yeah. I usually do it to like 100. Yeah, when you're doing the next menu, yeah, just watching their uh when I do the next menu, I will also change the uh Decoration. Because oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> switching, oh, switching yeah. ATVs there was not as uh, as, ex as expected. So yeah, step counter is now back active again. And uh, interestingly enough, this is one of the only areas in the game where the screen transitions when you close the menu. Should don't do this work. just in case. Um... Yeah, now is the time to do it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the screen transitions actually don't uh, work effectively here, so you can't menu buffer back. So if you lose step count here. It's actually Flash. just no. too late. Uh, uh, oh, no. mm. da -da -da. Okay. This is actually one of the more riskier fights in the run in a strange way. There is a potential chance that the red soldier here, the elite soldier, can actually confuse one of your party members. And if they do, it can just get a bit monkeyous. What is that ATB? That's the worst ATB. And Tifa's going first. Do we get a dog counter? No? Cat counter? No? Oh. Okay. Kill the red guy, so that's yeah, fine. The red guy and the crit. Dog counter? No? Oh. There's very few moments in the run where um, Renoa is actually in the party or Tifa. Uh, where you actually could get the potential dog counter meme. A pretty good fight, considering how bad the ATB was. Yeah. <laughs> So here we're looking for a self-destruct mechanism or some mechanism. Uh, we haven't found it yet, so you've talked to the people in the order. It turns out it wasn't, in the, wasn't even in this room. It's in the next room. So we're deciding we only need 10 minutes to escape the... Uh... <laughs> yeah, I only need 10 minutes to escape the missile base. But despite that, we're going to go back in anyway. Now we've already seen one immaculately designed uh, security system in this game when, with, the, with the door in the Caraway Mansion. We're about to see one that's possibly even better, I think. Um, a little terminal just here. We're going to be interacting with to try and stop the missiles, and uh, there is a password. The password only takes uh, the letters A to F as potential characters, and the password is just the word Adea. Just Adea. Very secure. Um, no numbers, no special characters, nothing. Oh, we're back attacked. That's fun. This could be a very long flee. So, yep. the worst case scenario for the fleeing is that you get back attacked, whereby your flea counter is set to zero to begin with and needs to go to like 40, or it takes 40 seconds maximum, I think. Yeah. And this will probably take close to... It can, yeah. yeah. There's nothing you can do about it. I've, I've had back attacks before where I've fleed immediately, mm -hmm. and I've had back attacks where it's taken 40 seconds. Uh, this is looking more like the latter. <laughs> <laughs> There's not much you can really do about this. Yeah, there really isn't. There we there go. There we go. And if this happens in your PB pace run, you just cry. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing you can do about it. In some instances, it's actually quicker just to kill the enemies and suffer the time loss that way, but it's still an awful time loss either way. So we're in a very modern UI now. Uh, first thing we've got to do is set the error ratio uh, on the missile targeting. Because all missiles surely have... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How much wrong do you want to be? Yeah. I'm going to put this all the way up to so you, you do need to do this uh, otherwise you know you'll you'll fail uh, a cutscene later on you don't have to go to the maximum you can go to one lower than the maximum which is right there that's world record strats right yeah there. optimizations once you change the error ratio then need to upload that data normally these spinny things take ages to yeah fill up <laughs> uh cutscene <laughs> remover makes it a little bit easier for us there I think it was built to like instill like a bit of tension and stress. In yeah. It. Like because the timer is still up at the top right corner and still whittling its way down, and you're I mean, waiting. To be fair, the game was made in like what ninety eight, so I guess uploading data just simply <laughs> it took that long. Did. <laughs> it did take that long. Surprised they didn't put in the dial-up internet connection noises.
Do the menu to me. I'll do the menu now. Oh, yeah. This next fight is set up in a very kind of particular way. The next boss has a damage threshold that when he's below 50% HP, he just starts using this laser cannon and it'll one-shot your party members. So to avoid that, we've carefully junctioned Selfie and set her, H her damage up in a way that she will only do like 40% of the damage, just under 50%. And this boss has another in there we go. Hey, uh, cat's here. back. Cat's back. Uh, this boss has another interesting dynamic where it die. It can actually it can be defeated and leave battle at 80% of its HP, but you don't get awarded the AP for killing it. That's all. That's the difference. So we're just in this route. We're just going with that. We're not going to get any AP, AP for beating this machine itself, and uh, we're just going to use two selfie attacks. It's the difference between getting 24 AP and getting four AP. Mm -hmm. Because, yeah, spoiler, there's some soldiers in it that come out now in a minute. So we get the 4 AP for them, but none. we don't get the 20 AP for the machine. But the machine is now effectively broken. It will somehow reverse its way out of uh, the battle area so far, yeah. to be replaced by some burning men. Yeah, and this fight is the place where we make use of Quistis' second limit break, I guess, that we taught her over two hours ago back in the second floor menu. Yep. We used, after Dolet, yeah. we used the immaculately uh, translated U-boat, which is what the French version calls the spider web, uh, to teach her ultra waves, which we use purely for for, for, do, for right now, just to kill those soldiers. There's some extra dialogue at the start of that fight. If you haven't already queued something that will uh, limit break, that will actually kill them. Uh, kill them there. Here we got a bit of an optimization of how we perform the menu. Not really the menu itself, but the movement we do just leaving the battle and leaving this. Uh, uh, it's a setup used by Connor Cardell, one of the more famous FF8 runners, and we all robbed it. It's He menus while holding down left and then hold left here until you stop moving and then hold right again. And it just means and then hold left again. So at this moment you're kind of trapped within the walls of the missile base and you kind of have to run around to the door, run over to the left and right again. And that's the minimum amount. It's kind of a consistent, consistent setup to uh, move as little as possible. So we learned uh, Strength plus 40% with Ifrit uh, earlier on during the missile base fight. Um, so we uh, have just added that to uh, Selfie and then we switched the junctions around. So this party has now uh, uh, got all the junctions and all the strength. Mm -hmm. um, just ready to come back to Garden uh, where there seems to be a big battle going on so it's quite convenient. And they just want to come back to tell people they need to evacuate but it just turns out that there is a whole like a civil war. Civil war going on here. <laughs> There's uh, some division among the members of Seed and Balam Garden. Uh, and we get asked here, are you with the Master Norg or are you with Sid? Um, so that's, that is the division. Half the Garden have sided with Sid and half the Garden have sided with Master Norg. We don't know who that is yet. But we'll know. Oh yeah. For sure, for sure. We. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, there are a few locations you have to visit here in order to progress the story, and that, while that is happening, we can definitely listen to a few donations. Yep. Okay, thank you very much indeed. We have received a $22 donation from Train Spotting Selfie, <laughs> who says, What are the runners' favourite Final Fantasy games? But quickly before you answer that, we have received another $10 from Speedy Dad without any comment. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you very much indeed. <laughs> Take it away. What are your favourite Final Fantasy games? I was just going to interject there and just say, I know who that is. <laughs> and I also have no comment. I think I know Speedy Dan as well. <laughs> yeah, I think you do. Uh, favourite Final Fantasy? I think I have to say this one. Um, Final Fantasy is a weird franchise. It's the, the, There's a lot of nostalgia for a lot of people, uh, and that can kind of overwrite the objectivity of uh, what actually is and isn't. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, the uh, you know actual good mechanics or whatever, but I think I enjoy the brokenness of this game. I enjoy the feel of it. I enjoy the uh, soundtrack. I think it's overall yeah my favorite experience definitely. So I, I'll, I'll say I'll say Final Fantasy VIII. 
Yeah, and not to like continue on the bandwagon. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, <laughs> I, it is. I think because we're about the same age. Just from vodka, I'm not it's, surprised. Uh, it's just the game you grow up as a teenager. So I would have played Final Fantasy VII earlier. But Final Fantasy VII, uh, I guess I was a bit younger. And then when Final Fantasy VIII came out, I was just like a teenager enough to like really get involved with the story and abuse the mechanics of the game and really enjoyed it. So even though I like love them all, but I think, yeah, probably eight for me as well. Uh, I haven't played any of the games as a kid because I never owned a PS2, basically, so I'm free from nostalgia, I guess. That's nice. Yeah. Uh, and I guess I would have to say 8 and 13. 13 just because I played a lot as a speedrunner and 8 because I used to watch my dad play it a long time ago. Can and then I... I enjoyed the game too. Fantastic, thank you. Can I interject just quickly? Absolutely. Of course. Uh, unfortunately, my time now uh, on the microphone has uh, expired. So I'm going to be handing over to the one and only Nico Hart, who will take you, he will keep you in good company for the rest of the run. Thank you very much indeed, everyone, for your fantastic donations. Thank you so much. Love ESA. Thank you so and much, James. Yeah, thanks, yep, Tim. Thank you so much. Uh, and enjoy the rest of the marathon. Cheerio for now. Oh. Oh, it's on a different screen then. Now this, this, I've got an option to choose here. Be very careful. Then. And I <laughs> do not want to choose the wrong one. Well, we get some more wizard stones, though. This true. So if I choose the top option there, I'd have to fight a Granaldo, which is the boss that we actually fought uh, in the training center earlier on in the game. We have to fight another one of those. Obviously, we're much stronger now than we were back then, but uh, it's still time consuming to do that. Uh, so, yeah, not interested. Uh, here we have spotted Zoo or Shu, I guess, depending on the language you use. Uh, and we are going after her because I guess, well, she is the most important person in the garden, honestly. She is way more important than Sid or anyone else. She basically runs the place. So we are after her to try and find out what's going on. First thing she asks is which, uh, which side are you on? And then we basically say, we don't care. We got some missiles coming our way, so more important problems than whatever city war is going on here. Yeah, and Sid is in hiding, I guess, trying to uh, flee from the opposing faction, and he's a great mastermind, and he simply <laughs> hid in his office, because I guess nobody would think of looking for him there. One of the great military minds, Headmaster Sid. What he's telling us now, though, is that there's uh, some sort of secret, you know, weapon or function or something that might be able to get us out of the issue we've got with the missiles in the garden. He doesn't know what it is, but he knows it's in uh, sort of an old, an old basement. So we're going down there to check it out. Uh, it might be a dead end. We might all be about to die. Who knows? Who knows? Yolo. We could, the interesting thing coming up here, Cypher made, uh, so down here is a Valve mini game that's coming up. Obviously we can use Turbo and uh, we can perform it in one go. But before we were allowed to use Turbo, Cypher actually implemented a counter within the mini game where you could uh, see how many inputs you actually got. You need to get a hundred in seven seconds. Yeah. Um, so we could do that. But we could try. Or we could just do Turbo. <laughs> so, uh, okay. could do it just to show how hard it is. Yes, I think that's probably it. The issue with this is that the PC port, it like eats your inputs because it's only like 15 FPS menus and 30 FPS. Um, but if the game like lags any bit while you're putting in an input, it just eats the input. Or if you input too fast above yeah. those FPS it's, values. It, it's to the point where faster mashing it it's, means you've actually do fewer inputs in total. So should I, should I, should I go for go it? Go for it. Let's see it. I'm going to guess 73. 77. It's going to be less than that. I mean, I would get like 60 because I cannot do it. Well, okay, 25, I, I guess. Swap. Oh, I'm into this. Can you hold on to it one second? <laughs> oh, I'll do this bit. Do that bit. See, I'm actually, for the real attempt here, actually mashed slower than I did in the first one. I purposely went 
like a lot more like vigorous in the first one, and I got 25 inputs. That second one, you need 50, and I purposely went much slower, and uh, I managed to get it. Uh, a very awkward screen, that one. Just kind of button for a moment. Hi there, I'm going to be your new reader. Um, hi, I'm Nico Hart. So, how are you, runners? Hi. How are you? All right. Good, good. Yeah. How's the run going so far? So far, so good. Yeah. Considering we're kind of uh, botching together a shortened version of what we <laughs> yeah. to do. Yeah, and swapping controller every $100, we're... Uh, it's, it's great fun. Fantastic. Well, do you mind if I read a donation whilst Absolutely. we're doing our Yeah, there's a bit of time. Awesome. Right, we've got a $30 donation from Zorg0147. No comments. Um, and it goes towards the uh, Grievous name of Lil Dive. So we've got uh, $21 of that donation going towards the name. Thank you very much for the donation. How are you doing on the incentive at the moment? Uh, let me go check. I've just literally got to the desk, so I'm gonna see what I can find. Let's have a look, see. Okay, we can. I mean, we can come back to that later, I guess. I've, I've got it. I've got it right here. We've got a uh, little dive at 181 dollars. Metaco, 180 dollars and 89 cents. It's only <laughs> 11 cents between. Wow. So, <laughs> people at home, you can change the ch the fate of the name between Metaco and Lil Dive. There's also Doff, which is at $120. Go to 85. Rocco at $30. And Paimon at $10. There is a great amount of uh, competition at the moment. So, who wants to change the fate between Lil Dive and Metaco? It's all up to you. Get those donations in for Save the Children. Work. Yeah, and make sure you pay attention to the sense, I guess, because I'm not sure if that actually appears on the screen, on stream at least. So if you want one option to win, make sure to pay attention to those tiny bits after the comma. But these weird sort of uh, uh, things have just come out to attack us. Uh, this is a so I, you saw I saved just before this uh, just before this fight because this is a potential wipe. Uh, with nothing you can do about it. Uh, if uh, if you get bad ATBs to start, they they, they perform an AOE attack, which uh, does you know quite a, you know more than half of the HP of uh, each of the members of your party. Um, uh, and they, they, it's possible for them to get two of those in before you've even had any ATB. I'm going to swap over to waves now because we've had the. Just uh, geez. Uh, I think we just had another. So. Uh, oh yeah. Yeah. Maybe you can read that donation. I would actually, if you wouldn't mind. There's another one that just came in. <laughs> uh, personal again, there's... Your, yeah, um, your turn. <laughs> I'll be back in a moment. All right, cool. Yep, I've just got the donation in, and it is $100 from Awesome Waves. That well, says, I really need to use the bathroom. There you go. <laughs> Offering a little jog over there, and then the slow walk meandering afterwards. <laughs> Thank you very much for that $100 donation. Didn't go towards any bids, though. Oh, but as I mentioned earlier on, there is still the Grievous name choice that you can put the bid towards. Again, Little Dive at 181 Metaco at $180.89. There's still time to change the name. I guess we can ask Waves about the incentive when he comes back. He obviously just really needed it. Yeah, he really needed uh, yeah. to. So yeah, we uh, we just fought um, those oil, oil balls, uh, the name of that um, uh, enemy we just fought, and usually after that is in an any percent run is when uh, you know there's it's one of the few sort of breaks that is, is more than a minute long with there's there's a lot of FEBs and stuff that um, uh, we're able to you know, go go and take a break and the game will sort of take care of itself for a bit, uh, but we're kind of cutting through all of that, getting rid of all that stuff. But after Royal Balls, we kind of discovered that the reason uh, that the sort of secret weapon or uh, the, the the big secret surrounding the garden uh, that we found discovered in the basement uh, is the fact that it can fly. Uh, we found a random console. We didn't know what it does. Squall in traditional fashion just pressed all the buttons at random. And uh, yeah, we're, we have liftoff and we're, we're sort of on our way 
crashing towards uh, the town of Balam, which uh, obviously wouldn't be ideal. Uh, but this is a cutscene percent. All those cutscenes are gone. We've now woken up uh, after sort of working out how to turn the garden. We turned it into the ocean. We were worried about that. Turns out it floats, so we're not, not in a too bad a position. Um, and now we're just sort of trying to think about what to do. Like, okay, we're in a mobile garden now. We, uh, you know, what now? Uh, Olsen's about to come across, I think. Oh no, sorry, this is the wrong, this is the wrong moment. Uh, so yeah, a little uh, garden faculty member comes up to us and says, uh, Garden Master Norg, who was the cause of this civil war that was happening in the garden that we didn't really know about, uh, he wants to see you. So, uh, uh, go down to go down to the basement level and we'll have a chat. So we get to find out who he is and what he's about. Best hundred dollars ever spent. Ah, but it was worth every cent. It was absolutely worth it. All goes towards <laughs> safety children. So we very much appreciate your donation. We want to put that towards the incentives. Oh yeah, I probably should have. I didn't actually think to think of it. I think it can be fixed if you just say it. Probably. Let's see what's coming up. I think there was a Crash Bandicoot one, wasn't it? Go to the ESA again. So here's Nog. He's uh, a big yellow thing called a Shumi. Uh, but he's not very happy with us. So uh, we're just going to get rid of him. So in this fight, we're going to abuse uh, Irvin's Limit Break again. Um, but he, we got a full heal um, uh, before this fight. So what we have to do is attack with Squall to get him down to critical HP. Uh, do a couple of attacks on the pod uh, to make sure that he um, opens up and, and Norg himself is exposed. And now we're using Irvin's Limit Break using normal ammo. That's a short one. Yeah. I no crits. We got five with no crits. Oh, so that is a really unlucky thing that can happen. If you get a low crisis level, then you've only got enough time in Irvin's Limit Break to uh, do five shots. Um, and if none of them crit, then it's not quite enough to defeat all of his HP. Uh, not, not much you can really do about that. It's yeah. kind of just an unlucky piece of RNG. We try to make sure we can guarantee the kills basically whenever we use uh, Irvin's Limit Break, but we just can't guarantee the kill on this fight, unfortunately. So Norg has now turned into Jupiter, uh, and we're just going to... Once again, this is this is a moment where we kind of go, who was that guy? Why are we... like? What, why did we just kill him? What's going on? And uh, let's talk about it later. Yeah. yeah. Like, <laughs> we'll worry about that later. That's, that's a problem for tomorrow. If I can put my 100 cards on incentive, actually, Mary, Keith, and Ashley's Sweet 16 sounds like a hilarious added bonus game. I'm we'll supposed see to go what we can do. Student, right? Yep. Yeah, I hope good. I know where I'm going. Yep, this is right. But the Akadawaki here uh, asks if we want to see Sid, and we basically say no and leave. That's fine. No, we say yes. No, no, we say yes. Yeah, okay, okay. yeah, it'd be great to talk to him. Okay, good, bye. We need to speak with him right now, and then it's like, okay, bye. And um, we're going to see some zoomies. Zoomy shoe. Oh yeah, we will see some zoomy shoe. So this is one of the funny bits of the cutscene remover present <laughs> that this yeah, girl she, she just, just comes zooming. Runs towards us and runs away. <laughs> when Cypher was making the mod first, there was some really funny stuff going on with like cars and stuff. And we're like, leave it in. <laughs> it's, <laughs> yeah. it's absolutely hilarious. We don't care if it's this slower. Right? Leave it Probably in. This one, yes. yes. The so elevator boss is like the most difficult this one. This is the, the most game, yeah. difficult boss in the game. Um, I think there are four, four, four points in the in the game where we have to use that elevator and we have to choose something that isn't the first option. Mm -hmm. And uh, oh, so many runs I've just I've just mashed through it and gone oh god, gone down to the basement for no reason. We're super close to forty nine k. We are super. That super is close. correct. We're only eight dollars away from forty nine k. Do you mind if I read the Absolutely. donation that just no, came in as well? It, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. 
All right, we got a $10 donation from LifeSync that says, we want to hit the chin version, aka <laughs> bod cap of eyes, on me at the end. Is this something that you're not going to be able to do? Bod cap can do it, yeah. If they can bring the camera... I, I don't have control over the camera. I'm they sure can't we can work They out. can't capture my glorious chin in all of its, you know... <laughs> <laughs> The, the, the equipment isn't set up quite, you know, in the oh, right I'm way. I'm sure they can work it out. I, I... We'll see. <laughs> well, I, bet, I guess we'll hold you to that. <laughs> <laughs> so here we were told by the white seas that arrived outside that uh, the girl named Elone is somewhere on the ship. And so we just have to scan the garden and find her. She turns out she's over here in the library. And it uh, turns out that she was also the person who was sending us to the uh, dream world. Yep. By the way, we just hit $49,000. Yes. Let's go. <laughs> that means we are just less than $1,000 away from that glorious $50,000 total nearly raised. So can we get some more donations pulled in again towards Save the Children and try and reach 50k by this run? I think we can do a Twitch chat. Oh, yeah. I think let's go. It. Let's go on Twitch chat. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, we skipped over a lot of things here. Uh, discussion with, with uh, the character that's been bringing us into the dream world. Um, how do you pronounce her name, by the way? There's a lot of different... Oh, it's supposed to be Elena. Is it supposed to be Elena? Yeah. I think I've actually worked out what it actually is. Because that's one option, right? It's the there's option. Elo <laughs> there's Elone. Yes. Right, there's... Where am I to go now? First option. Oh, next option. Yeah, Fisherman's Road. Fisherman's Road. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah. Um, I think I've worked it out. I think it's L1. Because she's a non-playable character, so she's always level one. The whole game. How many dad jokes can you, like... <laughs> $200. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Just another. If you hit 50k, we might be able to move Botcap out. The Botcap skip is real. <laughs> <Bot -cap> skip <laughs> is real. Just to let you know, awesome ways, we've got that donation bid put forward Thank towards you. America and Ashley. I'm sure we can get that reached at some point but, soon. Yeah. Do you have some time for some donations? Uh, yeah, we should have a bit. Of awesome. Robo Sparkle was the one who sniped at the 49k with the $8 saying 49 snipe. Mm -hmm. And it goes towards the Grievous name of Goat. <laughs> 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 Uh, we've also got Total Nonsense with $30 saying good luck to everyone and good job for a great show so far. Now, go save time or something. <laughs> I still don't understand the story. And we've also got uh, Cat1 with $20 okay. as well saying I must have junctioned myself onto Mataco. <laughs> <laughs> so let me kind of update the, uh, the bid incentive and see where we're at right now. We're at, oh my goodness me, Mataco is at $236.44. Lil Dive's at $181 now, so that is quite the difference. Yeah. Thank you very much for the donations, everyone. Keep them coming in. Yeah, thank you very much, everyone. We should still have at around 20, 30 minutes, I, I think. I think 20 minutes. 20 yeah, minutes, sure, yeah. safe to say. Yeah. Yep, we'll give more notice again before the cutoff. Is for anyone donating yet? So after we do this section and the next section, we're actually going to swap back to the any percent files. So we will actually get the garden battle in its full entirety. Yeah, there's some pretty cool cutscenes in there. So we thought it, we we didn't want to deprive uh, the viewers uh, of, of those FMVs. Mm -hmm. We just basically prioritized around cutting out the fluff and leaving in the cool uh, stuff. In the cool stuff, <laughs> yeah. Now, story-wise, because, because we cannot control the garden yet, we crash into the Fisherman's Horizon, but they aren't even that mad because they like fixing things, basically, so they're fine with it. They are going to even repair our ship and like allow us to actually control it properly. Uh, in the meantime, uh, the Galbaidians arrived here, too. And the mayor decides he can go talk them out of their violence. Yeah. And uh, that doesn't work out so well for him. So we've got to interject. Okay, I, yeah. I mean, we'll, we'll, see, we'll see the mayor just now. There he is. Um, I can't. I can't remember who it was. I think it was maybe Windows. Who mentioned that he looks like an upside down pineapple. <laughs> and now I can't <laughs> not see that. You gotta love the shirts, the hearts on the shirt. So we've reluctantly said, yeah, let's go and help him out. Uh, 
uh, there are two ways. Two waves. We ways. We can do this fight. We can either use uh, Irvine's limit break, but if the ATB ends up not aligning well, we can simply just attack three times. <laughs> or we can do both, I guess. Why not? You forget to. Uh, I did change the config, config. so oh. it took me a while. To <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. Did some huge donations just come in? Still nailed it. I think so. We did get some donations coming in. Uh, we, oh, okay. How many times did we go over? A hundred? Three times, is it? I think twice. I think oh, we were on we were on one one seven before. Oh, were we okay? Yeah. So twice. Uh, I'll do this fine. Yep. And then uh, the rain's back. Oh, that's it. Oh, uh, that's okay. So uh, uh, school can. I think he's got a pretty high chance of one shotting uh, BGH here. If not, we usually do yeah, it. Yeah, that's a very high roll. Very high roll. Give back to I need waves. My, I need my one input. You need to do one input, and then uh, we give it back to Olsen, who then needs to give it back to me afterwards. Uh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, don't, <laughs> one input. One input. Don't mash. Don't mash. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, we might have to hold off on the donations just a minute because we got to swap over the version of the game and save and stuff. So. Uh, oh good. Oh good. We should have some time after that again. Or maybe on the way to Travia, we can probably fit in something. But we've got uh, Banan yeah, coming yeah, up now yeah. and one of the more tricky bosses of the run. Come on. Oh, wait, we're going to the quad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've got a while. Yeah, we, have time. Oh, we have time for one or two. Sorry. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, it's the movements on these screens kind of mess me up sometimes. Mm -hmm. There's another big issue coming up here as well. Do we just... No, we didn't pass it again. No. Damn it. What do we no, do? I'm no. uh... oh, actually going to do it oh. now. Yeah, I'm actually awesome. going to do this now <laughs> before I forget. <laughs> uh, okay, so the concert is coming up. Uh, yes, and if you want to not listen to Irish Jig, you, made, you need to make sure that waves will not be in control during the... No, so if... Yeah, you need... You need to. Someone needs to donate enough to that give me back the controller because you need Irish jig. No, we don't need that. <laughs> no, we do need that. I, I'm the impartial third party. Uh, I don't know how. If if I have the controller, I'll flip a coin. Okay, that's fair. Kind of. But if you 100% want the Irish jig, which you do, um, it'll fill you with motivation and everything to continue the run. Uh, it's coming up, literally like two minutes, maybe. Yeah, pretty. Someone pretty soon. Kinda need to snipe in now with the uh, with the donate. If you're if you're thinking what the uh, benefit of not having the Irish jig is, just for you know misery, it's uh it's seven seconds. <laughs> <laughs> if anyone's interested. But in cutscene remover, it doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't, yeah. it doesn't do anything. It doesn't cost anything. We just get to listen to the Irish jig. It's uh, like uh, a unique well, track in the game. Quad. Quad, yeah. Oh yeah. It's automatic. In. That's the one I'm always surprised that there isn't an option. Yeah, it's weird. Running low on time. We have a coin to flip. I don't actually have any coins. <laughs> someone, <laughs> someone sure can provide. Can me. Google flip? Can Google flip a coin for you? Yeah, yeah. If you just do a coin flip app or something. Okay. I think Google actually has a coin flip inbuilt into it. Just, if you Google coin flip. I think so. Yeah, bring. Yeah. Do that. Does Google Chrome virtual coin flip? Oh no, that's a desktop app. What is that? <laughs> <laughs> It's just a flip of going that comes. So while we are trying to flip the coin, you can, I guess, go with some donations. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I'm more than happy to. We got a few donations in. We got five dollars and fifty-five cents from Trains. That says, "Ever wondered how they put so many citrus fruits into those scented shampoos? Lime compression." Oh. Uh, <laughs> And that goes towards the Metaco name. We have got T89 giving five dollars, saying, "But them." For Bug Cap's joke just now, which was probably about like, <laughs> was uh, probably about like six or seven minutes ago, right. uh, oh, but no. that goes towards Metaco as well. Just to interject, one quickly, yeah, just uh, I'm about to flip a coin Heads because it is my... Are you which one is which? Uh, Can't really see it in the camera. Heads for... What, am, I am I choosing? Heads yeah. or tails? Yeah. Uh, heads, heads is jig. Yeah, heads okay. is jig. Heads is jig. There we go. Scams. <laughs> Scams. We are not doing the Irish jig today. Ah, oh, very disappointing. Uh, Sounds like we haven't heard eyes on me all the way through the entire thing. Anyway, make Chris's dab at least. Oh, should I do the mix? Yeah, Every, yeah, uh, mix yeah. Okay, with, okay. Sure. Make her, make her dab at the end. Yeah. So everyone's going to play eyes on me apart from Quistis, who's going to do her own thing. <laughs> He's going to do and, uh, completely. Uh, Clackets is the one, right? Yeah. 
She's just going to dab her way through the whole thing. Well, actually, so I'll leave her. I'll there leave you to, to see it because we won't in like percent. We won't actually Correct. see it. Yeah, we actually so won't. there she's just having a happy old dab. Uh, and there Sounds we go. Nothing like the song we want to play. No. <laughs> Well, it adds a bit of percussion that wasn't normally there. There is another tiny optimization here. We will bonk into uh, Tifa because that's faster. Yeah, you can just run down and then trigger the yeah. uh, trigger the dialogue. But if you actually go and talk to her, yeah. Otherwise, she kind of like stops you and makes you walk over slowly and stuff. And I guess we have some more time for donations before the concert begins. Yep. No problem. We've got a $50 donation from Blood Dive that says, My waifu dive could hunt me for that donation. But anyways, go cloud... Uh, go lightning... Um, go Nero! <laughs> <laughs> and that goes towards Lil Dive for the name. I'll let you know how much that incentive is going to be in a moment and where we're at. We've got $50 from Dusk Enterprises oh, that yeah. says... Coming for your boy, Phil. Mataku as Griever, please. Thanks, Olsen. Dip, uh, Drip Master Waves, Sir Bodcap, and ESA for the hard work as well. Infinity X2K4 gives $20, saying shout out to the Gunblade, being the most epic weapon ever played when, uh, when I played this as a kid. <laughs> Enjoy the run, y'all. And keep up the great work, ESA crew. That goes towards a little dive for the name incentive. Let me do a good old uh, a refresh right now. At the moment, it looks like Lil Dive is still in the lead. I will have to double check for one of the bidding centers in just a moment, but Lil Dive is sitting at $251. Metaco, $241.44. So about just under $10 between them as of right now. Thank you very much, everyone. Thank you, Nico. Yeah, thanks. Is it just me or is the music a bit... Weird. It's actually not bad. <laughs> I can't hear the <laughs> bass. Yeah. I can't hear the bass. Yeah, the bass is not there. What? It's not. Oh. There's no bass. I think the music, I think it's glitched out because we did a mix. Really? I think it is. Yeah. Who normally plays the bass though? Oh no, that's Chris. It's a job. That's, oh, that's right. Oh yeah, Mr. Spirit. She's dabbing instead. Oh, it sounds weird. I don't like it. Nah, I told you she just jigged. In the mod, uh, because the concert is cut from the game, the music just plays during this mm -hmm. part instead, and that is a really nice addition, honestly. Just because I wanted to hear the Irish jig. Yeah. Well, you can hear a quarter of it. <laughs> the non-melody part of it. <laughs> yeah. Here's the drum beat from it. Right, I think this is Urban and Zell, and then swap Urban. Yep. Yeah. Cool. Bop, bop, bop. And now we have control of the garden. Hey. We are now world map ready. This is one of my least favorite parts of movement, trying to actually park it in a, in a good spot here. They're saving as well, you? Yeah? Uh, yeah. Let's do the menu on the world map. A bit more? Okay. Oh, I should just, yeah, yeah. Do the menu first, I guess. Uh, oh, isn't it? That's, uh, okay. We definitely do need to save here, as there is another fight that can definitely wipe the party if mm -hmm. we just get unlucky. Yeah, this is definitely one of the riskier ones. Just wanted to update you quickly. We had to uh, sign a bid because it wasn't actually signed, but it was in the comments. So, Mataco, $291.44. Lil Diver, $251. <laughs> so there is a big leap right now. We're going to need some closing in to make that Lil Dive go up. If you want Lil Dive to be um, uh, the winner for the Grievous name, you're going to have to know it's about like, ooh, over $40 at the moment. So let's get it going because we are getting very, very, very close to $50,000 raised with $49,417 raised as thus far. You lot are amazing. Yeah, keep the donations coming. Be great to see 50k. I mean, with how this is going, you could, you could reach 50k before the end of this tube. <laughs> Keep them coming. Yeah. So you're wondering what's going on right here. The game has this one or two moments, one or two sections in it where there's like a pity mechanic is what I want to call this. So oh, this has been named the pity skip for a while. Um, if you're supposed to go around the whole town of Blam looking for story triggers, looking for Fuj for the commander. Spoiler, it's Fusion. <laughs> uh, it's Raijin. It's Raijin. No, Fusion. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Okay. I thought it was. I thought she was the commander. Um, anyway, it's quicker just to after 17 screen transitions, the game just kind of feels sorry for you and goes, "Ah, oh, it's okay. <laughs> Here you go." 
Uh, and that's what we just did there. It's quicker to just transition 17 times, and then uh, you can... I'll do two. Yeah. Two on. Yeah, two is right. So this boss is in two sections. This is the first fight where you just fight Raijin. And uh, the next fight is Fusion and Raijin. And Fusion has a GF we need to draw, which is Pandemonia, which is the Wind GF. And while she has that GF in her possession before you draw it, she can use Tornado Attack, which is a AoE. And if things just go kind of badly here, they can just kill Irvine, and it just becomes a real mess very, very quickly. So hopefully, it doesn't. That's clean. That was good, yeah. Good. yeah. So I'm just waiting here, not actually inputting the uh, uh, the Irvine limit until Squall has actually drawn Pandemona. One potion on Irvine after. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a very good uh, ATBs. Yeah, it was good. If you'd uh, buffered with Zell, I think you might have been able to skip Tornado. I was too surprised by the ATBs. <laughs> <laughs> this is also where we learn encounter none, which means no more random encounters from this point on, except for Esther, where we take two counters on purpose, basically. To learn some of the abilities that we need. So, quick menu here to equip the GF we just got. Equip encounter none. Potion Irvine once, just to make sure he's in good stead for the upcoming garden battle. Set some more stuff learning. And that's it. Off to Travia, which would normally be another very text heavy section of the run. Okay. When you uh, leave the garden, it's, it's pointing in a random direction, so like you can either go backwards or forwards, but uh, yeah, do yeah. Some island hopping, yeah, jump over these yeah. islands so you don't have to climb up under the beach. Uh, I'll save before I go in just in case the light percent change. I will do it after, I'll do it on the world map. After. Oh, yeah, you can do it. Oh, yeah, you can, of course. Good. I actually think there'd be no issue swapping the world map after. I'll wait until... I'll I save just in case, but... I don't want to do anything, man. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Alright, do that, yeah. I <laughs> see, so yeah, like waves, this is usually... Oh, well, your heart sinks a little bit <laughs> as you're entering Travia, yeah, in any percent, because... Uh, Very text-heavy. There's a lot of... There's a lot of... Uh, Exposition that happens here. Um, this is actually a great track as well. It's called Ami. Yeah, yeah, I'm a fan of this one. Did we swap the audio? Yeah. Uh, we did, yeah. That's not me. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I did, yeah. yeah it's okay. One of the only issues with this game, uh, this version, is that uh, the default audio is very MIDI. It's like really awful. It's not the PSX version. Um, so it's been allowed on the leaderboards that you can swap in the. PSX version of the files. Because it would be unbearable it otherwise. It is quite unbearable. Some of the tracks are horrific. I mean, they're all pretty bad. Some more than others. Some are... I mean, I would I would go as to say different tracks to the originals <laughs> because of how badly they've recreated them. You have background movement on the uh, analog. Just on the analog, I think. Yeah, the analog, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. That's the only percent ones, right? Yeah. Cool. So, yeah, we're just going through sort of uh, what. So, the idea behind the cutscene remover is that um, it still contains pretty much. An identity, like the inputs you have to do in the, you know, the actual, all of the story triggers and everything are all still there. So uh, this conversation, you still have to like go up to the right person to talk to them. You still have to do all of these things, but the actual amount of text that is uh, gone through is just significantly reduced. And that's the end of Travia almost. Basically, they all figured out that they went to the same orphanage together. They used GFs, which affected their memory, and they no longer remembered that they went to the orphanage together. Yeah, when you and then yeah. big drama. A uh, big dramatic effect is that uh, the idea 
was actually the patron of the orphanage. So that's also why Irvine was unable to defeat her. Uh, or do you want, so do you want to save? I'll save. I'll get off now, yeah. We should be fine. I think, like, drive away, you'll be fine. Okay. As you think. Okay. Oh, shit. Okay, so, uh... Yeah. So, if everything went to plan, we, just, we did just save, so it should be okay. Uh, when we continue the next story trigger, it should be back to the standard files. And we should have the full... There we go. So we get all the really cool cutscenes of the upcoming section. The lack of background input while you did that messed me up a little bit there, but we were back on track. So yeah, we're uh, we're driving the garden now towards. We we thought yeah we decided we'd, let's go and uh, see the orphanage where we all grew up, um, and yeah, slightly faster to go backwards. So you have to kind of turn the camera around, just swag points really. And while we are trying to get to the Galbadia Garden or close to it, it is a perfect time for some messages from Nicole. Perfect, thank you very much. We do have a donation from Lefsler with $30 saying, Love Final Fantasy VIII, first game that I really played until the end. Since then, I finished all of the main Final Fantasy games some multiple times. And that's going towards the Grand Theft Auto V any percent ending choice of the third way. All oh, of the $30 going towards it. Thank you very much for the donation. Back to you. Thank you. I think there was another donation that might have just came in, is there? Oh, we're getting these. Yeah, but it needs to get... Oh, oh, it's just, just processing oh, yeah. now. We'll get it to you in a second. Mm. Change the config. I will. Yeah. <laughs> I'm also going to... Uh, just in case anyone was worried, we are going to save the hot dogs. Or the bretzels. We're going to save the bretzels. In, the, in oh, French, yeah. there are no hot dogs, there are only bretzels. Prepare for the attack, prepare the defense. Save the uh, junior classmen. No, we don't need them. No, 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 no. <laughs> Just the bretzels, Just please. The, yeah, yeah. We do get scolded. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I love seeing cuisine in cafeteria and, uh, hand on the head. It's interesting that it didn't cut out the dialogue. I hope it actually doesn't make a difference. I don't think it, it doesn't. Yeah. Oh no, we're on any percent. It's fine. Yeah. So it doesn't matter. Oh yeah, that's why I want to do that. Yep. Uh, it's the top one. I keep thinking it's the second one, it's not. So yeah, I hope uh, you enjoyed. We've uh, switched the any percent files back in for this. Uh, there were some really cool cutscenes during this whole section. Uh, at the end of this too, um, the, the the battle between uh, Galbadia Garden and Balam Garden. Um, so yeah, I hope you mm -hmm. hope you enjoyed the cutscenes. Yeah, there's some really, some of the best cutscenes in the game are in this section. Yeah, and as far as the incentive goes, there will be a bit of running around, then some FMVs, the paratroopers fight, the air soldier fight, and then we will need to close the incentive. Mm -hmm. so I guess, what, 10 minutes perhaps still left? Uh, probably more, because there's going to be... Yeah, yeah, there's probably oh, yeah because of the FMVs. Yeah, yeah. yeah, all the FMVs. So maybe 10 or 15 minutes left for the finalized Griever's name. So get your donations in if you want Mataco or Little Dog. Do you mind if I read some donations at this moment? We got T89 back again with $10.89. Says, don't forget the ladder, 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 don't forget the ladder. Going towards Metaco, that's ten dollars and eighty nine cents from Metaco. We've got a hundred dollars from Trumble Trumble Comp, that's what the name is. I can say words. Um says, okay, question for Mr. Bodcap. That's me. Okay, Bodcap. Oh no, I know what this is. Favorite episode. I didn't even need to say anything. Okay. Would you rather have Squall's head and your body? Or Squall's head and Squall's body, but your feet. But my feet. <laughs> yeah, but your feet. I know, it's the most Squall peculiar is, question. Squall is the best looking guy in the room. So it's, I've got to have his, I've got to have his head. And I'll take his body as well. Sounds good to me. <laughs> yeah, and that's not? going towards... So keeping your own feet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's going towards the kill They're Trevor choice for what are you about GTA my feet? 5. <laughs> Uh, we've got another anonymous $100 donation Woo. as well. That says, no mention of old snarf, I notice. Also, shout out to Connor Cordell one time during that Final Fantasy VIII run. And that's going towards the grievous name of Snarf. <laughs> <laughs> so 
So the bid incentive right now, we are at Metaka with $302.33. Lil Dive at $251. That means there is more than a $50 uh, uh, the uh, amount of part bet between those names. Again, we've only got about 10 minutes. Around 10 minutes is what the uh, runners have said. So please, get your donations in. You don't have much time until we have to close off that incentive. We are just under $400 away from $50,000. Can we push? Can we get a 5 or 10 or $20 hype train to try and meet that within the next 10 minutes? Let's I think it. we can. I think we can. I think we definitely need to. I need, I need to get the control back around to me. It's, yeah, we need, we need to keep keep swapping the controllers. We need more chaos, I think, is what yeah, we Yeah, that's uh, what we need. Maybe we should lower the amount that we need to <laughs> swap the controllers. Yeah. So, like... One dollar. No. <laughs> no, no, don't go that extreme. Maybe, like, um, if we can make a push for 50k, we say, like, every... 50 we start every 50. Yeah. So we'll, we'll reduce it now to 50. And we'll start at 650, so it's a round number. Yeah, so okay. Yeah. So it's easy. Yeah. yeah. So, every, so at 650, we'll swap again, and every 50 after Get the donos in. This is one of the coolest FMVs. Uh, yeah. Sure. It's amazing. I mean, it makes no sense, but, yeah, but, it's, but, cool. it, but it's fantastic. <laughs> that never matters. <laughs> it's cool as shit. Cool as hell. Oh, six in. There we go. Oh, but, uh -huh. Right. That's it. It started. It, it, <laughs> yeah. ha it has begun. Let's get 50k. Can we get 50k before the end of the disc? Maybe, maybe. Now that I think about it, like this part is actually gonna make sense because we have <laughs> Tifa and Nandrinoa, so it's fine because she does have strong oh, arms. Oh, she's strong yeah. as hell, yeah. Oh my god. The upper body strength. It all, it yeah, all that pays off. That makes perfect sense. And we're on any, any percent as well, so she's going to yeah, be there for a long there. time. I think it is like 20 minutes she's there for Yeah, a yeah, yeah. Actually, yeah, we've got, we still have plenty of time for donations for the names. But it's not quite 20 minutes, I think. I remember thinking that she's there for quite some time. It's like 10. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, Renoa, sorry, Tifa uh, falls down here. There she um, goes. Gets, I mean, that would be painful. Uh, yeah. And she's holding onto this tiny little ledge made of clearly quite a crumbly <laughs> rock material <laughs> that could just slip at any moment. Um, oh, uh, is that already done, that 650? Yeah, yeah that's done, right. Yeah, yeah. And uh, so yeah, so she's tiny. going to be sitting here, or hanging here, rather, uh, for quite some time. But she's Tifa, so she's, 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 she's strong. She's fine with this. Hey, Bodcap. Oh, hello. Mind if I read a donation for you? <laughs> I don't like I don't like the way this is going, but uh, <laughs> do it. Hit me. Uh, Kubios donates forty dollars. That says question for Mr. Bodcat. Okay. Why is Mario Party significantly superior to Crash Bash? I know who that is, and my answer is no comment. Ah, oh, come on, <laughs> come on, come on. Because it's not. It's worse. Because it's not. Ooh. Okay. And that goes towards the name of Snarf. Surprisingly, Snarf is actually climbing up in the ranks. <laughs> it, went from no it went from nothing to now third place. It's at $140. <laughs> but keep the donations coming in. We do have some more donations to read as well, if you are if you are happy for me yep. to read one more. That's We've good. got Seferic with $5 saying, Final Fantasy VIII is the greatest love story in all of gaming. Zell, Library Girl, and... Hot dogs. Yes. Starts off with Zell longing for hot dogs. With library girls, see, when, when library girls see them, they spend time together in the library, then it all culminates at the end when hot dogs tries to kill Zell by, ch <laughs> by choking him, but library girl is there to save him and they live happily after after the end. <laughs> Does that sound about right? Yeah. Bringing a tear to my eye. Yeah. That goes towards the Metaco name, so five dollars towards Metaco. I'm gonna do a refresh. Metaco is now at three hundred and seven dollars and thirty-three cents. Lil Dive at two hundred and fifty-one dollars. I might as well bring Snarf into the fray things. Snarf said one hundred and forty dollars. Those are the top three. Keep them coming. Okay. No. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> defeated <laughs> by defeated the elevator by boss. The elevator boss. <laughs> Oh yeah, because you go there and then you go there. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's yeah, afterwards yeah. Is, the, is the other option, yeah. So this is what can happen, yeah, with the elevator. <laughs> and now it just goes... Why doesn't it ask no. me on the way back? Like, what? Yeah, but it goes here. 
yeah. Christ. Which is right. Which, uh, yeah, I, I've never understood how, how how they decide when and when not to, <laughs> to ask you to enter the elevator. So yeah, uh, we're about to, well. Yeah, there's another fight coming up for Austin. This is one of I think it's one of the most annoying fights because like you can re you won't you won't die or wipe or anything. It's fine, but you'll just lose loads and loads of time, and there's nothing you can yeah, do these, about it. There's four of these soldiers, paratroopers are going to the fight. Paratroopers, green dudes. Yeah, and uh, they have like demi is one of their spells, slow is another spell, silence, and all of them just have long animations. Yeah, and you can just get so unlucky that all four of them will do this, and your PB just goes to. Ruin. Yeah, my my la my latest run had four. Uh, all four of them did an attack before any of my characters had any ATB. It's just it's just disgusting. Or you can get like an instant of, oh, yeah. of an ATB and it's like it's it's <clears throat> it's a, a real real coin flip. Do you do the kill selfie buffer now? What? Nah. If selfie's first, you can buffer or attack under yourself. Better right. crisis level for um. Oh yeah, that. Well, probably still better to do. See, we got we got Here two. We go. Are we gonna, oh, and slow on Irvin, perfect. Nice, let's yeah. go. Yeah. That was my favorite one. Yeah. There we go. I've seen worse, but not much. Yeah. <laughs> that was only one spell at the end of the day. Like, yeah, yeah. It still wasn't ideal. Yeah. Once again. Uh, like we said, uh, when we got Irvin uh, in the party, he's kind of going to hard carry us for the rest of the run, pretty much. So uh, he has, you know, he, w at the moment we have normal ammo and we have shotgun ammo, and any fight that's against a single enemy, we're using normal ammo, and any fight against multiple enemies, it's an AOE, so it does damage to all of the uh, all of the enemies, and we, we're using that, and it's pretty much able to destroy most things in our path at this point. If this FMV time is right, this, the kid will be mid-air when we leave the screen. Yeah. Let's see it, let's see it, let's see it. There he is. There he is. <laughs> <laughs> second option. Yeah, second option here. Yeah. Okay. There we go. There Easy. we go. Easy game for babies. I don't even need this for a minute, do I? I can't see the... Yeah. That's oh, okay. Oh, I think okay. we're... Uh, oh, no, no, not quite, not quite. Not yet. Not yet. It's close. Almost. But then there is still a couple of minutes left, so if somebody wants to snipe it, get Aha. ready, I guess. Ah. Uh, I think that's okay. four changes. Yeah. Yeah, that's So four. I'll do, I'll do, yeah. That's oh, yeah, four yeah. changes, yes, because yeah, 50s yeah. now. Okay. That's one. Two. You should have changed your control scheme. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'll do it now. Okay. I oh, think no, but I can't, I can't, I'm not in the menu, so I can't. Sorry, that's, there you go. That's four. Off to you. Oh, it's after me. Yeah. We have plenty of time for uh, donations now because yep. we have uh, You lot saw that donation coming yeah. in. I oh, saw yes. you lot looking up at the screen. $200 Woo! just came in from, Pe from Pishy that says, Bodcap, give me your best <laughs> Cave Sif roleplay and another $150 coming up. What does that even mean? <laughs> <laughs> yes, for you, for you. Yeah, you have you the, the cat and put it on your head. Where was the cat picture? <laughs> oh. I don't, I don't even know what he what he does. It's a big thing with a cat in its head. What more do you need? I'll work on it. I'll work on it. Give me a second. <laughs> Are you going looking up cats? Going to get a cat, a cat picture. <laughs> and then you got to do that little t dance he does when he's uh, yeah, 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 telling. Yeah. You, know? need to, uh, you will no, have a not, good day. Your not magic car powers. pictures. Cat pictures. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, you got to do the little boogie shuffle he does when he's getting there we go. There we go, we've got a nice... Yeah, yeah let's put that on your head. Yeah, yeah. Put and then do the little shuffle. Yeah, yeah, okay. How do I... Mm. With the little... Is that the sh shuffle he does? Your hand's in the way, though. Have you played Final Fantasy, sir? Once. <laughs> a long time ago. Bodcap, Bodcap, your hand's in the way. Oh. This is very difficult. <laughs> there we go. It, it's showing multiple images now. <laughs> <laughs> Third time's the charm. That's a charm. Oh, this actually, th th that's a handsome boy. Here that's a nice chunk of a yeah, yeah, yeah. There he is. Yeah. There we go. That? You can see him? Right. Yeah. That'll do. <laughs> For impromptu cosplay, I hope we were going to get that another $150 donation because if we do, that oh, would yeah. make it $50,000. So let's see if uh, that is permissible. Let's see. The squad is giving his speech here. He's revving up the. 
the garden people saying he's 17 years old, unqualified and unable to do this job. <laughs> <laughs> You're probably all going to die. You know, you yeah. know, this kind of thing. Steve, you in the lobby, you'll yeah, probably be you'll first. Be first, yeah, that's it. Um, so yeah, it's a real change of pace. He doesn't want to be the leader, but they, he still gets forced into it and he does give an old motivational speech just to rally the troops. And we do get one of the most interesting mini games coming up. I've, well, yeah, I have a feeling I've, if, if someone donates two dollars, I won't be doing it. But someone, will be doing it. well, there we go. <laughs> and that is fifty thousand dollars raised for Save the Children. Thank you very, very much for all of your generosity, all of your kindness. That was from Pishy. That says I am impressed, but needs more work in it. One more time, the comment was, I am impressed, but needs more work in it. <laughs> Thank you very much for the $150. One more. One more. Yeah. Again, that is and all three. going towards yeah. Save the There's Children. The no, oh, there was a hundred. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Thank you so, so much for the donation. That was incredibly kind of you. Thanks yeah, so thank you very time. much. Well done, everybody. 50K, brilliant. Just in time for the uh, intense music. So, uh... Bring us some more hype. Oh yeah, there we go. Another change. I'm digging this 50, 50 dollars. I think, it, I think, it, I think, I think it, we it. should have been doing this all along. <laughs> we, we could have hit 50k an hour ago. But coming up is the Air Soldier minigame. This is also another troll voice. I've actually done this voice. I think it was early in my days of figuring out the game and routing. I died to this in a PB attempt. And I said never again. So I, I, fought I died to this in my last marathon run. <laughs> so I mean, here we go. So I died to it, and I was like, I'm not letting that happen again. So I fought this guy like 500 times, and like did data on holding one button, holding two buttons, holding this button, that button. And there is kind of an, there is a strat now that we can use. But it doesn't always work. It doesn't always work for me. So, sometimes around? this guy is just incredibly yeah. aggressive, and there's like, it happens. So it's having a bad you're given day. three buttons. You've got block, punch, and kick. And the strat we use is hold, block, and kick until he blocks with you, and then you hold, punch from yeah. there, and block and punch. And Squall will just alternate between blocking and punching. And uh, it should technically. Uh, yeah. So yeah, as now we're in this like we're in a cycle with him where he'll block now after this attack again, and we will just punch him when he comes out, and we just repeat this until the end, and it should be fine. Yeah, it's like a weird little loop that they get into somehow. They get confused, and uh, they're probably it's programmed to be very likely for them to flinch, uh, to, for them to change block again? just after a flinch. What? Well, did it change again? Or am I? Oh, it did, yeah. It did. Twice, oh, it's, it? yeah. I think it's me. Yeah. It's just like what? Two minutes left for the incentive. Was, it, was there another one? So there was two. Is it? No, no, it was over hundred. No, okay, it's you. It's you. Okay, it's, it's you. It's you. Yeah. How long did you say left? We got for the incentive? Like two minutes at most. Oh, two minutes. Even, I think yeah, actually like a minute and a half for Griever. Okay, everyone, last minute push. If you want to see the name uh, difference for like Metaco or Lil Diver stuff, you've got about a minute left. Get those uh, donations in. We'll read your donations after that minute and the choice has been made. Come on. Oh, he's not quite dead. Kick him. I'm going to kick. Yeah. Kick him. Boom. There, there he go. goes. Down he goes. I was quite close, actually. Yeah, it was actually. I guess we were swapping controller in the middle. Oh, we've got two more. Four, yeah. I need to do one input. Yeah. Actually, this is a fake input. I've got to wait. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't input. Yeah, it doesn't actually do anything. But I will go. Uh, so she says here, very importantly, quickly run to the left. Yeah. Okay, so let's do that. Be very conscious of. <laughs> 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 Be very conscious of what's actually happening in the background here. You'll see a, a, a pretty brutal maneuver happening with this guy on the motorbike you're about to see here. Here we go. Three, close line, close two, line. one, Boom. bang. He gets, that has got to hurt. He gets done. Yeah, it's got to hurt. One input. Yep. It went up again, didn't it? It did go up again. Did it? Okay, how much by? Uh, I think just once. Okay. Yeah, I think that's it. Yeah, we're over the 50. So next one at 300. That was a quick two. So I think, yeah. I think we were... Uh, now it's time. Yeah, I think, I think, I think this is it for the, for the yep. Cuba incentive. No problem. I'm going to do my very last refresh. And the winner of Griever's name is Metaco at three hundred and fifty-seven dollars and thirty-three cents. Thank you all so so much for your incredible donations. We raised about 
Well over like $700 for that as well. I'll get an exact yes. number for you very soon. Thank you very, very much. Let's get Mataka in. Well done, everybody. It's amazing. That's raised as much as um, <laughs> the blind yeah. extra menu as well. <laughs> it's great. Worth it, honestly. Yeah. There he is. Boom. And we can go for the donations now, perhaps. Yeah, we've got time. We're just going to be running around. We're going to do a quick party swap, and then we're going to be navigating around this garden for a few minutes, getting key cards. So yep. Okay. You've got it right. We've got Enk with fifty dollars saying, "Fleet impossible, not for these guys." <laughs> GL on the FF8 run, and we got to Drago with with eighty dollars saying, "Well." I was going to get it towards 50k, but heard it was reached as I was just typing this good cause and all that. So let's start with 60k then. I like that idea. So next goal, 60k. That actually goes towards Crash Mutant over Mind Any Percent, the two players per controller. We do have a few more donations Almost. coming through. <laughs> Let, I'll wait for that to come through on my end and yeah. I'll read them out when they come Anyways. through. Yeah, we're just $2 short of a uh, oh, swap. Yeah. <laughs> I might at least get to the uh, party switch. Maybe. Yeah. Oh, okay, that's what's going on. <laughs> I will need to do a little menu here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, a quick menu for the old config. So, yeah, now we're back to the garden we were in disc one, which is... And Idea and Cypher are somewhere, but we can't get access to the room until we find some key cards and do a little... Maze. This is, casually, this is actually pretty difficult. Yeah. Just because it's, everything looks exactly the same. It's just a bit of a nightmare. I think we're switching back at the end of this too. Yeah, I think so, yeah. Yeah, I haven't been keeping track at all about where we were planning to swap. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Neither. There's we're no fine. way, yeah. Mm. Oh, shit, there is a very, very difficult skip coming up though. Um, um, oh, God, I... the controller, he'll be okay, but I, I'm not sure. I don't, I don't I'd, be fairly, uh, yeah. I'd be fairly not confident. What's the, yeah. I would, yeah, I'd be fairly unsure that I could actually pull it off. But look yeah, I'm sure I'm glad it's not me who's going to do it. Uh, yeah. but... I was specifically practicing this actually earlier on, so. Uh, oh, that's a good thing. Yeah, I, I, I'd actually forgotten. I, I was kind of blocked out that this was. This was uh, I was going to need to do this, or someone would need to do this. I'm not sure. Does the RNG matter? The RNG is probably changed now because we've been swapping for yeah. the CSR. So uh, it might it might not actually work in the way that I normally do it. I'll have to Look. yellow it. I'll have to yellow it. I'll have to yellow it. Was it a backup? Yeah, there's a backup. I haven't practiced the backup. Oh no. Yeah. Look, we can always load a save. Yeah, we'll be. F we... Yeah, we'll, we'll we'll work around it, but just you know, be aware. This might not necessarily go as a. Uh, as planned, yeah. As planned. We'll see. So yeah, for anyone, sorry, not in the loop or is not familiar with the FF8 run, there's a very difficult skip coming up called the server skip. Um, I mean, he's a, yeah. It's, yeah, it's, it's like... You, you'll be able to see why it's so difficult when, when we do it, because yeah, yeah. he's he takes up a lot of room. you got to, you, you know, getting past him is not... <clears throat> uh, so we just count the tail swings that he does. Yeah. And the problem is that we got to do it twice. So here we go. we got to do it once there, once one, back. See? Uh, First one. So here we go, once again. One swing. Two. Two. That was, I think it's okay. That was three again. Yeah. Oh, sorry. I'm, I'm worried. Oh, you're going to have to do the way back. <sighs> oh, man. It was two swings, right? It was two and a half. Two and a half, kind of. Oh, okay. I'll, um... Well, I better change the button count again in case... The, yeah, the yeah, 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 yeah. It's annoying that you got to do that every time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got to go back to the thing. Um, I... Okay, I'll try. I'll try. And then one is kind of tough on the way back. Let's yeah, see. Yeah, this one is very difficult. Oh, oh, oh. <gasps> Oh. And then left twice. And okay. Yeah. Let's see. I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, no, you three. You three. Yeah, but we don't have to forget to get the drop. We get mega potions. Off. Oh yeah. I always, I always forget that. That's the uh, multiple layers to this skip. That was a bit scary because we just swapped controller right before. Yeah, I know. If you'd forgotten to do that config menu, we'd. But there's no way I would. We'd be over. This would be over. This run would be done. Done. 
Right, so we'll, we'll know if the, if the minute worked when we... Uh, we'll do a save. Oh, yeah. save. Yeah. We'll know if the minute worked if we, um, get, if we get eight mega, yeah. eight mega potions, so we can hold on the round of applause until then. Yeah. <laughs> do a safe save here. This boss is not really that scary, but if um, Irvine crits, he's got a 50% HP trigger where he does these limit breaks. So if Irvine crits on the first attack, there's a high chance that he just starts using his limit break every single turn. And it's not only a big time loss because he's got a big text thing he does, and the camera swoops around, but it takes ages and it just kills Squall in one hit. So, <clears throat> hopefully it should be good. So, and hopefully we get the Mega Potion drop, so let's see what happens. Right. Let's see it. So you notice Cypher's clothes are getting slightly more ragged and dirty as a... It's a nice little touch, isn't it? It is, like... it's good. Alright, clean. Okay, well, let's see. Let's see, pay attention. Will we get eight Mega Potions? Well, yeah, there we go. Come on, alright. There's detailed notes how to do that in the uh, FF8 Discord server if you want to join. Here it I think they took them off because they were too high level. Oh, No one was able to do it. Like, I mean, I, I'm surprised that worked. I, so. did, I, I did not think that would work. Nah, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> Saving. Sheesh. <laughs> I mean, we did just save, so it Yeah, yeah, we're just fine. Now that we know the manip would work again. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is one of the worst screens in the game, this one. Oh, this, I, I actually I hate it. it. I hate it so much. I was trying to make some consistent way of doing it. It just doesn't make sense at all. No. Like, just... I think cause once you've gotten off the stairs and kind of have your bearings, it's it's fine. Yeah. But like all of this area, for example, this here, one is awful as well. If anyone here thinks, what button do you think I should press to walk up to the altar? You'd think I'd press up. No, <laughs> <laughs> it's completely right for some reason. Uh, it's a bit bonkers. This is a uh, idea does a Batman entry. <laughs> it's the closest thing I've seen. Got to make an entrance. No point being a villain if you're not gonna. Which Batman came down to the ceiling? Was it George Clooney? I'm not. I'm not that clued up. I can't remember. T89 would know. Or Batman was. Oh yeah, he would. So there's another interesting encounter. It's. It's. I don't really think there's much risk of dying at this boss either. But there's a potential chance to lose a load of time. So we got to fight Cypher again. He's a bit tougher than he was last time. He's actually got more vitality stat. Yep. Um, but I'm going to YOLO the, the one attack first and see. Yeah, that's my chance. That's fine. Yep. Easy game. Yep. So Sorry. now we are hoping that we get f six. six. Yeah. six. Yeah, we need six. Nice. Uh, we got a crit. <laughs> it's okay. That was a bit monkey there. So that's very similar to the Norg fight we had earlier on. Yeah, you need to be able to do six uh, hits on that. Sometimes you'll get a low crisis level and you only have time to do five. Mm -hmm. If any of them crit, then that counts as two. So uh, yeah, uh, we're quite lucky that that final hit actually uh, we hit the crit on that. So I think we just need the save at the end of the disc. Yeah, so we do want to do the same yeah. thing yeah. as last time. Okay. Yeah. So we're going to swap back now to cutscene remover. Got it. Uh, yeah, you can get ready. I'm just smashing. And then, uh, if everything goes according to plan, we'll switch back to any person for the final yeah, for the half an hour or so. Half yeah. So I think we're doing pretty good on time. There. We, yeah, we have like we had fine. planned that it was going to be. About five hours forty plus the incentives, which are both now met, so it should be close to six hours, yeah. uh, which hopefully will help get the schedule a bit closer back to normal. Also, so. why am I mashing? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I was just here. Oh well, yeah. I suppose I couldn't use turbo. Well, I could. Yeah, it's just force of habit, holding a DS2 and mashing. Oh, it's... oh, there you go. Turbo does not work. Well, that's interesting. I thought it would. Yeah, because it's, oh, it's, it's, it's hitting keyboard. X, it's yeah, not yeah, in. Yeah. Oh, so. oh, hang on, you want to stop it now, before you save? Oh, I can turbo to save. I'm going to save first, like.
Oh yeah. It's interesting that the uh, save thing is a uh, files, and if everything worked out fine, we're good to go. Yeah, yeah. Are we swapping controller now, or? I mean, not yet. Are we going to the? We're just going no. to stick with the thing, is it? Because I think we had in the notes that we were going to swap now, but I guess it's fine. We just swap every fifty, so. Yeah. Perfect. So another skip coming up here is um, the Sid skip. Uh, this one is actually uh, way more. Um, uh, Just precise. Yeah, this one is actually and it Very does, This one saves a lot more time than any of the ones we previously kind of <laughs> yeah, had. Skips. Yeah, skips. Yeah, this is more than two seconds. Um, it's kind of a YOLO one on PC, so, and I haven't used the DS2 in a while. But... Yes. Uh, there we go. <laughs> So what happens normally in that room is you sort of walk towards that little opening that Waze went through and Sid will appear and then you have to talk to him, get through some dialogue before he gets out of the way and allows you to exit. There is a, a specific trigger line mm -hmm. across which you have to walk in order for him to actually trigger coming out of that door. Um, and there is a very, very slight gap between the end of that trigger line and the wall that you're sort of skirting around um, to go around the corner. Mm -hmm. uh, and so there's a pretty precise bit of movement to actually get through in that very tiny little gap so that it doesn't trigger Sid to actually come and talk to you. Uh, on PSX, it's much easier because of the 360 movement. It's, it's much easier to actually navigate your way through that gap on I PC. I'm not sure is it more to do, because they can walk. I mean, they do the walking they thing. It's not actually do with analog. Uh, yeah, but you do use the analog stick, I think, don't you? No. Have I just misunderstood this? Yeah. You just hold walk skip. and then you like you walk up. But you can walk in this. What's the, what's the problem? I think it's the loading time, the transition. Oh and yeah, that more makes time sense. to react to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. just don't have enough time to do the, the loading screen is too quick. So it's the Renault skip that needs the analog. Uh, so a lot of stuff has gone on there because we're back on cutscene remover. Uh, everything just kind of is moving pretty quick here, and we're back to Laguna Dream. Um, that's right, isn't it? Yeah, and as we go back to sleep, I guess it's time for one quick message. Like, we have a bit of time for yeah. the minigame. Mm -hmm. Lovely. We've got $50 from Rob Draven that says, Played this game a lot as a kid when only one question came to mind. Couldn't Ultimacia leave well enough alone? E L L O N E. Well alone. You know. uh, yeah. 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 Um, I understand. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much for the fifty dollar donation, and we again we are climbing up to that fifty one thousand dollar goal now. So let's get some more donations in. We do have a few incentives coming up for the Ghostwire Tokyo language choice. Currently in the lead, fifty dollars for German, French, Japanese, and Portuguese. And Portuguese need some love, and also. Mary Kate and Ashley Sweet 16 license to drive Woo. is currently at $360 out of the $1,500 need to be met. Let's get some push towards Mary Kate and Ashley. We, we all know and love that game and that series and those people. Oh boy. What is this? <laughs> it didn't do anything it for did the entire fight. <laughs> we didn't even get a chance to explain that this mini game can actually lose you loads of time. <laughs> yeah, either, and they yeah. just did it perfectly. Stood there and did nothing for the whole. Um, I've never seen that in my yeah. life. So he, yeah. So Ruby Dragon in that mini game does a lot of like fast attacks where uh, there's nothing you can do about it, and it depletes like a third of your HP. It just decided to do nothing. It just, it was just AFK. I don't think I've ever seen it do literally nothing. It didn't even, it didn't even do one that you could block. Yeah, it didn't even try to attack. Yeah. Nothing at all. Mental. Well, now we get to fight it for real. Yes. An action fight, and we get the. Yeah, the we get some music. more, some more jams. Bum, 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 bum. Almost perfect. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah, did, pretty did Laguna crit, I think. That's what Yeah, I think that's yeah. what happened there. So yeah, another one where we can just utilize Kiros's uh, limit break, but obviously we are very, very strong at this point. Yeah. So we can easily dispatch with the Ruby Dragon. And there's normally text after that, which we skip yeah. entirely as well. And then now we go back to the orphanage. Oh uh, no, no, we go to the seed ship, is it? Uh, it's one. Uh, ooh, it's one of the two, isn't it? Uh, it's always hard to know. I, no, you need again? to go to the ship to get there alone. <laughs> oh, you, you, no, you, you have to go to the, yeah, go to the ship. I don't know which ones of us are memeing it. 
we can perform the T89 letter skip, but uh, we haven't found a working strategy for it yet, so we're actually going to get the letter yeah. from Adia. Uh, what do we do that for? Matter. Don't matter. Uh, so yes, instead of going straight to the ship, you actually need to get a letter first that uh, allows you access to the ship. Like well, you, you can get on the ship without the letter, but then they oh, yeah. say, go away, basically. <laughs> uh, so you have to talk to a day she gives you a little letter to say these people are who they say they are. Um, and then we'll finally end up on the White Sea ship. Yeah, and Thomas 89 is a, a pioneer of the letter skip strat. He really does try to avoid getting it at any possible point. He's a pioneer of many strats, to be fair. Three fins strats. Three, fin, yeah. three fins. <laughs> Classic. I'm glad they donated to remind you as well. Like in, it was all <laughs> it was literally all capital letters, by the way. It sounded like all caps from the way you read it out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so this is actually another really awkward part, casually to find out where this ship is. But obviously, since we don't, we know exactly where it is. And I do this strat. We call it the soft bunk. And we bunk into that and yeah. do that. It sort of turns you around quite nicely. Yeah, it's brilliant. Soft was the worst person I've seen do that. It's a really nifty little strat. Uh, so yeah, here's the ship. It's like hidden in the alcove. It is actually genuinely really annoying to find it. It's really hard yeah, to yeah, find. Actually, yeah. Unless you know where it is. Like everything. This dude. And then, yeah, you can normally talk this much to him. Then he won't respond to you anymore until you get the letter. So now we go over talk to him again. <coughs> that is that. Yep. He tells us that Alone has already gone to Alone has already gone to Esther. She's got picked up by an Astarian ship and is headed over there. And we want we want her help with Renoa, because Renoa is now in a coma. So we're going to bring Renoa to Esther. We don't know where Esther is. Squall just says direction Esther. Yeah. And that's it. <laughs> We've never been there, don't know where it is, but let's go there, please. Doesn't bring any food, doesn't bring any water, just picks up Renault and walks. Mm -hmm. Zoom in here. So yeah, you can see, like even with cutscene remover, this is a bit of a downtime period of the run too. But we are back straight into action very shortly. And just a reminder, for two dollars, swap controller again. <laughs> <laughs> All it takes. All it takes. For 102, you can skip bot cap. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. The bot cap skips 100 euros. So, yeah, there's normally a load of conversation here where Squall starts to proclaim his love for Renoa. Oh, there we go. It's that easy. <laughs> Based on personal experience, I would recommend saving uh, before, oh, yeah, you, before, before you go to the Salt Lakes. Oh, yeah, the world yeah map. sure, of course. Just on the world map, anyway. But I've no got, reason. I put item on um, Ward, so you've got loads of chance. Yeah, oh, yeah. But still. You love the new road. It's only two items. No, I won't. <laughs> <laughs> no, I won't. So here, we actually do uh, an interesting uh, swap. No, it's Chris's. Chris's, what am I doing? Um, we swap. Irvine and Christus, uh, so that now Christus has actually got the really strong junctions. But it's just so that when we do the next upcoming section, we're going to get the XP on Christus rather than on Irvine, just so that we keep Irvine at a lower level. Like we mentioned earlier on, all of the enemies and bosses are plus or minus 20% of your average party level. So by keeping Irvine a little lower, we actually uh, keep the enemies' levels quite lower. It's not a huge consideration, it just... Until he's like two extra levels or something, it's not a big issue. This is one of my favorite tracks in the game as well. And unfortunately, in the sp I mean, this is the only area of the game. It's called the Salt Flats because we are in the Salt Flats, and this is the only time we actually visit uh, this area. So, unfortunately, this is the only time you really hear it in the speedrun, and then it's gone. But mm -hmm. I think it's a really great track. And this is just about where we get the tutorial. To say that if you face an undead monster now, yeah, but the start of disc three, <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, you might want to use some curative or restorative items. Though. Yeah, after already killing one boss using uh, that same strategy. This guy is really fast. Yeah. Um, and if you don't input fairly quickly, it can get really nasty really quickly. Yeah, that's fine. So, yeah, same strategy. We just use one elixir. And jump. He goes down. But yeah, like you, like you saw, he just... His attacks are very, very fast. And they hit fairly hard, so like two of them on one character. I mean, even if he'd done one of them on Squall, that might have been enough to kill. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, it can be a bit scary if you're, uh, yeah, not not doing inputs uh, fast enough. And we've learned Dark Side Combustion is Dark Side, which is uh, that's a move that's ability that's in most Final Fantasies where. You do extra damage, but you also damage yourself. And we'll be using that mostly as a backup strat. It's useful to have some of the bosses later in the game. I love the S13. Yep. Da -da -da. The baseline. A quick little reminder as well to any uh, newer runners running the game. Uh, this section is a uh, pay is where you have to pay very close attention to Squall's HP. Mm -hmm. um, I've seen I've seen it happen before. Oh. Uh, do something actually. Yeah, sure. <laughs> uh, I've seen it happen before where uh, Squall got damaged in the uh, Abaddon fight we just had. Um, he becomes, uh, as we can see now, the Guna in uh, uh, the, the what is now the final um, the Guna Dream. Uh, and so let's say he's on, you know. 50 HP or lower uh, after that fight. Uh, he needs to be potioned before the Laguna Dream because there is now about to be a fight with just Laguna on his own uh, against a simple soldier and just one attack and Laguna could die and that's the end of your run. So uh, yeah, if you go, it's 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 definitely happened before and it's a bit of a tragic one to happen. Oh, Make sure many hours we're in. 14. Oh, yeah. What's um? No, wasn't it? Oh yeah. Reverse <laughs> fourteen. Greer. Uh, Laguna has to deal with the first enemy uh, alone, but then Kiros and Warren come to help him. So just a short menu to junction Kiros, and we can. Uh, go back to fighting enemies, I guess. But Paul Ward, similar to what we did in the Guna Dream 2, we don't really want him here. <laughs> so uh, the uh, first the first fight we uh, come across, we will be killing him off once again. Um, the main point of it this time is just to, at the moment we've got Irvin um, Junction. Uh, is, is uh, Irvin's junctions are the same as uh, Ward's. That so um, uh, by killing off. Board. A, it means that the ATBs are easy, like uh, 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 limited to just Kiros and the Guna, which makes the fights easier to actually fight themselves. But also, we don't want Irvin to get any more experience than uh, he needs to. So, by killing him off, it just ensures he'll still get the AP, um, but he won't get any actual experience because so we, we don't want him uh, leveling up any more than uh, he needs to. So, we want our party as low level as possible. For USB yeah. Uh, and as we move towards the next few fights, we can listen to some donations for sure. Yep. You've got it. Daz Ferro 247 donates twenty dollars, saying, "I can finally contribute." Good luck, Final Fantasy crew. Finally back home, and I'm exhausted after these crazy days, particularly last night. I was a little worried going to the event alone this time, but you made it all so worth it. These three days have been too short for all of the great fun I had. Thank you all so much, and see you in 2023, less than free. And they adhere to the call. They put that $20 towards Mary Kay and Ashley's Sweet 16 license to drive. So it's climbing nice. up. We got T89 back once again with $8.89. They're saying, <laughs> very funny. I hope Irving doesn't die to Griever. <laughs> and that's going towards the kill Michael choice of the 80% of GTA 5. 
Thank you very much for those donations. I think we just had another one come in as well. We did indeed. Zero Kieran with $30. No comments, but going towards Crash. Mind of a mutant, any percent. Two players per controller. Thank you very much for those donations. Back to you guys. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Pharaoh. Uh, the three days definitely have not been enough. I'll see you in winter, I guess. Hopefully. Yep. So those those uh, those two fights we just did uh, are a little bit trickier. Um, I have to make sure we sort of use the right person to kill the right monster. Otherwise, it's a uh, that, that Alastoid in particular can do some crazy stuff. Uh, but these fights are a little bit more straightforward, just attacking some basic soldiers uh, in order to try and rescue Alone from her prison. Yeah, so it's really put into perspective now that the events of, with Laguna are 17 years previous. Yeah. Well, they're a mix and match, not all of them are, but this one is from when Alone was a little child. And now that we've met Alone, we can kind of piece it together. I keep saying Alone, even though I know it's Alone. <laughs> it's still very bad. I say it. I've always said Alone. And I say yeah, I just don't care say Alone. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, I've heard a really controversial one because I'm obviously it's listening to the every FNFF podcast yeah. FF7 at the moment, and Catsit is not called Catsit. Apparently, it's Ketchi. But that's no one calls it that. fine. That's just not how it's spelled. <laughs> <laughs> Ketchi. There we go. Some no, no one likes Ket. No one likes Ketchi. I know one person that does. Mr. Muskie. So. Wrong character. Bad character. Does nothing for the whole run, just the whole <laughs> party. Like. Literally spies on them and says, Yes, I'm spying on you, but there's nothing you can do about it. Awful character. <laughs> Sorry, Mutsuki. So, that skipped us, skipped the sequence, skipped all the intro to Esther, so we're now in Esther. Yep. Um, we have dropped Rinoa off to Dr. Odin, who is the guy with the interesting collar. And we are getting quite close to the S-Star menu. It is almost hyper clock. So we will be pausing the uh, the unwritten incentive of $50 swap controller, as Alton will be performing the S-Star menu blindfolded, because we've met that incentive already. Yeah, I'm pretty excited about that. Yeah, it's going to be good. I am not. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I've put multiple hours into practicing that, so I guess it's good I get to file that on stream <coughs> now, the stage. Mm. Uh, Story-wise, we are sending uh, Tifa into space, because they're supposed to cure their hair there somehow. I don't, yeah. I'm not sure why, well, they why but... They haven't told us yet it's space. Okay. They just said, go, Spoilers, to, this, then. Yeah, go to this area and you'll, it'll all be fine. I think all they've told us is we're going to bring you to alone. Yes, that was and they just haven't oh, told us okay. where she is. Just, you want and it happens to be that just uh, before that's where she is. It's, uh, sort of an unreleased demo of Gran Turismo. Um, <laughs> it's a little bit sketchy. Yeah, a little bit sketchy. Uh, so we're making a, <coughs> our way to this. Thing that interesting looking yeah <laughs> believe it or not is a some sort of space uh, space center mm -hmm. those those weird things that were jutting out from that building are are you know going to fire people into space very interesting device There is a soft lock here, but I think it is PSX only. I think so too. I've I think it requires a lot of movement, yeah, but I think like if you move into your spot <coughs> for the field in the call basically moves into his position, you just soft lock, if I'm not mistaken. So you enter over here and it's this this moment the uh 
the scientist says, and so that's what it, that's what it means to go to space. And you're like, you've got an option to going what space? <laughs> yeah. or, uh, you haven't mentioned that before. Or whatever it takes. So we uh, choose second option toys here, and then we pick Quistus to go with us to space for a few reasons. We want Irvine to be out of the party so that his HP uh, doesn't change. I think is that it? I can't remember. Um, yeah, because he's, he's currently at 1 HP because he was warred yeah. previously and he was incapacitated. And when he got resurrected, he's at 1 HP. And we are going to give him one potion in the SR menu, which will put him at 201, which is perfectly safe to tank one hit from the upcoming boss. And it keeps him as low as possible to get a better crisis level. And then Selfie, we want to bring with us to Esther so that we can also <laughs> kill her so that she's dead for the bosses coming up so that um, we get a higher crisis level by having one dead party member. And on that, we have, if there's anything to be read or said, uh, this is probably the last chance before the blindfold SR incentive. Sounds like a plan. We've got eight dollars and eighty-eight cents from Amart. That hey. says, "Good luck to Waves, Bodcap, and Olsen." Uh, but you didn't do the Irish jig. I know. Whatever. We did, Whatever. We did a quarter of it. What more do you want from Whatever. us? Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much for the donation. And back to you guys. Good luck on the blindfold uh, segment of this run. Thank you very much. Thanks, Nico. Thank you. And cheers, Amart. The hell? Oh. Selfie. Yeah. Oh. I uh, haven't. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not going to no. do. Oh. Is that not right? That wasn't. Spoil or selfie. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't matter. I'm going to load the save anyway. But... Uh, yeah. I'll do it anyway. It was, I did that, right? Yeah. 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 That's it. You could have magically got an encounter here. Yep. That's what would have happened. I haven't done the uh, config, which is why I'm a bit confused. Uh, I'd probably just leave it. Now. I'm going to leave it, that's why. Well, I think when we load the save, it'll be fine anyway. That's true. <coughs> that's so, so Alton is, is currently preparing. There will be a blindfold. <laughs> So for anyone who doesn't know, if you've seen a Final Fantasy VIII run in the past, you'll probably know what you're saving. Yep. Well, I guess there is no hope I would just... Yeah, I would just save it. Um, this is by far, it's like the party piece, as no other run. People love watching this. It's a five minute segment where we've just got five minutes to waste, so we get all of the menuing we can do done in this five minutes. Uh, we get some shopping done and a junction up all the party for the rest of the game. Um, we also going to do two encounters so that we can learn two, three abilities. We want Ammo Refine. Uh, we want to set that learning, sorry. We want to learn Stats of Magic are fine, and we also want to learn Initiative. Uh, so we're going to learn all those within this section. And it's an impressive menu with your eyes open. Yes. Um, <laughs> yeah, being blindfolded is another matter. Say we're missing, actually. So we'll paste it again in a minute. Is it? It's gone. What's it? I don't keep going, you... you. I think it actually was. Uh, I'll wait till you're talking. Okay. It's there again. Okay. Oh, it's because you saved. It's cloud saved. So it's oh, right. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, it should be fine now. Is the subcount fine? Uh, uh, we've, we've, we've got. We can just use this. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. We just... I think it is. I can it, actually but... press go now. Oh no, we're going to load no, no, the save. Let's, let's yeah, it doesn't matter. Um. So yeah, I think we. So from this point, just for the marathon safety of doing this. We're going to just soft reset, um, which will retain everything, and then we're going to just load a save, just so that some of the items are in the exact same thing. So. There it is. Yep. Perfect. And and just click one button here and hand it over to us. Perfect. Just going to check if the save is correct. Should be fine, I guess. Yeah, and check that cancel is cancel. Yeah, it is. Perfect. Good luck. Yeah, please do that. Okay, good luck.
Go back a screen. Yeah, I know, <laughs> yeah, 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 I know, I know, I know. Put him back, I think? That's it, yeah. Here we go. Yeah. I just like run a bit too far before yeah, yeah. the encounter. Ah, uh, before the menu. How was it always said? I was just about to say. <laughs> you can only tell which character it is by um, by the sound effect it makes when they hit him, and Selfie's the only one who cannot kill someone here. The issue is ATB is around them at the start, so I cannot tell who is who. And it's quite important that we draw haste from this uh, this boss in this fight. Nice fight. Somehow. Mm -hmm. Monk is dear. <laughs> oh, okay, that makes sense. Why can I not count to five? Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> I think I messed up in there, but it's whatever.
What did I do wrong? <laughs> also, 13.45 is bad. I could do like 14.15. It was like 30 seconds to slow. I think it was fine, I mate. Think it was I, fine. <laughs> I think it was absolutely fine, mate. I can do it much faster, so. Well done. It's, every time I say it's like, uh, I just don't really know why, like how that's possible. I don't it's a I, lot of I don't, I, it's, just, it's just so much stuff to remember, like exact amounts of like inputs and stuff. It's insane. The only thing I think is like, Make elixir isn't at the top of the. Oh yeah, that's, 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 that's it. That's fine. Are the spells fine? Yeah. Yeah. Everything yeah, else is perfect. Make elixir at the top. Absolutely the perfect. Job done. But yeah, like it is difficult to do this within five minutes, even when, like when you can see what you're doing actually. So mm. doing it in six and a bit is nice, I think. Uh, just this, right? That switch. Switch. Yeah, switch. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Put make elixir at top. Yeah. Uh, that's not cool. That's cool. Oh, I was one off basically. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. It's on the second day. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Now I can best do it. Sweet. I guess we can go back to the $50 thingy. Yeah, oh. <laughs> yeah we can now. <laughs> yeah. I enjoy playing the game for, for once, so I guess we can keep it like that. Yeah, I hope everyone enjoyed that, because that, that was amazing. pretty spectacular. Like the thing is, there is a lot of things in the menu that you can do that, that actually kill the run. So I'm glad I didn't do that. No. <laughs> yeah, if you delete your triples, delete encounter none, delete yeah. initiative. There's a load of things you could do, and all that was well avoided, just to make a mistake on a tiny item arrangement optimization. That was it. It's incredible. I guess now we have the time to like explain what we even do in the menu. That's yeah. a good point, actually. I was actually like thinking in the middle of that is if I start talking now, you'll just lose track of what. Yeah, yeah, it's <laughs> definitely, <laughs> def definitely not. Yeah. Uh, just quickly, there's a little space skip here. Uh, you can, this is actually a skip that you could do casually. Normally, you have to wait until everyone falls, the gravity comes back on, you go to the ground, then you go pick up Renoa and then leave the door. But if you just hold right, you actually just leave. And, you, and you've already Renoa's got Renoa. Right. Yeah. Uh, so that's a small skip there. We're just going to do some running around here at space, um, meet LNA, and then go figure out that the lunar cry is about to occur. So, still think. so in the menu there, um, we bought some scrolls in the shop to teach. Uh, some abilities, HPJ and Strength J. Strength so, junctions, yeah. Yeah, to the some of the abilities. So everyone now is junctioned just enough that they can do 100 damage to the final boss if they need to. Apart from Quistus. Yeah, mm -hmm. we're just going to avoid her. Yeah. Anyway. Um, so that's like the main thing that we needed to do. Uh, just so that when you're in the final phase, you just have to hit the boss five times and it has to do over 100 damage, so we can all do that. Uh, a lot of the item, or the magic arrangement that was done is another like optional uh, ad optimization that you can do. The final boss and all the phases of it can like just draw your spells from you and use them on you or they can just blow them away entirely so you just have no spell. So we put the important spells in specific locations where they won't be blown away uh, because there is actually a script that it uses a bit of logic to find out which ones it wants to blow away. And besides that... I think that was kind of it. That's the majority of it. They just were set for in-game. Like. Pretty much, yeah. Yeah, making sure everyone's junctioned, everyone's got enough strength. Um, yeah, that's 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 most of most of what we're doing. But it's just it takes a lot of uh, a lot of inputs to, to actually yeah, get all of that like set up and ready. But you know, the benefit of it being such a long menu and us having so much time to actually get everything done is that there's very very little menuing and very very little we have to do to set up now from here until the yeah. very end of the game. Like we've done pretty much everything we need to do. Uh, we're as strong as we're going to be. Um, yeah, we're in-game ready. Yeah. And also, like part of that menu is not even strictly necessary. It just saves like a couple seconds here and there, and we do it because we have time for it, basically. Yeah. yeah. So like, might as well go for it. Why not? For example, the item rearrangement. It's mostly convenience. Yeah. Even the amnesia greens, besides yeah. three of them, is pretty optional as well. It saves a few inputs later. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's essentially just for a similar reason that we uh, don't uh, teach GFs. Um, we, we, we make GFs stop learning abilities once they've learned all the abilities they need to. We're like, uh, is the reason for that is we don't want the pop-ups to come up at the end of battles. We're um, like removing abilities from GFs because we know that they will learn them in the future if we leave them there. So we get rid of them for that. And there's also like one menu where it just removes a bunch of abilities that we've learned that we did need in the past and we no longer need anymore. That means that the one that we do need is going to be at the top of the list. So it just saves like four down inputs or something. So it's all very like minor optimizations, but you have time for it. I can't do this room properly. There's no way for me to do it. I'm going to go ahead and say this is the worst room in the game. Yeah, it's up there. 
It's up there for sure. It's also very skewed, uh, like the way you need to control the room. Yeah. Movement just makes no sense. So here's another thing. You're supposed to casually chase Renoa out into space here. Um, and then the door closes behind you because it's too late. And then you need to come back. But you can just wait here by the entrance until a certain text box appears. And then you can just come back in. I like the fact that we have to wait around on this one though, because I think this is pretty, pretty cool track. That's good. Yeah. Fine. This is the bomb bomb song. The bomb 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 bomb. Yeah. Shout out to bomb bomb, the FF9 PSX world record holder. That song's for you. So that's actually the president of Estar there that just got dragged away because he was. What could be? Who could it be? Yeah. I wonder. And they also wanted to uh, rescue Lone. Lone. He thought she was still upstairs. So there's one more potential soft lock spot. Well, there's actually a, uh, there's two or three coming, but there's, this one is immediate. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah. um, as we're entering the escape pod here, because the space station is about to be caught up in the whole lunar tier of the lunar cry. Lunar cry. cry. Oh yeah, this is something we haven't mentioned. There are monsters coming from the moon. Yeah, and yeah. they're they're. A big monster pimple burst, and it's now firing down towards uh, Earth. What's the, <coughs> what's the planet called in this game? I don't think they give it a name. Just it's I called Earth. Called Gaia. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, we walk on the screen because you can actually enter that place where Elone is standing right now, before her. And if you do, you're just trapped there. She's constantly trying to get in, and you're in her way, but you can't get out because she's trying to get in. So <coughs> it's uh. So we're actually skipping. Loads of stuff there. Yeah. It's, it's actually amazing. Like 10 minutes of Renoir floating in space after yeah. I mean. Or maybe, literally 10 yeah. minutes. Yeah. So now, here we are. We're just catching Renoir. Jan will be screaming at her uh, PC at home saying, don't catch don't, her. Don't save her. Don't save Should her. Should I not save her? her? I mean, we have time. I think. <laughs> we, we probably could have time just to not save her I, if you want. I, I... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, no, we need to leave some time for Omega weapons. That's true. Let's just do it. We're just five dollars away from another controller swap. And yeah, if you want what cup of final final be able to play the game again. And it'd be it, we should've been a while. We should have planned this to give you this bit for space and then just take it. Just take it, just take it. I don't know oh, the pity swap. <laughs> <laughs> Putting that a bit more central. You've got to make sure so in, in the cutscene remover um uh, category if you're if you're actually running it and trying to you know go doing it all in one go with the full uh, remover this is the longest break break in quotes of the game because once you've got her in the center of your screen you've got until the timer runs out basically for uh, not long to, enough. to and not have to do it um <laughs> you might want to go for a toilet break yeah uh, if 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 that's you know what you need to do um yeah yeah definitely and that always works yeah that always works 100 yeah. percent. definitely she definitely, definitely doesn't just like fly just, just fast this side, just yeah. here definitely never happened here. no that's i mean no not on pv base <laughs> should i do save after the fourth yeah well what i was doing is um save after the fifth so just open the door after the green one we have 100 auras and we will have magic anyway oh yeah that's true that we don't need that at all <laughs> Oh yeah, you'll have magic going into the final boss in you. That is a very good point. Oh yes. Means we definitely do the end on the final boss as well. Or everyone. <laughs> or let's go all pop off. <laughs> everyone, yeah. So here's okay. another um, kind of interesting puzzle where you just have to kill these things in pairs. Um, it's fairly easy, but there's also a pity. But there is, there is a pity skip that we don't we don't we utilize don't this, this time. Thing. Yeah. I think if you kill. Any, 25 25 of them in any order they all just die yeah he goes okay we realize you haven't figured out what you're meant to do here <laughs> but luckily we are um able to dispatch them in one one hit mm -hmm. these guys are uh, uh, very 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 fast as well they have one of the highest speed stats of any of the monsters in the game and uh the problem that that can cause is that right now 
we are on 0% um, battle speed. We have initiative on Squall, so he always has his turn straight away. Um, and even still, so sometimes dead. they can get a turn in before Squall does. It's crazy. Because their speed stat is just so ridiculous. <clears throat> Something we haven't actually mentioned as well as about the FFA community. There is a rando. There's a randomizer for the for the game. Yep, Sleepy uh, Bunny. Sleepy Bunny. Shout out to Sleepy. Um, and this section, because if you notice, every single one of the propagators has the boss team going. They all count as bosses. So this in the randomizer is just a complete may <laughs> mayhem. <laughs> yeah. Mayhem of a boss. Yeah, that's right. So kill both the purples, and then we're doing the greens. But the really interesting ones, I mean, it's not as much of a problem for us yeah. because, you know, uh, we've... Uh, but this is uh, for, the, for the relay safety security. Yes. Actually, if you just hold down and open the door, don't go in the door. You know what I mean? I'll show you what I mean. Don't make sense. Go down? No, you didn't do it. Oh, what you mean now? <laughs> yeah, no, it's grand. Oh, right. If you open Why? that door, because yeah. then you don't have to save after the first raid because you can, oh, always, yeah, you can yeah, go yeah, back yeah. up okay, this okay. way. You can right, go up that stairs again. Yeah, 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 yeah. But right now you can't go up the stairs so you didn't open the door. But I, won't, I won't bother saving. We yeah, no, we fine. I was just trying to but yeah. show you for the relay. Yeah, but in a in a in a normal uh, any percent run, um, yeah, the red ones are the most important ones because they have a I think seventy ish percent high, yeah. drop. I think it's it um, chance to drop an aura stone, uh, and we we don't need, but we almost need yeah. uh, to get an aura stone for the final uh, the final boss. Yeah. Uh, it's a really, really important item. Uh, and there are two of these, so we've got two 70% chances. Uh, so hopefully they should drop here. But it, Yeah, so we should get a drop, but if we don't, then we do have a backup. Let's just see. Don't forget our stone. Oh, nope. Ultima Stone. Ah, oh, there we go. So not even at all. Is this the RNG that you're convinced if I do one refresh at the start of the next one? Uh, I tried it lately and it didn't work for me. <laughs> okay. And who knows? Sure, do it. No, you should keep running down. Sorry. Over to the end. Ah, oh, okay. Uh, as we are dealing with propagators, it is definitely a good time for some yeah, to do Yeah, go for it. Go for it. Absolutely. I want to talk about the charity that we are raising money towards, which is Save the Children. They are actively doing a lot of work in Ukraine and in other conflict zones around the world. Um, they work to provide mental health support for terrified children and their families, support mothers with baby feeding and pregnant mothers with baby arrival kits. They set up child-friendly spaces where children can play and recover from traumatic experiences that they have been through. They also help to establish safe passages to get food, other supplies in the most affected areas and to provide child protection services to ensure children and their families remain together and that separated children are reunited safely with their caregivers. This is a very important charity. They do so much good all over the world. Any amount that you guys give goes towards a fantastic cause. $1, $5, $10, $100, $1,000. We've already raised $50,000 already this event. That is an incredible amount of money raised. All of your money can do so much good to a many. If you have anything to give, please, exclamation mark, donate in a chat or links in the panels. There are many bid incentives that you can put your money towards. Please, and you prizes to win as well. Prizes.esamarathon.com. Have a look at some of the awesome prizes like the infamous and hard to find PlayStation 5s that you can win for a minimum of an accumulative $100 donation. That's all it is. You can get yourself a chance to win a PS5. Back to you. Perfect. So for the disappointment of some people, we actually skipped the entire cockpit of the Ragnarok where the Eyes on Me song gets played. But... We probably did. Oh yeah. I mean, uh, we actually probably did have time, but we were being. I didn't, I didn't change it. You didn't change it. Oh, it's like, um, so unfortunately, there will be no eyes on me. I mean, I guess if the schedule will be fine and tech allows it, we could try to. Oh, we could maybe fast the forward at the end. The yeah, that yeah. would work. Yeah, if we have time at the end. We will we can, see like when we end. I we guess. Can, yes. Uh, use the high speed function to get to the actual song in the credits. Why am I mashing? Because it's fun. That's not. <laughs> <laughs> it's not fun. Mm -mm -mm. So this is eyes on me now. It's the same. Yeah, design. this is eyes on me, but just one of the many versions of it. Mm. So we're now in a situation where um, we've come back from space. 
Uh, Rilema has been taken away because she's now become a sorceress. So Squall was just like, yeah, okay, off you go. Uh, and now everyone's saying, you're, you're an idiot. We need to go get her back. So we just immediately go and get her back. Mm -hmm. um, and then essentially we're just going to be doing a little flight quest, you know, from point to point, talking to various people, having various conversations. Yep. Um, uh, doing a little menu here and there. Until uh, this is one of the ones we, were, we could have put the any percent back in briefly for, but it's. I think we're gonna do it. Um, I know we could have got this cutscene. Remember I was saying. Oh. Uh, uh, no, I know. I think no, I, let's keep going. Yeah, we're okay. I think I think the really exciting one is. Uh, so we're just running around for one. If there is a donation to read, by all means. There is indeed. Zayden comes back with thirty dollars, <laughs> saying, "Hey guys, Zayden here again. Good job on nailing the blindfolded Eshtar menu, Olsen. Great runner so far." So, since you didn't buy pet pals in Timber <laughs> and you have enough time, could you save at Eda's house and pet the dog? We love to pet dogs in games, right? I mean, I know I do, so I, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of, I'm with David here. Can you, can you, can you? Um, That's cruel. I actually think we could do that. We could pet the Yay. dog. I think we could pet, the, just, just the crowd wants us to pet the dog. Should we pet the dog? Come on. Yeah, just Please. Do it. <laughs> just do it. Don't even say it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. Fantastic. Are you sure? sure? Something before. I'll d I might do one thing <laughs> just before we do that. Though. Yeah. That donation goes towards the Ghostwire Tokyo 80% language choice for German, which I think is now at $80, whilst the other languages do need some love. So again, get your money in for some donation incentives and some bid incentives. Thank you very much. Back to you guys. Thank you, Nico. Thank you, Zayden. Yeah. Um, Shout out, I think, uh, shout out to some of the other FF8 runners. I don't know if Zayden's doing their German restream, but Pingval, I think, said was doing the Japanese restream, and Cypher TV, who made the cutscene mod, said he was doing the Russian restream, so shout out to those guys. So, let's do a little bit of a, a menu here. Oops. So we refine all the ammo, and then I want to do an old save -roo. For no, For no reason. For no particular yeah. reason, I want to do an old save here so we can maybe potentially pet a dog. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to go in here, I'm going to turn on turbo. Um, and I'm going to... Do I talk to her first? No. No. No, just pet the dog. I think it's hold left, is it? Oh, it might not let you if you want CSR. Hmm? It might not let you on CSR, though. Oh, no, no, you will. You will be able to. Okay. I... Interact with the dog. Okay, so try talking to her now. I think this is, yeah. Is it not doing anything? Oh, no, there it is. Wait a second now. I I'm not sure. No, I think it's uh, later. I think uh, it's here. It'll become apparent. Ah, uh, okay. If petting the dog did, in fact, do what we think it did. No, oh, it didn't. It didn't. Oh, so Sorry, Zayden. On, yeah, I tried to the dog. Well, no, no, we pet the dog. We yeah. did exactly yeah. what we asked. We did pet the dog. Yeah. We did indeed pet the dog, but it did not softlock the game. <laughs> yeah, so, so that's what we were... <laughs> so that's what Zayden is uh, alluding to, is that, yeah, talking to... Um, cat. 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 Um, <laughs> sorry to me. Uh, talking to Cat uh, in that cat scene there, uh, in normal any percent uh, soft lock, softlocks the game. Um, do... You want save the, after? Oh yeah, the Laguna thing, yeah. Um, yeah. So if you t if you talk to Angelo, he kind of gets stuck in a in a position near the loading mm -hmm. section of that screen, um, which basically means that after you've finished, so if you do it accidentally and you realise you've done it, you've got to go through the whole conversation you have with Renoa and Zell and everything like that, and then you find that you literally can't <laughs> exit, can't the, exit screen the screen because Angelo's sort of off, almost on screen, but in the way, blocking your path. So. Yeah, petting the dog is more dangerous than it sounds in this case. We did pet the dog, so... But we pet it and it was we, fine. Our end of the bargain was was kept. So typically there would be encounters here. Esther has now been flooded with monsters, but yep. we have encountered none, so we're okay. Uh, just, just I was just going to say just before... Uh, well, we were talking about petting the dog. There was just a very small menu that um, Waves did uh, beforehand, which uh, uh, does one of the final um, uh, refining actions that we need to do, which is uh, we, we learned Amaro Refine from Ifrit during the Propagators fights. So we're using that to basically create, because uh, the whole way through the run so far, we've only been using normal ammo and shotgun ammo, mm -hmm. um, but they're not really powerful enough for the end game. 
uh, as strong as Irvin is, uh, we, we need some stronger stuff. So uh, we have now refined uh, some demolition ammo, some AP ammo, and some fire ammo. And we'll be using those in the final bosses. <clears throat> so we were summoned to Esther by a guy called Kiros, and we're like, no way. There's no way that the president is uh, here. It turns out Laguna is the current president of Esther all along. Yep, with his two oh. sidekicks. Hmm? Oh, excellent. So, Odin comes in, there is a text box we need to, or a text option we need to be this careful is, of. This is one of the bad ones as well. Um, he asks if you want to hear his explanation of basically why... We say it. Like, uh, uh. yeah, why everything is happening right now. <clears throat> Ain't nobody got time for that. And yeah, we just say no. I think it adds like 30 seconds or something. It's, yeah, it's just a lot of extra text. Enough. I love the SDR music and it has like yeah. these random squeaks and <laughs> yeah. chicken noises in the background just to make it sound really far and weird. It's definitely a vibe. Yeah. But I, but I vibe it with It reminds that vibe. me of the Black Mage Village where they got that cacao drum. Yes, it, it, yeah. Like, sounds like some like a monkey is going... Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah, it's the weird sort of honking noise. So we're going to swap back. I don't know if one of the boys wants to get the um, files ready for yep. 80%. I'm going to do a quick save here. drop down, yeah. Save. Don't want to interact with that yet, just yet. And I'm just going to do a quick save. And we're going to put back in some FMVs. Just for the last stretch of it. You done? It's done? Yeah. Go for it. Yeah. Let's do it. Can I move the mouse one more? Yeah, oh yeah, sorry. So here we go. We're back on actual any percent. Uh, so we get the full PS5 graphics of uh, the Ragnarok breaching the Lunatic Mandora. This is some of the coolest FMVs as well. Fun fact, my disc three froze here when I was a kid. Yeah. So yeah. You get to see couldn't the, get past the best cuts. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. And I would say Ragnarok is like the best ship it's in all of the series. Cool. It's so good. And the theme for it is also amazing. So. What other ships have arms? Yeah. yeah, well, you don't know it's got arms until now. Wait, <laughs> wait, wait this, this whole ship's just got hands. Look at it. And here they are. I mean, when they designed this, what, 17 years ago and they left it floating in space, what? how did they know it was going to be so useful right now? So the quickest thing to do here, you're meant to actually, like, run through the Ragnarok mm -hmm. to actually get to this point and leave. Um, but actually, uh, it's quicker to just say, oh, we actually want to take off and then to fly back in again, and you just come straight back out here. <coughs> yep. But this is what we generally call, we refer to as the boss rush, yep. uh, because pretty much we've gone through all of the pretty heavy dialogue um, sections, uh, all the, the main FMVs are done. Uh, we are now just fighting bosses until the end of the game. Uh, and there's quite a lot of them. Um, there's there's quite a few of them before we even get to the final dungeon of the game. Yeah, yeah. That was fine. Um, she was fine. Uh, so this fight is the reason that we refined fire ammo. We used it there. It's a very powerful uh, AOE um, uh, ammo for Urban Simit Break. You can do two or three of those and Ujin and Wajin go down. We get to see two familiar faces in not the screen, the next screen. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Lately, I've been forgetting for the screen even exists. Yeah, I yeah. Keep holding left, but or down left. So we can see a couple of soldiers in the <coughs> corner here, lamenting their life. Um, who are Biggs and Wedge Biggs from and Wedge. Uh, mm, disc sorry. one and two? Mm -hmm. And I think they left the military by this point, right, or something, or at least they planned to. I think. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. I think this is the most obnoxious left input yeah, in the whole really game. Yeah, left. That's yeah. not, that's not an up, that, That's, that's holding left to go that in that direction. Because FF8. Yeah. FF7 has some janky screens too. At least it's not like FF10 where if you keep hold, holding direction during the screen transition and things happen on the next screen. And you go with like a computer. I feel like in FF10, if you can just hold it, then you like go in like a oh, completely yeah. different direction. Like something completely different from what you would like to do. It's cool music too. Argent, money. I'm gonna do a quick save here, just because this boss can be a bit of a meanie as well. Um, 
Yeah, if you're unlucky It's here. probably fine, but we'll just cover all bases. I, th I think this is one of the bosses that kind of looks a lot scarier than it is, because we're purposely in uh, quite low HP on all of our characters. Um, yeah. And Typically we would have one character, Sophie would be dead. Yeah. And uh, she's not right now. But, uh, Irvan would be at 201, which he is. So he can take one hit from a non-crit hit from MT8, and then Squall is just enough that he won't die if he gets to use Darkseid. Because yeah, we need four shots here, and depending on what the limit break we get, we might only get three, but this looks okay. <clears throat> we'll get the four shots that we need to kill MT8. Yeah. I think this is the first point in the game that we start dealing quad nines to yeah. Yeah, yeah. the bosses as well. And just after this fight, we're going to be approaching the th that throne room, I guess, or the control room, or the... It's the wheelhouse of the of the Lunatic Pandora, I guess. Yeah. And we got a little cutscene with Fusion, Rajin, and Cypher, so if there's a donation, there is a bit of time. You've got it. Let me just do a quick refresh. We have $25 from Jay, saying, love Final Fantasy VIII, less than free, loving this run. And that goes towards the American Nationally Sweet 16, a license to drive incentive. Honestly, where we're at right now with that, we are Classic. currently at $405 out of 15 Hundred to go. Thank you very much for the donation, and back to you. Thanks very much. Uh, so yeah, here this is the point where Fujin and Raijin, who had been Cipher's posse for the whole game, um, they decided, okay, we just, you know what? You're, we've had enough. We've had enough of this. We've had enough. Cut it out. And Fujin stops talking in one word caps. She's actually speaking properly now. It's meant to be quite a poignant thing, yeah, I think. Yeah, she's only ever done capitalized like single words, and now she's speaking in sentences. And you'll see again, this is probably the most obvious time, is that Cypher's jacket is completely shredded and yeah. torn, and he's really done. They don't really delve into it quite enough, but like it's kind of to be understood that Cypher was actually being mind-controlled by Ultimisha up until now, of some sort. He wasn't doing this of his own. And just as ever, Cypher is a really difficult boss that dies in one attack yet again. <laughs> yeah. This time, he, though, he can drop a Holy War. So for the final boss section, we have two guaranteed drops that we can get throughout the run from Cypher 2 and now, uh, where you can get a, a hero drop, which makes one character invincible for a period of time. But there's also a very low percent chance that we can get a Holy War, which makes all three characters invincible together, which... Um, Makes the final phase a bit quicker. Yeah, I think the chances are like 10%. There are two fights. Around. I think I think it's 10% for each fight. Oh, yeah, each yeah. fight. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, yeah, so yeah. it is a bit more. And it does save like 30 seconds perhaps mm -hmm. in the final fight, so it's good to get. So let's see what happens. Did we get it? I'll turn off turbo over this section. Yeah. Nope. No, that's, that's, that's right. a hero. I haven't seen that in a while, actually. It's because you're not a new runner. The new runners yeah. always I get... I had a double. Always yeah, get, I got a double. My point. first four runs I ever did, I got three Holy Wars. <laughs> and then I didn't get one for about six months. Um, right, and so coming up, I guess we can start talking about the final party minute. Yep. And what we're going to be doing or achieving. So I've got a little, little piece of software here that we're going to be using for that, where um, there is a cutscene about to happen, and we're going to be uh, similar to how we had a look at the poles that were flying past the window earlier on in the run to know what the caraway code is. We're going to be looking at the cutscene and some specific movements that are happening during that cutscene uh, to work out um, what or what we need to do in order to um, guarantee a particular final party um, for the final battle. Because uh, those of you that play Final Fantasy casually know that there is a uh, when you you know you, there are six characters in the party. Uh, and when the final battle starts, it chooses three of them at random, uh, but we can manipulate which ones of those are, and basically, because, as we've been demonstrating, Irvin is kind of the, the, the go-to. Heavyweight of Yeah, uh, we need him in the final party, otherwise it is not really possible to beat that fight uh, with our current setup. So uh, we need to manipulate him to beat in that final fight, and we'll be doing it by looking at... Uh, there's, a, there's a very trippy section here where there's a cutscene where they're f flying through time-compressed space and all this kind of stuff happening. If you look closely at Squall, he's kind of looking downwards and, and falling, but he's doing movements, short movements. He's like a forward, 
or back or left or a right. And each one of those we do, we track 12 of those and that will tell us exactly what like index we're on and uh, where we are in the RNG at this, this particular point. And then we have methods where we can increase that RNG by specific amounts, um, which we can go through later. But this is the part where we're basically finding out where we are and then later on we'll manipulate it to actually uh, be on the correct party. And we're not manipulating it in the FMB, no. We can just do draws, though. It's up to you, it depends how many there are. What, what do you need to take off? 12, is it? Well, we'll find out how many it is. For like, if it's well, 14, many? just do two. For example. It's 12, yeah. so yeah. Yeah, it's 12. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. That's what I mean, yeah. That's yeah. Cool. yeah, that's fine. Okay, so I'm going to not touch the controller. Well, once we match this text, I'm not going to touch the controller. Let the game decide which movement Squall is going to make. And then on the 12th movement, so that his 13th movement will be defined by me, the RNG will be frozen. Because as long as I'm holding a, a, a direction that he can move. So, that is the plan. And we will see what we get. Watch him closely. This before part of the cutscene is longer than I thought it was. It's, yeah, it's <laughs> the, really long. The, the yeah. Thing, yeah, I was just expecting it to happen. I think oh. I, was, uh, I was still in the sort of the, the cutscene remover mode. Right. Uh, we we, we just hit it. Do you want to do this? Yeah. <laughs> just count to 12, yeah. <clears throat> Here we go. Here we go. So we're all taking it down just out of safety. Just in case, yeah. <laughs> just in case. Wait. I guess putting it directly in, but I'm just going to write it down as well. So here we go. One, two, three. eight, ten, eleven, and, and twelve. Both. Okay. I think anything. Um, I'm not sure either because I think I missed that one, but I put it in five there. Put in something. Change settings to light. Maybe. Yep. That's probably what it might be. No, copy and paste it into the website. Okay. Yeah, try the website maybe. <laughs> oh, no, it's good. It. So zero. Zero. Perfect. Zero. We've got okay. 12. Easy, okay. yeah. Cool. So what we've learned from that. Is um, we're really bad. We don't actually we don't actually have to do a manipulation. <laughs> we will yeah. we will just get Irvin in the final party, which is quite nice. Um, so what the way we would have done it? There's there's a couple of different options. Um, we have one where during that FMV you can kind of release. Oh, is it back to me? Oh, now? Wait, yeah. <laughs> Better yeah. not swap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can kind of release uh, the button that we're holding to freeze the RNG to like let it happen for mm. as many as we need. But we can also interact with the draw point later on, and each time we interact with it, that. Uh, I'll, I'll do this first. Oh, yeah. And the reason this works is because the RNG does not change in the Ultimisha's castle anymore at all, uh, except for the very final screen before the, uh, before the fight. Same. But on that screen, we simply hold forward, so on that screen, the RNG will always change in the same way. Mm -hmm. That's why we know exactly where we are and what we need to do in order to get the Irvine party. I'm not sure who originally found this, but I'm going to just credit Ping Val. <laughs> yeah, probably Ping Val. If in doubt, credit Ping Val. Very, very likely possibly he, that Ping Val found this. And, uh, shout out he, knows, he knows the ins and outs of this game like no one else does, really. So this is one of the more trippy boss fights, and we'll kind of explain what's going on. So it's, I think it's one of the longer fights as well yep. in the game. And it's and one it's, of the ones that can go badly as well, which is why we saved just beforehand. It's a bit RNG heavy. Um, so basically, Irvine is the only one I can really kill these guys, and we're going to just make Irvine super powered. Um, the reason that this fight actually is so, I should have explained this, is, is more difficult, is that for some reason on PC and on JP, the sorceresses are all level locked to 45, which is astronomically higher than any level we are. So if you played this on NTSC PSX version, on the PS2 and PlayStation Disc, um, they are just your average level as normal. Like they are, so they all go down really, really easy. But for some reason, there's, they're just level 45, which is way stronger than we are. So what we need to do is, we're going to cast Berserk status onto Irvine. So he's not going to take any ATB inputs from us. He's just going to attack wildly, and he's going to do more damage because of that. And then we cast Haste on him, so he's super fast, and his legs go really fast here, if you look. Yeah, look at his so legs. He's a little zoomer. 
and uh, he's just gonna let loose and attack them all as quick as he can. Um, that works for the first ten, is it? Or eight? yeah, six and four. Uh, yeah, it and is. It, yeah. Yeah. So there's six blue ones and four red ones. Yeah, the red ones are more powerful, and uh, you can't hit you can't hit them in one shot without the berserk. That's yeah. why the berserk is really useful. For the blue ones, it's also not guaranteed. Oh, nice crit. Yeah, there's twelve percent chance you won't kill one without the berserk. So yeah, we're going to let Irvine go loose until the end. And then the final Sorceress C will appear, which is much bigger Sorceress. And for that Sorceress, we're going to have to... We need Irvine to limit. The problem is that he's going to be currently in Berserk in haste. So we're going to have to just kill Irvine with Squall and then resurrect him in immediately with Selfie. And then as soon as the ATB is ready, we just limit break. It can go a bit... It can be a bit scary. Uh, especially for new runners, it's like a real... The problem points because if you give the sorceress too long, she just casts Ultima. She casts Ultima and you die. Basically, you wipe. Basically, I don't think I've ever seen her cast Ultima and the run not be dead. Yeah. <laughs> so that's a fairly scary sorceress because that one we just killed can cast Quake on the party. This is the scariest one because it can cast Meteor. So we really want Irvin to uh, get his ATB filled before she does. This is really the yeah, there and we go. that's fine. That's it's relatively rare because Irvin's so fast, he's got a high speed stat and he's been hasted. So it's rare that you do see the meteor, but when it does happen, it's soul destroying. So this is the last red sorceress, and then the really scary sorceress is about to arrive. Hang on, why is. Squall's ADB is a bit low. You could um, do a dead stone. On right. Irvin, yeah. Have I got one? Did you get one? It might be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, chance it, yeah. And then you raise with Squall. I guess if I, could it have let, just I could have let the sorceress just kill him, I guess. But. Ah. Oh, it worked. Way more fun. And then... Quick... Uh, yeah. uh, oh, he's there already. Uh, buffer with self here. I would buffer him. Yeah, sure. yeah. Oh, okay. We're good. Cool. That could have been scary. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not, okay quite sure, I'm not quite sure why his ATB wasn't full. I did the Dark uh, Side the same Sorceress. You might have been holding ATB or not do something for the third one, or the second one. The second red one. Sometimes that can happen if you don't let ATB flow. But the ATB freezes while yeah, the Sorceress appears. I don't, think I, was, I don't think I was holding anything, but yeah, yeah. I'm not sure. We got through. Yeah, so we have a bit of time for any last donations and stuff. Absolutely. Got you covered. We've got $50 from Fumo sitting in the front row holding the baguette on its lap. That's just throwing its Fumo face. <laughs> Thank you for the $50. And the Alter Maven with $5 saying, Less Expanse contract. Eon become instant. Throw wide the gates. And that $5 is going towards the German language choice from Ghostwire Tokyo for the any percent. Thank you very much. Thank Back you, to you. Thank you very much. I think it would be cool if we could get 51k. Yeah, I think we can least, probably yeah. hit 51k mm. will be absolutely achievable. Amazing. Let's push to get 51k by the end of this game. Twitch chat, can we do it? Let's go. I think we should, uh, I don't know, do we, do we want to still do any swapping at 50s or at this point? Controller swapping? Oh, it's up to you. I don't know. We'll see how we go. Yeah, we'll see where we'll get to. If people are donating, yeah, keep yeah. swapping. <laughs> I think that's the way it's got to be. We should have done a five dollar train and swap for fives at the end. <laughs> we could still do it to get us to. 51. We can still do it if you don't want to. Yeah. So every five we could swap. Yep. If we can get a five dollar train going. I All right. Gonna, I am gonna save here. Five dollar hype train Twitch chat, and there's uh, just a continual controller swap. <laughs> Let's go. I'm down for this. Let's go. We've saved, so if we rip here, it'll be fine. Yeah. <laughs> we are very, very, very close to the end of the game. We should definitely be coming in under six, hopefully. We do have one incentive left to uh, fulfill our duties. Mm -hmm. Um, which we'll be doing uh, in about 10 minutes. So here in the Ultimate Castle, it's a bit of a gimmick. You divide the party into two teams, and all of your abilities are, are locked when you enter the castle. So you only have attack, and every time you defeat one of the... Uh, every time you defeat one of the bosses within the castle, there's 12 of them, you can unlock an ability. So you can't even... They're like magic, item, limit breaks, revive even. You can't even revive a character within the castle. Um, so we're just gonna typically in any percent run we just need item and we just need limit break but because we're going doing the incentive for um, 
the incentive for a mega weapon. Omega so weapon. normally you just scoot past this guy. It's really easy to get past him. I'm actually going to fight him now. But so in any sense, we don't normally kill this guy, but uh, uh, but right now the only thing we have is attack. Only thing we can do is attack. So we're going to attack. Selfie doesn't really do much, but it kind of exciting self here. Oh, and I run away as well. <laughs> That's the first accidental run away. Because these bosses in this uh, in this uh, in this castle, like you could uh, randomly attack one without being ready to kill it. Uh, you're actually able to flee from all the bosses in the castle. I guess now the book up does it does it again. If Nico has something to say, it's a great time. Yep. I can talk about some of the prizes that you lot can win at like I think it's a minimum of ten dollar um, donation again accumulative over the course of this um, entire marathon. Now fifteen dollars, you get like a great amount of pin sets that you can win from Castlevania to Sonic to Legend of Zelda, get Jack Frost, Garfield, Pokemon. There's so many cool things you can win. Minimum twenty dollar donation, you can get some plushies from Binding of Isaac. You can get a Crash controller phone holder you can get a metal hades poster there's just so many things prizes.esa marathon.com have a look see what you can get for the cumulative minimum amount and put your money towards a fantastic cause <laughs> <laughs> what do i need to unlock <laughs> uh limit limit okay five dollar donation coming in that just says hi here we go keep it coming that's from Zimpsley. Thank you very much for the $5. Keep them coming. $5 is a controller swap. Every $5 you donate, controller swap. If we actually do get 51k, that's quite a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just see how we go. So what do I need to unlock? Limit. Limit, okay. Yeah, just to mention, I have no idea how to do Omega Weapon. I don't know if... Wave well, no, we're going to give it back to Modcap for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but like, I don't even know the setup. So like, if you guys want to create Chaos, that's a great opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great opportunity for Chaos. I legit have no idea what we have to do in the no, castle. This thing, this yeah. thing, this one, this one. No, no, this oh, one. That one, yeah, there you go. There we go. It's it's difficult enough for us to, uh, yeah. <laughs> to change this every time. No! Okay. Yeah. Try, oh, okay. Try oh, point. Okay. Try point. Let's go. Well, buddy old pal, try point. This is one of the important ones that we do fight in the Any% route. It drops an item called Supersonic, which teaches speed plus 40% to one of our GIFs. And we need that desperately to fight Ultimisha at the end just to outspeed her. Just fire ammo. It's the same. This is no, it's the same Wait, as what? Just two, just two attacks, two attacks. No, you've got, you've got Number numbers. five dollars in. Once. No, I do. Fire him once. Why have a save, I mean. It's way cooler. And it would kill him one. <laughs> you guys are no fun. <laughs> Why don't you use, it's faster to use fire ammo. One fire ammo kills. So, did Irvin not have any. What do you mean? He's only got attack. Limit. No, but he didn't have any, like, item. Oh, he doesn't. Should be from the SR menu. Maybe. We should probably add that. We should probably yeah. add that. <laughs> I asked if I did everything correctly. It's on you. I, I thought you did add item. Yeah, I, I mean, I definitely did. So that's weird. What do um, I unlock? Uh, it doesn't matter. Objects. Oh, we oh, I just, I'm just blind. Check, <laughs> check the other three. Maybe squallers. Maybe, I don't know. No, they're, uh, I think I think they're fine because they yeah. use the items. Yeah, they did. So yeah. now we're going to. We're going to. Go? Uh, okay, I'll tell you where to go. Go up the stairs. Go to the uh, green thingy. Yeah. yeah. Uh, out the door and then switch. No, no. Uh, oh, forward. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At the fountain. Yeah, I know, I know. And then switch to Zell and then leave the castle. For uh, for Iron Giant, yeah? No, yeah, 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 yeah. Change members. No, no, no. Oh, no. no. Uh, good, the top option. Yeah. Ah. And then just leave. Go down. Yep. And then enter again because you'll be squall now. Oh, that's the quickest way to get yeah, out. Yeah, and yes, they yes, and yes. they go up the stairs, but turn right at the top. <laughs> <laughs> if you <laughs> donate another ten, you can skip Bodcap and go back to someone else. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it will just it will just be me explaining how this works. Go down and then door to the right, and then round. And through the door at the back on the bottom floor. Up, you have up to left. go up left, yeah. yeah it's yeah. weird. I remember the screen from Hondo. Yeah. So, yeah, go through the door at the back. Yeah. 
uh, go through the door at the back, and then go through the door at the back, down down the stairs. Oh yeah, I remember this little uh, dungeon looking room. And then go through the door on the left, and that's uh, Red Giant, and 4 AP ammo. 4 AP ammo. And I, yeah, go back. <laughs> This is the chaos he wanted. Uh, get the key at the bottom and then he'll appear. Yep, there you go. Cool. I've never been here before. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> 4 APM. Yeah, 4 APM. Quick as you can. Here we go. He can actually do some stuff, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Be he's trying, not like a, an idle. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, you'll have initiative, so it's You'll fine. be fine. Perfect. Easy. It's free. Oh, well, unless uh, maybe you won't get the. Uh, you only got three. Can I do it with just do a, just do a buffer and then do it again. Oh. Basically, exactly the same as. Oh, that was enough. That's fine. Easy. Forty-seven damage was enough. Easy yeah. peasy. It's basically team out. Oh, I actually remember this from Hondo. Yeah, that was actually the strat. Yeah. Use three and just attack with Zelda. <laughs> yeah. He, I forgot that he's just he, over. He, he's just team out that does attacks. Five swaps. Ah, there we go. Um, Which for an input, yeah. Sorry? We'll just get you out of the castle and save. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then you give it give back. <laughs> the five swaps. Um, uh, oh, I've done the input. You've yeah, done input magic. Time. Magic, yeah. That's three, four. How yeah. do I get out of here? Uh, go the back, the door you came in. Yeah, there you go. Then it's back to Cap. <laughs> Yeah, so yeah, yeah, it's good. back to me. I'll, there we go. I leave this door. Are we, are we, are we good now? Are we think, good now? We're, I think we're up to date now. With right. our, we've swapped every five. So what I do now is I do this again. Do as much as you can before we get it. Yeah, back. leave the castle. <laughs> uh, and now I'm going to save and do a menu. So this is basically yeah. the normal any percent menu, but there's some extra stuff because we're fighting a mega weapon. Uh, I need to go first. going to change the config settings. Uh, there we go. So we are going to do this. Uh, that's the supersonic, the rocket engine we mentioned. Oh yeah, potions back there. Put the strength or the speed for Sparty on Irvine. And oh, what do I need to do with you? Uh, something. Yep. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, and then save. Well, important. <laughs> Cool, and now I'm gonna go on my way. Yeah, so we can send some donations, I guess. While yeah, there's any. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna be running towards a mega weapon yeah. now, so have, go for it. Absolutely, deniable credibility donates five dollars, saying change places. <laughs> <laughs> that goes towards American Nationally Sweet Sixteen license to drive incentive, and then an anonymous twenty-five dollar donation. No comment, but thank you very much for the donation. So I think we're up to date with the swaps, right? Yeah, I think we're good. Lovely, no, keep those donations coming in. Don't forget, $5 is a controller swap. Keep them coming. So I am, I am going to have to listen kind of carefully now. So one of the things that uh, Zell does here is um, the reason we've got his party is you have to pull this lever to sort of ring a bell and that summons a mega weapon. But the bell's going to start ringing, and I have to wait for the 13th bong. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eleven, thirteen. And now do this. Change back from me to you. And we're set up for a mega weapon. Noga mega weapon hype. Here we go. What I hope this There is. It is, I guess. <laughs> Whatever it is. I'm going to go in concentration mode if you guys want to go talk for about it. what's happening. So, we found that the easiest way to do this in a marathon setting is going to be control potion on Omega Weapon, which resets its ADB and just cancels its next turn. And then, with Selfie, we're going to use Aura and uh, we're going to try use Selfie's. Limit break, which is called the end, which is the kill all anything on screen. Works on every boss in the game. Where is the aura? 
There's no aura. Well, what? that's unfortunate. Do we not? Uh... Oh, is it on someone else? Oh, it might be on someone else, is it? Yeah, because we didn't switch after the SR menu, I think. So it might be on the day or someone. Yeah. Someone else might have it, yeah. <laughs> Chaos! Woo! Hmm. <laughs> That's an interesting development. Uh, we can soft reset there and just try to fix it. Quickly. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. it's a. Uh... Is that selfie habit or something? We literally just no? saved. I'll check. Do you want to just do the old get selfie to cast uh, aura on herself with, with slots? Like... Oh, we could do. She doesn't have it, okay. so she'd have to do aura. Try I guess. It, just try it. Try it. We might. Be... Oh, uh, Irvin's dead. That's fine. Okay. No, he's not. Yeah, he is. No, he's not. Oh, no, he's not. No, it's 14. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, so I'll do this. Potion and use... Oh, but she's... Ah, oh, she... she's... Oh, she's... She might be level 10 now. Yeah, she's level 10, I think, okay. maybe. Well then. Does this work at level 10? Oh, no, probably not. I thought she was level 8. I'm oh, gonna reset. I'm gonna soft reset. Yeah, do soft reset and we'll see what's going on. We'll see if we can find the auras in the... You drew them. Oh yeah, but probably yeah, but that was a different save. Yeah, but the save just have a hundred of them. That's the thing. Do we yeah. need to do some quick, uh, quick fix? Maybe, yeah. See, just give, just uh, check the characters. See if someone has. Let's go through their magic. Uh, see if I think they might have. Wait, it's junction on. There, Irvin right. has it. Yeah, just give them to squall. Yeah. Okay. Um, we don't know if Sophie can do thing at level ten though. Can she? Is she level ten? She is. I guess that works. Not sure if that works either. I think it's eight and nine. It's yeah. nine or lower, yeah. Can we do a quick fix? Yeah, I think a quick I think fix we can. on the fly. Yeah, um, we, we can we can get this to work. Don't you worry. You pass the memory stick that's plugged in there. Let's see. Selfie is the problem is the selfie is now too good. She's too strong, <laughs> so it's not ideal. Uh, so we can do a quick save editor here and just jank this around. Um, there you go. No, it's not this. Oh, yeah, Nico, if, you, this if you have some messages yeah, in the meantime, go you ahead. This saves today. This is a mega weapon save. No, let's use the one that we had already, the one I've changed already. Change it again. Oh, wait, I do need to save, yeah. Yeah, yeah of course. That's the wrong place. I guess. I will. Uh, I'll leave the. Leave it running. I'll leave the music going, because this is one thing back. we haven't talked about. Hein is on that memory stick. Hein is on that memory stick, is it? I don't know. No, it's not. No, it's not. That would have done it as well. Yeah. Say visit, it is, it's, 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 it's one one. Yeah, it's that one. Uh, here I go. Face anyway, face anyway face I just face. visit. Yeah. Yeah, it's pulled. Bum, bum, bum. It's not there. What? <laughs> Did not show up. Wait, see, wait a second. I just put Hine on that thing. And just do it all on the one PC. That'll be easier. Do I find? Where is this? Here. That's on the USB. Okay. Okay. Stand there, and I can fix it on that one PC rather than swapping things again. Yeah, that's probably easier. I promise you, this will be worth it. This will we be worth it. We will defeat Omega Weapon. Do you want to reset this? Then, uh, oh yeah, you'll need, well, you'll need to soft reset in a second, so open. Can you do it while so it's open? Yeah. Nope, can't make that smaller. I can, you'll just have to reload the save in a second, but give me two seconds. Uh, it's in documents, no? Thanks. User. This one? Yes. Open this. Yes, and then just characters, selfie. And this. Yeah. Save. Now reload. Uh, yeah, socket tap. Or? Yeah. And I should have a level 8 selfie if all went magically correct. 9. Yes. Yeah, it's 9, didn't it? I, just put I it mean, on. 9 works. Okay. Oh, no, sorry. that's fine. Yeah. yeah. Good, now we're good to go. Apologies. E easy oh, fix. Go. Easy <laughs> fix on the fly. Are the auras on school now, for sure? No, you swapped them again now. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Yes, they are. Now they are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The ores are on school. Omega weapon, you're going they down. Were... Okay. Are the junctions fine now, or are you fine, though? The junctions are fine. Yeah, yeah, I'll just double check. Um... No, because you get aura junctions. Strength. Yeah, he did. Look. Oh, my God. There we go. Okay. He's fine. Yeah, now it's fine. She's okay. fine. Yeah, it's both yeah, the aura. Yeah. Okay. It broke everything. I guess because there was a hundred of them. Right. 
in the meantime, uh, after we beat Omega Weapon, we still have to do the final boss, and we can definitely do the controller swap dur during yeah, the yeah, final boss. Sure. So yeah, for sure. Chaos as well. If the fight's coming. <laughs> what? <laughs> hmm. That's an that's an interesting one. A school, a, a school, and I've been the wrong way round. Like all the zero junctions are magic and stuff. Nero, isn't he? Like he's got. No, go to go to swap replace members. A square. Yeah. Square on. He's got. He's no, just no, got square on Zell now. Who is got? Square. Oh, okay. Diablos, you just don't have it equipped for some reason. He's encountered none that on. He hasn't got. What is that happening? Put on magic and item. Yeah. Why are these grey? What? They're fine. They're, they're not able to use them. Yeah, but why are they grey? Oh, because it's in the castle. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I understand. I think we're okay you now. We're good to go. Yeah. Hopefully. I don't see any problems here. This is normal proceedings, surely. <laughs> Definitely not chaos. Okay. Uh, we this just isn't... assume that the. Yeah, I think we might yeah, just hard yeah, reset, yeah. maybe. Yeah, that'll be safer for sure. I think so, yeah. I mean, yeah. Are you counting these? No. That doesn't matter anymore, sorry. That's kind of why I was saying. Yeah, exactly, counting. yeah. It would be that one if it's, if it's anything, so. And we. This. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Omega weapon, first try. Rehype. <laughs> okay. I missed him. <laughs> <laughs> For such a big fella, yeah, he's got a very, very tiny hitbox. The tiny shadow. Yeah, yeah. So, Irvine throwing potions just to block uh, Omega Weapon from doing anything. As long as you keep throwing potions, it will do nothing. Selfie has got Aura status now, which means her limit break will be active at all times. And Bodcap is just going to look through a series of like known patterns. Hey! Oh, that's that that perfect. There we go. And this is the the end. So yeah, the, the way this works is really weird. There's like several tables of, of potential like lists of about 64 uh, uh, magics that you could do. Um, and there's only one of those that has the end on it um, when Selfie is at this level um, and has critical HP and is in the aura status. So she's always at crisis level four. Um, and down he goes. Down he goes. And we got an achievement. We got an achievement. <laughs> Yo, thank you, mate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so um, yeah, so we only have one table in which the end is on. So what I did is essentially I memorized the last few entries on that table so I could like recognize the pattern. So there's, you know, the, it, it, it's the last two spells on that table are a single fire followed by the end, mm -hmm. uh, but it's actually two waters then a uh, fire then the end. So basically any of the options in the last day I kind of memorize where they are. I'm checking through them, making sure that they actually uh, uh, conform to the pattern. Oh yeah, I'm going to leave and save. Uh, conform to the pattern that we're used to. Um, and yeah, if it ends up being the table that's got the end on it, then there it is. Uh, yeah, so we're just going to do one quick last safety save, because if there are going to be donations coming into swap controllers, this could get small risk yeah. as well. <laughs> but there is just about, I think the last fight is seven, six or seven minutes to all four phases, so it's going to be very quick where we'll be coming in just over the six hour of the seven hour rest of it. So we should be still saving some time. But yeah, there's... The final boss can uh, do some things, so... Save, and then off we go. Are we not hard resetting? Oh, we are hard resetting, actually, yeah. yeah we <laughs>
So just to fix the RNG because we weren't sure entirely when we uh sorry tech for we just try to crop this back again. I should be able to see myself. There we go. Um the we're gonna reset the RNG back to zero so it's a known point where we can um just make sure we get Irvine in the final party. One step, right? Yeah, one step. I believe so. Hopefully. Yeah, we'll find out. I haven't done this in a while, actually. But yeah, it's just just Yo, the one step. It is. Sneaky one step. Do I need to move it? That's fine. So, the, yeah, like Wave said, the fact that we've done that hard reset now means that we kind of are on a known RNG state. Um, what I mentioned before in terms of like if we were doing the manipulation, what we'd be doing is uh, interacting with the draw point um, higher, much higher up the castle. When we interact with that draw point, it kind of moves the RNG on by one. Uh, one of the other things that you can do though to actually advance the RNG is, well, on the very final screen, we'll show you when it happens, but on the very final screen, there's a... Uh, oh, there we go. Wave has to run in circles now. Um, on the very final screen, there's, the menu until the very end, there's, a, there's a save point. Um, on that screen and the, the problem with that is that we know that RNG advances on the save point so we have to walk in a straight line from across a bridge to the final door to go into the final boss. The problem uh, we have is that by doing that after a hard reset we won't get over in the party but what we can do is if we take one walking step it's just enough to delay um, you don't need to go across. I'm glad I bombed yeah. because I was actually going to go across. Oh, yeah. I was, like, yeah. I was like, why are we not going to go across? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, um, need to do some do a menu here to swap the things. Oh, yeah. Uh, no, this one. But it's that one, yeah. Um, so, uh, yeah, every, every, I think, is it half a second that you're on the yep. final bridge? Yep. Correct. The RNG is advancing uh, by one. So, by doing a single walking step, you're sort of delaying the length of time that you're on that uh, screen by essentially one RNG. Uh, Amount, so it's kind of a, a way of uh, getting in over the end of the so party without needing to interact listen with the draw carefully point. here for one step. Yep. Okay. That should be fine. If there's any donation to read before the last boss, now is the last chance. Change places! <laughs> <laughs> Deniable credibility is back again with another five. So change places, please. Yeah. We did it already. We Perfect, yeah. thank you. Yeah. <laughs> we're, we're, we're well ahead of we're the game. We're watching it. As soon as we see that plus five come in, we're straight in. Fantastic. Here we go. Ultimisha. Let's do it. So th this is a multi-phase fight, so there's a different strat for each of these phases. Uh, I'd say probably the scariest or the, the most um, likely to cause us some grief and the one with spending the longest time on the second phase. The first phase is fairly straightforward. everyone has got initiative. Um, he's in critical HP, so we'll be... Uh, doing some demolition ammo there, and that should that should dispatch pretty quickly. Uh, the issue we have now is that um, uh, on the second phase, uh, once all the HP of the second phase has been depleted, he's going to do a, a move called Shockwave Pulsar, which is one of the strongest moves in the game, and it will wipe our entire party if we don't do something about it. So we're going to cast an Aura Stone <laughs> on Irvin, which we do have an Aura Stone, by the way. Oh, yeah. Um, here we go, we've got over Nero and Tifa. Oops, it's, it's that's the one. No quake mates. No, no quake yeah. mates. Here we go. Uh, so yeah, we're going to dispatch this one pretty quickly. But yeah, what we'll be doing is uh, using the other two party members. We've got a uh, score that's already got ATB. He's going to cast an Aura Stone on Irvin. That will basically mean that when all of the other limits that we're doing throughout the final boss will be of the highest possible crisis level. So, uh, and with Irvin's limit break, the higher the crisis level, the more time you have to put all the shots in and we need up to eight shots in some of these phases so it's important for us to have the high crisis level and then we'll be casting our we're well, using our two hero uh items that we received from two of our previous bosses uh on Irvin and on one other character in this case Squall will be the best option um that's a pretty quick attack hopefully that's uh, okay Renault is dead but who cares she might be dead actually no she's not it's uh, only 900 yeah. this does yeah, it's fine a thousand yeah uh, so invulnerable Irvine. Oh, yep. Go. Will I cast the second one with Irvine or waste? Do it. Do the Irvine, yeah. It's just... Actually, now it's kind of... Because his is about... Like twice as fast. Twice as fast, yeah, so it'll be at the same time. Yeah. In fact, I think he'll be first. Yeah, it looks like it. 
Um, but now we've got two uh, completely invulnerable um, characters, um, which basically means that when uh, this phase, which is Griever, does cast Shot Wave Pulsar, um, it will not kill. Oops. Uh, uh, yeah. Yep, it will not kill Irvin and Squall. Oh yeah! By the way, we're fighting Metaco right now. Yes, <laughs> we're, we'll see some dialogue uh, involving Metaco very shortly. Is that enough? That was six, right? Yeah. Five came in. Up. Five came in. Oh yeah, five came in. Yep. There we go. Five. Yeah, it's always six and five of the crit. Yep. So it's in all fun and games yeah. until uh, Bodkep gets the controller back, and we cannot swap the config now. Yeah, so. the config. The config is fixed. So. And I am not going to have a fun time trying Just to find the limit. Five more dollars is chaos. And you could Renzo. The narrow would be delighted. Oh. Squall could pop off. He would off. pop <laughs> off. <laughs> Just something. Imagine Renzoing as a buffer. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we kind of want his ATB. For yeah, we kind of do. Well, we're used to it not being full as well. But if he had just thrown, he wouldn't have ATB. Assure me when, it, like, be assured when I say that the the text that's going to come up here. Although, is it was it then or was it whether we already had it? I think where we just she's going to junction herself she's, onto Mataco. She's junctioning. Ultimacy was junctioning herself onto Mataco right now. There you go. This is half Mataco, half Ultimisha. Which half is which? Who knows? This song is amazing. But we only get to hear it for these few seconds because this phase is over in one quick limit break. So you can see the timer in the bottom is ticking down very slowly, and that's because we've got uh, Aura cast on Irving right now. Um, and it, it can require oh. up to eight uh, demolition ammo shots to, to kill this phase, so uh, that's the kind of the maximum we can do. Oh, here we go. Oh, no. Oh, here we go. Oh, this no. is where the chaos begins. If there's any donations to read, there is a bit of downtime between the next phases. So yep. if there's anything. You... Yep, you've got it. We've got a couple coming in. We've got um, $5 from Cadam Minimal saying, Hello from New York City. So having my lunch break lined up with Disc 4. Now, swap places. <laughs> we've also got another $5 from Cubeos that says, Hashtag Team Chaos. 25. What do we do now? We won't have. We can't. We can't do input. Is that one input? One, so. one, okay. two, three, four, five. Here we go. Okay. That's all right. There we go. <laughs> We've also got twenty-five dollars from Gav Bar that says, "I like chaos." <laughs> 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 Go towards the Dishonored DLC for the DLC choice of Knife of Dumbwall. Uh, can we get thirteen hundred thirty dollars in? Yeah. We still have like what three minutes or something. Yeah, they got yeah, three yeah, minutes yeah. to hit fifty-one. We can do it. We're still depending on tech. We can talk to them after we complete. If we get time for eyes on me or not, but we'll see. If you want to catch back up with the schedule too, that's okay. I guess we still have some time now. Just to say thank you, DSA, for having us. It's been amazing. Uh, yeah, really enjoyed the run. Really enjoyed the whole process. It's been amazing. And uh, yeah, thanks for letting us have the chance to show this off. Yeah, if anyone is cause chaos, cause absolute carnage, yeah, yeah and chaos. If um, anyone is interested, obviously check out Final Fantasy VIII Discord. You can find it from the speedrun.com page. Um, there's plenty of guides, plenty of help, plenty of nice people. Uh, there's loads of resources on there. There's a specific channel that's basically got a list of all the things you need to do uh, and need to know for yeah. starting out and being able to do your first run. And I would recommend Waves's uh, Easy CM uh, notes yeah, for doing your first amazing. run. It's it's an incredible it's an incredible yeah. set of notes. That's fine. Can do it. So we're going to be doing one last uh, limit break with Irvin here. Mm -hmm. So Squall, you're telling me, is within limit range? Technically, yes. So I, th I think I know where you're going with this. <laughs> finish this run with Lorenzo, which I think would be perfect. Good try. Also, the extreme is amazing. This is yeah one of the best songs in the game. Well, I could see much all of the songs that play during the final boss fight here are just so we can count incredible. hits on Ultimisha. That's one. That's one. She's officially dead now, and she just recovers 100 HP five times. So one hit done. This is hit two. Two. Renzo for sure. <laughs> okay. Should I do it now or no? Wait for the, oh, on the fifth. 
You'll do an Irvin. And then I have Irvin, twice, yeah. Irvin will do three and four, I guess, and then yeah, yeah, yeah. do it with Squall on the fifth. Yeah. Should be fine. You don't want to wait for his ATB again. Squall's ATB. Yeah, don't wait for it again. Just wait for Irvine again. Should be fine. We think. Well, we hit, she hasn't drawn Apocalypse yet. No, yeah, no it's fine. We're fine. There it is. Here it is. And we get to finish off. Finish on, on Lorenzo. <laughs> Here we go. For absolutely no reason. Just for swag. Yeah. And get ready for time. I hit this, is it? Time. Yeah. Time. That's it. So, yeah. Thank you, for having us. Uh, thank you, everyone, for watching, for donating. Uh, keep donating. Keep supporting. Save the children. Yeah, the 50k is amazing. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, the fact that we got over that is, is brilliant. And thanks so much for everyone donating for the names and the incentives. Um, brilliant. Yeah, I had a great, a great, great fun, great, great time. Great time. Yeah. Brilliant. Amongst all the chaos. I'm going to do this and make us a question for tech. Oh, yeah. We can wait for the eyes on me or we should just yeah, cut so it off now. Yeah, it's up to you guys if you want to uh, yeah. cut and prepare for the next stream or will we do eyes on me as the outro. So if, if they want to let us know, we're easy. Perfect. Sure, well, makes sense. Thanks a million. So we're going to leave it there. Thanks so much for having us, everybody. Thanks, ESA. Yeah, thank you again. Take yeah, care. Thanks, everyone. Thank you so much, Olsen. Awesome ways and Bobcap. Can we get some more applause for them for that amazing run of Final Fantasy VIII? Thank you so much for your run. We are going to be going to an intermission. Make sure you stay tight. There will probably be some adverts as well. Make sure that you lot stay hydrated. And we are going to be going to... A very, very hectic run coming up very soon. We've got Bobby the Black Tastic doing Mega Man 8 crowd control. We'll see you very soon.